Hey, 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 everybody. How are you all doing tonight? So excited to be here today. It's a big, big day. Because one, Hades is officially out. Hold on, we got some camera tweaks to do, though. Real quick here. Oop. There we go. Tweak, tweak, tweakaroo. Always tweaking things. Uh, tweaked the audio setup a little bit uh, after stream yesterday, and I think I've got it sounding a lot better than it was yesterday. Uh, curious to hear feedback on that, if there's a noticeable difference, and if that's a good one or a bad one. But uh, yeah, so Hades 1.0 just released, like, a couple of hours ago, which we had no clue about, even though there was a leak for this exact day earlier. The Hades guys never confirmed uh, the information that was leaked, so it was kind of a complete surprise. Um, I mean, we were streaming it last night, and I was telling people, like, I don't know, sometime this fall, maybe in a month or so, don't get your hopes up. Uh, but it's actually just here right now. So uh, I do want to play that, but I already had a Spire thing, a collab with Sneaky Teak planned a week ago that uh, is taking up the exact same date space. So oops to that, I guess. Please announce your game's release ahead of time, but oh well. I'm so excited that uh, Hades is releases here. We'll uh, definitely be checking that out at the first available opportunity. But also, I'm going to be having Sneaky Teak on the channel today. Fellow broadcast personality, friend of the channel, and all-around cool dude for some collab. We're going to be tackling the question of how do you beat Spire with a small deck of cards. And I'm so excited to... Uh, so excited for that to, uh, to happen today. How's it going, Fluffy Mittens, Borophil, Jedardo Janin, Zuthis, Ivy Blade, Isla Cruz, the Silver Fur, hey, you Travi, Epona. Might be winning A20 hearts today, but what about A20 mines? What if the real minds are the friends we made along the way? Hey, a storm. Stress bulls and hello. Super excited for Hades, Randy. You too? Good morning, Arlong. Hey, you flick. Happy Thursday, Marl Dog. Los Riantos. First Dane and Hades. If they're around, give them, give them a love and pat. Where's my? God, I have so many emotes. Oh dear. <laughs> Did anyone else out there subscribe to like twelve plus channels? The Twitch interface really, it struggles, a bit. Release Hades on your wedding anniversary. Sneaky way to 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 announce that, but. You know, happy anniversary, <laughs> I guess. Congrats on making it another year. How many years? Hey, you dying muddler. Did I paint over the wall chip? Unfortunately, I can't take credit for that much effort. I have done the... Um, the workaround that is moving the chair slightly to the side so that it's now in front of the, the wall chip. <laughs> but, but that chip is definitely still there. Smaller, small by teak standards. We're gonna we're gonna aim for twenty cards. It's gonna be the goal. Lord Beef wants to experience the ending of Hades for themselves anyway first. Totally fair. Kind of funny actually if if nobody watched me stream it because they were all avoiding spoilers. Hey, a striker ninja. Do the do. So many folks popping in here at the start of stream today. My God. Cherisite, hello. Adonis Incarnate, SRF. Opponent personally excited for the new Monster Hunter Switch. Yeah, it seems like it's a good uh, a good month for the Switch. Uh, Hades just came out on Switch, along with the 1.0 release. 
So if you've been waiting for a platform change there, that's uh, a good time. Good afternoon, Salmon. Hey, you unbuzzed bee. This is a vivification. Hey, ya. Only 11. Well, there you go. <laughs> Midbros has been waiting for Hades on Switch. Well, no longer. It's here. Number of cards of deck has to equal the ascension level. The one card A1. Yikes. Okay, wow, I actually caught up in only like five to ten minutes. Hello, everybody. So, so excited for uh, today. And that includes our uh, starting gameplay here on A20. Because we are on a streak. Pretty big one, too. We just cleaned it it out with the Watcher. Um, I'm trying to remember this run. Double fasting orange pellets? That sounds about right. This Pandora's Defect was glorious with uh, two Meteor Strikes. We actually duplicated the Meteor Strike with... Not Dolly's Mirror, with um, I think a Duplication Shrine or something. And it became upgraded because of our Molten Egg. So ultimately we're on a one... Two, three, four, five, six streak against the A20 heart. And one of those was this run, which was just ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think I should have won this run. Yeah, this is the one where I I took first floor feel no pain. And then we got Dark Embrace Corruption. Or something? Yeah, two, no, three Dark Embraces and two Corruptions, excuse me, with uh, Prismatic Shard. Holy heck. Had some wild, wild runs on A20 recently. Yes, yeah, duping a card and having an egg upgrades that card. Because you're adding a card to your deck that is of the appropriate type. I'm sorry, it was two, two at the last shop, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that seems like it was a pretty good store. That seems like it was a pretty good store. Alrighty, well, it is time for another Ironclad run. So excited to, uh, to get on into this. I'll do one, maybe two runs, however long it takes for our good friend Sneaky Teak to, uh, to appear and be ready for some cooperative action. But let's embark! Here on A20, on the Ironclad. What do you mean you're not gonna give me a rare relic start option game? How rude. How rude. Alright, Act 1. My job is to get strong by beating up everybody that lives inside of your hallways. Let's see, we could go for the late burning elite, but it's not really along a path with anything else. There's a couple two elite three fire paths. One that goes fire into elite, then elite into shop and two upgrades before slime boss. Or if we want the upgrades to be a little bit more front loaded, they fire before the second elite instead of after it, we have to miss out on the shop. There is a lose all gold starting option, so I don't mind losing out on a shop to do that. And in general, transforming two cards can get uh, really wacky on Ironclad. So I'm considering transform two. As far as snipe opportunities go, we could snipe this guy. We could, if we can get through three question marks, snipe this guy. Maybe like a 50% chance. This is a pretty good path for um, Ironclad Nyaw's, Nyaw's Lament, because three events has a pretty high likelihood of causing hit point damage. Like Shining Light, or the Remove a Card, or uh, Scrap Ooze, or uh, Golden Use. There's a lot of events in Act 1 that ask you to trade some health to get a benefit. Even uh, Golden Idol. And you can get guaranteed healing from the Burning Blood with one hit point enemies. 
I think, uh, Mr. Binary, I think the Twitch changed how they deliver ads recently, especially on certain platforms. It's nothing that uh, I have any ability to influence or control. But you can remove them by being subscribed, so... I guess. <laughs> that is your that is the way that Twitch has given you to uh, to deal with it. And it benefits me. But, um... I do think I get at least some revenue from the mid-roll ads, if you're, if you're having to watch more of them. I do believe that uh, that translates into some amount of income. In general, I, I have to say I'm pretty happy with the, the decisions that Twitch has made in terms of how they benefit the broadcasters on the site. Although, the user experience um, is a really, really important thing, too. And I disagree with some of the choices they've made there. And to elaborate on what you're saying, uh, Faley, there is an option that for uh, partnered broadcasters to disable pre-roll and mid-roll ads for... I think it's up to an hour if you manually run an ad at some point. So you can you can run a scheduled kind of ad break uh, format instead of having Twitch automatically deliver them to people. But in order to prevent them entirely, you have to do that at least once an hour, which is more often than I would like to do, by far. So I've never even considered using that feature personally. Random Boss Relic is also a thing that can go pretty well sometimes. Also available for affiliates. Oh, cool. Did actually not know that part. So what do we think? Transform 2 or Random Boss? Or, I mean, could go for the snipe, but I, I don't feel that snipe too strongly here. If I go for the Transform 2, we'll probably take a path that has no shops. Unless I need to, well, we'll, we'll look at what cards we get and then reevaluate our path. But what if taking a random boss relic is transform eight cards? Could be a Pandora start after all. Hmm. Tough call. Very tough call. First Dane remembers transform two giving the original ladder streak win on the ironclad. Alright. I like I like the words that you've said. And I'm going to who are we fighting? Slime boss? What if, is it double defend, do you think, for the transform? Ironclad loves to lean into his offensive strategies. And transforming uh, two defends instead of the one. I think one one is what I would normally go, but losing out on that one strike does hurt a lot more than you might expect. Let's go double defend transform and we get a seeing red and a pummel. That's... that's pretty smork. I like it. I like that a lot, actually, as a starting deck. I would legit consider removing a defend. Time to go face. The consequences of our choices. In this combat. Okay, we're not going to a shop. That's what we decided. Um, so that means this path. Three fires, two elites with nice breaks in between. Should be safe. Safe-ish, anyway. Ah. Huh. Still managed to draw, like, no damage in my opening hand. Hilarious. Uh, if we do... What's our best damage next turn? It would be Bash... Um, Bash Pummel while we're weakened would be... 8 plus 8, right? 16? 16 plus 12 is only 28. We can never kill the Gray Slime, so let's kill this guy. We do, unfortunately, take a guaranteed 7 here, but that's alright, too. Didn't even draw the bash, so... Whatevs. Let me come out only net minus 1 in this fight, which is... Would have hoped to heal a little bit in one of our opening combats, but... We can rest assured that we'll get a few hit points for free off of Cultist. 
Ooh, I like on armaments. Helps increase our block density a little bit while also helping with the offense. It can be free if it's in the same hand as Seeing Red. It can upgrade our Bash or one of our Strikes or a Defend to increase our block density. Wouldn't mind Iron Wave either here, giving us another attack that's also block and damage. But I'm perfectly content with an armaments. What I won't do is upgrade the armaments unless we get some card draw on the deck. A Battle Trance, a Pommel Strike, uh, maybe even a Shrug It Off would be enough. Always seems undervalued. Iron Wave, I think, is pretty solid if you can give it an upgrade. It does benefit a lot uh, for plus two, plus two on a one energy card. Um, so if, you, if you're able to get it upgraded without significant cost, or if it's coming to you upgraded for free from, like, Molten Egg, uh, Iron Wave can be a really, really solid early game, mid game card. Just efficient for the, uh, for the energy, but it's, it's not efficient enough I feel like to be quite worth it most of the time, without maybe some relic interactions. We would have had a pretty good actually Niao's Lament start, interesting. We will happily take the gold medal, I'm gonna lose the max health because I think we need the current health, but I will always happily take gold medal on a heart run. Just so many ways that that can get uh, super effective. Oh man, this would have been a really good Niao's Lament start. I'm digging. Worth it. Blood Vial for 11 health will pay itself off 1, 2, 3, 4, before the end of the act. This is a net positive. Cool. And could lead us into maybe thinking about Bites now in Act uh, in act 2. We have the Blood Vial, we still have 5 strikes, and if we keep ourselves at 5 strikes, since we have the Golden Idol too, there's a double incentive, I think now, to pursue the events of Act 2. Huge chance for not individually either Bloody Idol or the Bites, but collectively, we have a really good chance now. So I think that's something we're going to keep an eye out for as we get uh, further into this run. But for now, we need to focus on the here and the now, and that's winning these two hallway combats and hopefully getting a potion from one of them. Hopefully, hopefully. Bippity bappity. Give this worm the slappity. Hmm. Do I dare full block? I think I'm going to upgrade the bash. We need to get out of this fight quickly because we don't have any block cards in this deck. Take the two. Get the vulnerable down. Commander, Would we take Juzu Bracelet the over the key from the chest? Disturbing. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. I would happily do that. I would also relatively happily take Tiny Chest. I think. Although it would actually decrease our odds to get the events we want. It would increase our odds of getting something good. Hey, more healing, says Blood Potion. Or offer to... Oh god, wait, hmm. I, I can't take this clash, right? We're fighting Slime Boss. That's just never gonna work. That's just never gonna work, right? They're all so bad, though. Who wanted, though? It does so much damage for free. And we have so few skills in the deck. It's pretty easy to play once Ascender's Bane's gone, or if we get lucky and don't draw it alongside. That's right, Lysazime. If you have the Blood Vial, then you'll get a special option at the Bites event where you give them the Blood Vial instead of uh, giving them your max health. You, know, you give them the, the blood in the vial instead of giving them your blood, is the idea. I think. Something like that. I'm gonna take it. I, I don't think I like what happens if we skip a card in this combat reward going on the path that we're going on. So we're gonna try it here. Three strikes is better than upgrading one. Yeah, yeah. We should probably get free health out of this. <laughs> yeah, that's Clash for you. That is Clash for you. It'll be great next time we draw it, though. All I want for Christmas is a blue candle, okay? Yeah, we actually healed off the uh, cultists, get another potion. And I love this thunderclap. Ooh, I also love this combust. Oh, we could have had rupture combust? Dang it. Are we supposed to take that rupture? 
Couldn't have known, though. Combust is definitely a card that will make Slime Boss nice and easy to beat. If Clash retained, how much better do I think it would be? A lot better. Definitely a lot better. Have you ever done a shop run where I start with Golden Idol, Ceramic Fish, and a Merchant card, but can't add cards to deck outside of shops or act boss rewards? I think I've tried something like that. Um, uh, one of the community members we have, even actually, like, more than a year ago, I want to say, created a mod to allow me to create a, a like, a spire mode where all the rewards were money. And you could only get stuff from shops. And Sneaky Teak is indeed a wonderful, wonderful uh, gentleman who has in the past helped me avoid explosions of the unexpected kinds. Really want that combust, but it... Hmm, the Thunderclap goes better with what we have now. Especially with the Clash. Thunderclap's pretty good against Slime Boss, too. Okay, I'm going to take the Thunderclap because we missed out on that rupture. Maybe that's a mistake. And we're gonna upgrade the Thunderclap for uh, more AoE damage. It's a good upgrade going into Slime Boss or going into Triple Sentries. Okay, we could wake with Thunderclap Strike Strike. I think we're gonna try to exhaust a Sender's Bane so that we can actually get Clash value in this Lagavulin fight here. Case in point. Strawberry Waffles hitting us up with a dad joke. Did you hear about this new movie, in which a beautiful girl falls in love with a very ugly loaf of bread? I think it's called Beauty in the Yeast. How's it going, professional, professional Zach Main? Hype for the uh, Sneaky Teak collab? Because I sure am. Hey, you're waking up at the end of the turn regardless, right? Is I supposed to draw potion here? I feel like I am. Oh yeah, definitely. Keep that Volnop, get some damage in. We should have, what I should have done was do that first, so we could have used armaments on the uh, bash there, but this will work out fine. This will definitely work out fine. We got a block, there's no way we're killing on this turn, right? Perhaps I underestimate my own power. No way, we're killing on this turn. Close, though. Take a couple slaps from the leg of Illin, but we get out of here, no problem, ultimately. And that was with kind of a rough draw order, too. There's the tiny chest. I mean, okay, sure. <laughs> Give me all the question marks in Act 2. I'll take it. Every fourth question mark ends up being a treasure room. Could cause us problems with... Blood for blood. Could have had rupture, blood for blood, combust. Ridiculous. Professional Zach Main wants another one. A mathematician walks into a bar, and he orders a root beer in a square glass. How do we feel about double tap? Do we just keep embracing the offense? Like, we almost have an entirely skill, uh, you know, an entirely attack-based uh, deck currently. So, double tap is hitting pretty good. <laughs> Revealing my sources? Or my humor, more accurately. I'm going to take this double tap. I'm going to do it. Yikes. Let's see, Bash Strike, Pummel is how much damage? Uh, 17, and this would be 12. So, not enough to kill either of these nerds. I think that means we're going to try to get Colorless Potion to bail us out. Could be damage, 
Could even be a hand of greed, which would be a a free twenty gold. Could be a panic button. Could be could be all sorts of things. Dramatic entrance would get us the kill. That saves us a full twelve hit points, or we can hope for discovery to do better. And look at three different cards. Let's do that. Yeah, that's more like what I'm talking about. Bludgeon. Easy. Now we can kill the looter instead of the slime. Right away. I don't think we can get them both. Um, but that's that's huge. That is the big times. Let's see, eight plus. Yeah, that'll be a stomp. Actually, it causes us to take one more damage to uh, kill this guy first. But I, I think I do want to kill him first. Bludged. Flashed. Close lines. It's mitigation. Ooh, or drop kick. Ooh. Thunderclap, bash, double tap, drop kick? Question mark? Just go face even harder? Getting some weaken would be pretty valuable, and clothesline's great with double tap, too. But I think this is a really good drop kick, legitimately. The jargon file? I am not familiar with that, uh, is the cruise. Take that, uh, drop kick. So I think we want to go this way, uh, upgrading double tap at the fire here. Rather than go through the shop and fight the burning elite. Although I wouldn't mind taking the burning elite on right now. I think we also go to one event, just to up a uh, tiny chest and to maybe get something good. I feel like we have most of the cards we need for Act 1 here. We'd like to get relics or upgrades or something. Or removals. Would legit remove a defend right now. Hilariously. Ornithopter's great. Heal uh, 5 whenever you use a potion. I like some good sustain, and that is definitely good sustain. Also really relevantly... Ooh, we did get a shop anyway. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Couple really cool options here. Discovery we could afford. Can't buy any of the relics. I would actually be all over a whetstone right now. But uh, it's out of our price range, unfortunately. Rage sure does seem pretty good, actually. C didn't catch that at first. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain three block. It's a great card to upgrade, too. Yeah, that's a good one. I was originally thinking Pummel Strike and a card remove, but I could see Pummel Strike and Rage working really, really well together, too. Still not feeling like I want to upgrade armaments. Uh, a lot of times it's just better to upgrade the card you want upgraded anyway, so that you have the option to not have to draw them together. As the armaments will get more, more and more difficult to draw as the deck gets more and more cards in it. Discovery's basically talk to the hand. Basically. I mean, Rage is basically talk to the hand. For one turn. Draco likes the fire breathing, and I don't disagree. That would make Slime Boss a heck of a lot easier. Kind of a cool card to pair with Clash, right? Either one in one or the other is going to be activating. I really like this Rage Pummel Strike thing. Our plan for Slime Boss. Absolutely smash him with a split. Pretty good plan. A plan for that. It's gonna be great. Quitting this double tap right away. Fire breathing would have been good here, but Clash sure is good here. 
Got no complaints. How much damage is this? Eight. Uh, plus eight, plus fourteen. Is... In fourteen. Thirty damage. Definitely do twelve next turn. And this is a full block, almost. Pretty good for turn one. I'll just take the full 10 here. So we can either block for 5 or we can deal 12. I'd rather deal the 12. We're never really killing this one next turn, but if we pump our damage into this one, we can probably prevent it from attacking two turns from now. Well, I think that's going to be the plan here. Hey, Fluctuation EM, yes! I would, I'm going to try to uh, to get some Hades in later tonight. What if we're try? Let's see, so if I arm a Pummel Strike, I probably can get Sing Red into my hands. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, Dropkick is way more likely to get us a kill. So it's probable that this saves 10 health. So I'll pay 5 health to do it. Yeah, we've got Sneaky Teak joining us on the... Dang it. Sneaky Teak joining us on the uh, stream later today. And when that's over, I'll uh, try to get some Hades in afterwards. Oh, we have a Blood Potion. And draw lethal next turn. And we did. Good. Okay, not too bad. And a Preserved Insect will be very happy to have that next act, with our elites having 25% less health. Second chance at Combust. Are you sure you don't need help against Slime Boss, says the game, and I'm definitely thinking more about it now than I did before. I'm looking at the Slime Boss fight, and I'm being a little bit worried about it. A Combust would make me feel much better. But does it end up slowing us down too much? That's, I think, what I asked last time. Would I rest before Slime Boss? That's going to depend entirely on these two combats and whether our hit points go up or down. It could go either way, right? We'll gain 8 health per combat if everything goes perfectly, like we draw a double tap thunderclap against Gremlins on turn 1. The must is nice in Act 2. Pretty good against sentries, birds especially. Although I think we're pretty good at birds, because we can just pummel one out of the air and double tap, thunderclap all of them, perhaps. Don't want this Hemo. Alright, we'll take the Combust. I might regret this, but I'm doing it. Speaking of gremlins, we did not draw. Yikes. Wow. Oof. That is really scary with this opening draw. Well, not a whole lot we can do here. We want to kill one of them and probably just take 20 to get more damage out. We have to kill the two sneaky gremlins immediately. We're going to spend the entire rest of this fight both weak and frail. Yikes. There's not a whole lot that can save us from here. But uh, we do have a blood pot. Relatable content, right? <laughs> I saw I saw your silent run run into this uh, into a similarly nasty bunch. I think last night was the was the sad times. Ouch. But yes, to answer the question, we are we are resting before slime boss. That is gonna happen. Almost as your ooh. Get him! Show these nerds who the boss is. It's me. I'm the boss. No potion, unfortunately. Another chance at fire breathing. No. I would take Reckless Charge if we had one, though. I think we're going to skip all of this. And, uh, hopefully not die here. Hmm. Well, I mean, that's fair, honestly. 
I did put all these cards in my deck on purpose. Really ought to have known better. Yeah, we have a ooh, strength gain card. Really bad against slime boss though. Double drop kick. Take the spot. We're gonna need strength scaling if we're gonna have any hope here, and I am super resting, because I have no potions. And I need to be able to tank a big hit from the slimy boy. Good luck to me. Okay, we can get him close to splitting here. If we draw decent damage, we might be able to get a split. Looks like we did, in fact, draw decent damage. Can't play the Clash, though. So we cannot actually split. Dang it, Clash. This is what I, why I was worried to add the Combust, actually, was this exact uh, situation. I think we've tried to... We've tried to cover our bases, but in doing so have betrayed... The cards that we took initially, the Clash and the Rage, don't work well with the Combust and the Spot Weakness, even though these cards are kind of nice for scaling up with. This doesn't really work together. That said, we can upgrade our Combust here and block 10, which I think will be good enough that with a next turn split, we avoid getting uh, future... whatchamacallions? Future slimes added to the deck. We don't have a lot of hit points, but... We have enough. Ooh, and we get to actually play Clash? For a really good split. Yeah. Clash was actually good the whole time. Can you believe it? Glad we rested, though. Good lord. EJ? Commander, one of our most Maniac in a mask. Thank you so much for the 14 months and the tier one sub. The XCOM project. There was never any doubt. If only we hadn't played the dropkick, we could have played the clash. That's true. Alright, we have a spot weakness and a flex pot, so limit break looking pretty good. Corruption is... kind of interesting with, like, clash. I don't think so. Or juggernaut with rage, which I think is... just too hard to get in play with what we have going on right now. Corruption would be the best if we got a Sneko Eye. Personally, I'm really hoping we get a Runic Pyramid, as it would make this deck way, way better, especially with a Limit Break. But let's hope for Pyramid here. Let's see what we get. Damn it! <laughs> the Sneko Eye, I'm still taking it, probably. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted the other good one. Hmm. Not a particularly good Sneko deck, but. That's about to change. We upgrade the armaments, for sure, as we'll draw seven cards a turn. I'll actually uh, address the the science facts uh, thing really quickly. I did take those off uh, the stream a, a week or two ago. Um, just kind of to see how it felt to put them down. And... I've been focusing a lot more of my attention and energy towards my personal life this uh, past month and a half, and I felt a lot of relief at putting down something that was taking up uh, off-stream time in significant portions. Um, so having having tested out putting it down, I, I feel very good about the decision to do so, because it's freed up a lot more off-stream time for me. I do want to bring them back in some fashion in the future, but for the moment, I'm really, uh, really enjoying having a little bit less pressure on myself. Life work balancing? Outrageous. Outrageous. But yeah, I do want to, I do want to bring, uh, something like that back. Uh, I think the, the point where, and my personal interest will kind of dictate that. Um, they were originally part of the stream because I was... Personally, in an energy to seek out and enjoy learning 
about these subjects and wanted to share that learning with other people. But when that interest wanes, it shifts from being something that I'm doing for myself to something that becomes a responsibility. And at that point, it's time to set it down for a little bit until the passion returns. Does Deco make the current deck better or worse? Screw the current deck. We need a future deck. Actually, it's not a terrible, um... Not a terrible runic dome. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take this Neko out here. For sure Z's. Doesn't make the current deck much better, might even make it worse, quite frankly. The goal now becomes fix this. Fix this hot mess that we have landed ourselves in. By visiting as many question marks and shops and and fires as possible. It's the most question marks we can take. Not too many. Might want to go for these two. But I think we hit one of these two stores. They're basically equivalents. Hit an event, and then we hope to be able to beat an elite with our potions. The wonders and horrors of French. Yeah, well, well put. Well put. Yeah, otherwise we're never taking this path. We need to be. We need to still, you know, fight elites with intent. That's going to be a little challenging, I think, but we'll make it work. Just got to trust in Sneko to do good by us and to not get us horribly, horribly murdered. Sneko, did you hear what I just said? Don't get me horribly murdered. Please. A little bit ominous here. Taking a big hit next turn some kind. Oh, but this looks alright. Go Spot Weakness, Bash. We want the energy from the Dropkick, but it might prevent me from... No, we, we don't ever have the energy to play this Clash, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, Spot Weakness, Bash, Dropkick. We don't need to sing we just play the Combust. Do a little bit more damage here. Do more damage. Make it die. This definitely could have been worse. He says, not waiting for the fight to finish before he says that. Yeah, now, we're, now we're good. Hey, regen potion! That's actually quite a bit of health with a toy ornithopter. And with Sneko Eye, I'm super taking a clothesline. 12 damage, 2 weak. This is going to be how we start to bail ourselves out, taking high value, high impact cards, and trusting in Sneko Eye to do the rest. Hopefully. We can armaments to upgrade this Seeing Red, and that would turn it from 2 cost into 0 cost. And then I can, like. I have 5 energy, I could go a Rage, Strike. What are the other options? Upgrade the Rage. Doesn't work. Can't ever get a kill with, like... We're gonna use the Regen Potion here. This fight will take a couple of turns. But we do get a decent block here. It upgrades to zero cost. get through the block, though. Double tap a clothesline is a pretty solid choice, I think. And also spot weakness, double tap pummel strike, or just double tap pummel strike to draw two cards and then see what else is in hand. We'll take another 10 if we uh, double tap clothesline and we'll bust through the armor and do at least a little bit of damage. The weaken will save us on future turns, but we're bleeding health quickly here. And we'll continue to do so until we get better cards in this deck. It's like double tapping the pummel, although there's nothing I can draw into that's going to mitigate the damage. We just have to kill it and fast. So maybe I should double tap pummel and spot. We need to get the strength here. 
cool. Draw the Ascender's Bane, get that out of the way, take 14. Here we go. Free Limit Break. This might actually be lethal now. 27... no, not quite. Close, though. Would have been with the uh, potion, but we need to save this for our first elite, for sure. For most certain. I think I can get away with... now that I have 6 strength, I think I can get away with playing this defend. We should have a kill on this turn. Basically, no matter what. Okay. Actually still above half health, somehow. Love the shrug with Snekoi, it's actual block. As well as card draw. Burning pack's almost okay. Hey, Darkache. Yeah, super excited for the Hades launch. We'll hopefully be checking out some of that uh, later tonight. Hopefully. Okay, that's not the bailout I was hoping for, merchant. But I am down for, I think, a Vajra to give us plus one strength. And we can exactly afford, if I'm mathing correctly, uh, the Gambler's Brew, which is a very good potion with Sneko Eye. Hey, Yenowub. Plus one strength improves our damage output, makes all of our attacks hit a little bit harder, makes Limit Break do something. Um, on its own, that's pretty good. Means we still have five strikes, but, you know, maybe bites will happen. And then everything will be fine again. Hopefully. Idea with the Gambler's Brew is that it saves us from a rough draw. We can draw a lot more cards than usual with it. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no! Hi! Hello. Yikes. Alright, maybe this is our flex spot? We could get to 10 strength. And then this would do... Sorry, 12 strength. Excuse me. If I go flex pot limit break, then we could close line and pumel. How much damage would that be? With 12 strength. So 24 plus 4 times 14, which is what, 56? 80 damage. Not quite enough. Just short. That almost makes me want a Gambler's Brew, like, in addition. Both potions win the fight right now? Is that worth it? I don't know. But we're in a terrifying situation, that's for sure. Perfect shop, Bailey. I do this. For these four. Okay, we got Thunderclap and Clash. Interesting. Cannot afford to play Clash. Uh, I think that might be a kill with the Flex Pot, though, now. With Vulnerable? Hold on, math. Flex Pot, like. Limit Break. Thunderclap, strike, close line. Which would that be? So that would be 7 plus 12, 19. And then strike would be 6 plus 12, 18, 27. Then close line would be 12 plus 12, 24, 36. That is 82. Slightly more, but not enough still. Dang it. Why do we have Clash in an A20 run? Um, it happened. You know, decisions were made. I'm gonna shrug then. We'll go uh, Thunderclap Clothesline, save the Flex Spot for a another better time, if there is such a thing. Take some damage. So 
can go Rage, Double Tap, Strike, 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 and that's actually a full block. Doesn't help us kill this guy, though. We'll do that. To kill you soonish. Like this. Probably would have had a kill if I'd used the bash last turn. I did consider that line. Spot weakness, limit break, strike, and pummel. How much damage is that, actually? E eight points of strength? I don't have to score a kill here. Although I think it would be with the flex pot, right? We'd go to... How much? It would be 9, 18 strength. That is definitely enough. For both of them. Okay, let's get out of this situation. Fortunately, no potion. Chance at Juggernaut is a little bit better now that we have Sneko Eye. Take up, uh, pick up combo pieces and trust in the Sneko. Offer burning blood or preserved insects in law. That's uh, that's quite something. I would love to take your uh, your gift, which triples the chance of finding rare cards, because there's a lot of rare cards we want. But those are some important relics you're asking for, my friend. Why not ask for a tiny chest or blood vial or even golden idol? Really want me to give Burning Blood to this guy? I mean, we might be able to find some additional sustain. But... I don't know. I don't know. That's a lot of health I'd be losing right away. Though it does have the added benefit of removing black blood from the uh, relic pool after our boss. Fluffy Mifittens would begrudgingly give up the insect right before an Act 2 Elite fight with no potions. I, I can't personally agree. I think we would die instantly. Or would have to take a, a worse path, perhaps. Hmm. Yeah, the, he chooses two relics at random from what you have. Give him the Burning Blood. Alright. I, I trust in Corruption to show up at the designated time. And I trust in Snekowai to finally give me a good hand here. Hey, here we go. Now we're talking. Rage, Double Tap, the Bash, and the Drop Kick, drawing us two more cards and giving us two more energy. Letting us go completely nuts on these fools. It destroyed. Thank you, Snekoi, for finally coming through for me. <laughs> Good job. You did it. Got him. Alright, I better see a flash from this gift right now. Yes. Good job. Bag of Marbles gives us uh, one vulnerable to all enemies, another potion to help with our next elite fight, and some kind of rare card here. Immolate! Why, you shouldn't have. But wait, there's also a shockwave. Super good. Both of these are super good. Although, with the Bag of Marbles, I think it's going to be a really hard time to turn down this uh, Immolate. Now we are starting to get this deck to pull together, I think. In a really good way, we could actually upgrade, afford to upgrade armaments, and we're in a good enough position now that we can take another elite, too. Take that big chunky damage card. And let's upgrade everything in hand whenever we play this card, now that we have more cards in hand. Hopefully it'll be free. And a bonus stinky merchant! 
I can't afford anything at. Not even the potions. Come on, dude. That's just taunting me. I know your potions can roll less than 53 gold. Jerk. Neat. Bumfied Hand says whenever we play a power card, a random card in our hand costs zero for the turn. Please, corruption. Thank you. Demand corruption, in fact. Cool. We'll get an upgraded Juggernaut in play. Yeah, demon form, corrupt. I like any power, really. Especially the ones that cost a lot. Even a barricade, I would consider. We're gonna go armaments, then jug to get it upgraded, right? Strike will outright kill you, but not you, right? Maybe I want a explosive pot here. Oh, it is 15. Okay, we just killed him then. Take the potion. Oh, and the pummel's free. Get him. Definitely want to get the combust in play to do extra AoE. Let's see. Two cost thunderclap. Still worth it. For sure, Z's here. Get to clothesline the leader. For another 19. And you don't die to combust, so I have to kill you. We probably have a kill next turn. Did I miss a free juggernaut, Brock? Oopsies, if so. Thought I didn't have the energy for it. Commander, one of our most valued supporters. Ooh, that's Says continued support of the XCOM project. Uh, what about Bash Pummel? Yeah, that's a kill. Okay, cool. Got him. Beached Whale, thank you so much for the Prime sub and those seven months. All right, now I'm definitely missing that corruption from earlier, but we have a dead branch. Whenever we exhaust a card, add a random card into your hand. It's here. Heavy Blade seems decent. Not amazing, but decent. I don't think we take it. I think we want to take it. Power 3 is okay block. Don't feel great about the wounds, though. It's very bad with Clash. We might just need a big block card for Bronze Tomato here. I'm gonna take the big block card. I like big block cards. Hmm. This is not a kill, unfortunately, right? This would be 9 times 4? Just 36. Yeah, it's not gonna be quite enough. Unfortunate. It means we take the full 24 here. Dang. Actually, wait, if we explosive pot. 9 times 4 because we're always playing the Immolate for 1 energy. To clarify, sorry about that. That is a kill, right? Um, this would bring it to... It's currently at 46, so bring it to 36. And that is a kill. Yes, good. There's a lot of health that we have saved there. And a great potion to find, heck yeah. Is power on it? And I have a power through. Sure. I'll take an Evolve with Mummy Hand. Why not? Tiny Chest says, Hello, here's some free guaranteed block with Oracalcum, and I will definitely take that. Six minimum. Now the question is, do we want one more event? We do have both Blood Vial for Bites and Golden Idol for Bloody Idol. And this could be Thwack. I think we do take another event. Like, there's, there's a lot of really, really good hits that we haven't seen. Upgrade all strikes defense. The library could get us a corruption. You know, thwack. Of support. We are extremely We're weighing this impressed. against the potential of one upgrade, which is great, but it's not a game changer. We need a game changer here. 
Uh. Hmm. I mean, with Dead Branch? Probably, right? Yeah, probably. With Dead Branch, I think so. Ooh, spot weakness limit break on turn one. Nice. Give me something good. Flex pot here. Nice, that is good. Ooh, that is really good. That is maybe good? Mummy hand, so sure. I'll take that. And then we win. Cool. That is a much easier book of stabbing than I would have expected. We get Akko Beko making our first attack. Each combat deal eight additional damage. Rupture is here to maybe go with the Combust to be a strength mechanism. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I like that that much. It's a reason why we have no keys. This this run has been on the back foot the entire time. That's why. That is unfortunately why. But we have a we have a shot at victory here. Somehow. I was kicking myself about that, but that's before I got a Sneko Eye. This is before I got a Sneko Eye. Yeah, we're a couple cards away from popping off, that's right. But we have yet to actually do that. I think I'm in a Limit Break Flex Potion, the Bronze Tomato, and we're gonna hope that's enough. We're gonna hope that's enough. Alright, what are we upgrading here? Are we actually resting? How desperate are we? No, we're upgrading Immolate, right? Yeah. Good luck to us. Zero cost Pummel Strike is relatively fine. Draw Pummel on turn one. I don't think we're going to use it, though. We're going to save that for when we have the big strong. Do we play the Combust? Or do we do Thunderclap here? That is my question at the moment. Hey, Kindred. Yeah, I'm super excited to hear that uh, Hades is on Switch today. Hoping to play some later in the evening. Super hyped for that. Hmm. That artifact could be a big difference here. But we do get a mummy hand proc, too. We should get this out of the deck. Yes, zero cost spot weakness. Very good. Everything else about this turn, very bad, though. Actually, we can kill a minion with Bash Himalaya, right? That's pretty good. This one. The one that's doing 8 damage to me. I need my hit points, please. Or are we just meant to, like, ignore the minions? I wonder. And go straight for the boss. I kill you. Okay, stealing double tap could actually be a pretty good thing. This turn is a little bit worrisome. Not drawing limit break yet is a problem for sure. Want double tap in my hand yet. Shrugging. Okay, we can't play this Clash, which is fine. We just need to get our strength up to uh, 18 here. We have three turns to kill the boss, basically. Unless we can somehow survive Hyper Beam, which seems a little unlikely. I 
Looks like I am gonna shrug. Okay. Ooh, good idea, me. Rampage is free. Oh, don't play that yet. There we go. No! Order! <laughs> no! Well, that's not gonna be able to come around, right? Damn it. That's so rude. Four months of support. We are extremely impressed. Four months, Fire Flame Fire. Thank you so much for the resub. This goes into my hand before the end of turn, right? That oh, doesn't matter. Okay, let's do this. Do all the damage to the boss. It does come into hand for the next turn. Yes! Good. Very good. I think we got there. I think we did it. Feels good. Because it is good. Strike plus again? I think so. Ooh, all the damage. Till the next turn. Good job, Dead Branch. You saved my ass. Thank you. For everything. GG. More hit points is more better, and please, corruption. That's close enough. Fiend Fire. Exhausts our whole hand. Dealing 7 damage for each exhausted card. Works amazing with double tap. Works amazing with the huge hand of Sneko Eye. I'll take it. And I won't be upset with it. Until it fails me, and then I will be upset with it. You know what I like? Four energy with Dead Branch, Sneko Eye. That's that's what I'm thinking right now. Just just the four energy, please. We could maybe, sure, in theory, get corruption off uh, Astrolabe. But this deck just wants more energy. Play more cards, do more stuff. Please. Well, there's definitely some cards we'd like to transform, right? Like Rage and... Flash. And a Strike. Got neither Bloody... <laughs> neither Bloody Idol nor the uh, Bites. That's so rude. Got an upgraded Armaments too, that's true. And a lot of the cards we'll be playing are just from the Dead Branch. We just... Really, 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 really desperately want uh, more energy. And we'll probably, quite frankly, need the heals. We're going to take a lot of random damage. Oh, and what's that? We also don't get any fires because we left the Burning Elite for Act 3. So it's, uh, well, it's going to be a slog. Good luck to us. Oola, as they say. Not a tech cards in my hand. Whew. Good job, Sever Soul. You did some. A lock potion is excellent. Uppercut is excellent. Applies vuln, applies weak, it's an attack, it costs two, I'm gonna take it. Into fall, losing. Defend, combustor, strike. Aw. Where's Clash? I mean, I'm pretty happy losing a strike. Those are not cards we uh, we want to have anymore. Might have wanted to maybe lose defend instead. Jackalow hitting us up with a dad joke. Did you hear about the baby ghost that applied to join a football team? Apparently he heard the manager say they were in need of a little team spirit. Kill it. Oh yeah, we got 25 damage. Gonna absolutely murder you. Get murdered, son. <laughs> You're so welcome, Jekyllo. Thanks for uh, being here. Freeing red. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> take two? Yeah, I'll take two here. Rage Twin Strike Body Slam? I don't think so. We're not generating enough block consistently enough for Body Slam to be good. Late turn one. Yes. Fight. <laughs> Poor Phil. All right. Do we drink the blood pot to go to full? Eat block pots? Yeah. A little bit of a waste, but. How do we have Idle without starting Relic? We gave it to Inloth. Valid question, those who are confused. We have a, definitely an unusual game state here. But uh, Inloth asks for two random Relics from uh, from your character. You have to pick one of them. And he chose our, one of our starting Relics, and we decided to take it, which has been, so far, a pretty crap deal. Because he ain't giving me shit. Pardon my French. Seen like what one rare card off this thing? Come on. You can do better than that. Play that first because it was cheap. And we'll uh get the mummy hand procs on the better stuff. Okay, no need to put a burn into our own discard here. Okay, good limit break. Great limit break. Ooh, decent form. Can't afford to play that, though. Not gonna happen, right? Eight points of strength should make this relatively consistent. That is the hope. Yes, and Loth can also ask for used up relics. Uh oh. I didn't even get Juggernaut in play? Yikes. Did not draw any damage somehow. I think we just play the seeing red here, although armaments would be better, right? Armaments makes this free, and then we play it. Okay, uh, we can use Liquid Memories on Power Through to save a lot of health here. That might be what we need to do. But that's the big yikes. Currently we're taking 20-ish. I think I'd rather keep the uh, Memories. Uh, and use the Block Pot. We'll take 10 from that smack. At least we're good on this turn. But, uh, wow. Big scary eggs there. Okay. He survived the transient experience. And we do get a rare card and our block potion back. That's pretty sweet. That rare card is Demon Form, which I will definitely take. Welcome aboard Demon Form. You're a rare three-cost power in my Sneko I deck with a mummy hand. So, I love you. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Oh, we don't get to spot with here. Okay. There's Armaments, Fiendfire, then. Fine. Attack a Beko, Fiendfire. After all. It's one damage short. Okay, I'll play the Offering, I guess. 
Alright, good fight, Nemesis. We score a meal ticket, healing us when we enter a shop. And the Emerald Key. Sword Boomerang Plus is pretty good with a Demon Form and a Limit Break. And a Spot Weakness in a Vajra. I'll take it. Really good Strength Scaling card. We'd prefer a Heavy Blade Plus. That'd be, like, one of the best cards to see. But... Oh well and all that. Uh, we can force Combust to make Dropkick free. Nice. That's cool. Aha! Good stuff. Aw, oh, can't double tap the pummel unless Juggernaut makes one of them free. So we're looking at quite a bit of damage here. Hey, Lichi Sauce, I'm hoping to play some Hades today, yeah. After uh, my guest segment with Sneaky Teak is over. We'll probably switch over to some. Strikes absolutely ruining this deck. Bold claim. Let's see if I... Liquid Memories. I could double tap the Pummel, actually. By Liquid Memories, uh, Dropkick. But that'd be enough damage. So this would be 36 times 2. Plus, Dropkick is going to be 18 times 2. And then we get to play this for another 15. Yes, that is a kill. Okay, so let's just kill this thing. Let's just kill this thing. Let me just confirm. We go down to one energy. We double tap the drop kick, go back up to three. Then we can double tap the pummel. Perfect. Another Armaments Plus being offered here. Not bad, not bad. Not too bad. You just gotta trust that there's a lethal. And if you look hard enough, you might be able to find it. It's sad to not have that potion, but we already got through the most difficult elite. Right, we killed Nemesis on turn one. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Maybe just take this for a card that says Exhaust? Yeah, I agree with you, Chris. I'm wondering if we take the second one, though. We do already have one. For reference. Pretty good with Dead Branch, though, right? Like, random Dead Branch cards are great to upgrade. So do we take number two? The one we have is doing a pretty good job. We do have a Fusion Hammer, so it's our only way to, like, upgrade Demon Form. I'll take it. We'll see how it does for us. We'll trust that it's gonna be okay. okay we do have Akabeko live. So good with the Fiend Fire. Let's see, we play Dropkick. Oh, we can never play this Clash, so whatever. We Dropkick first here. Bop one off. 19, this does 21. I think we close line, make sure Reptomancer's weak next turn here. Pick these stinky daggers. Off. We just never are able to play this. It's power through or not power through, basically. And with Juggernaut in play, the answer is power through, I believe. You're on thin ice, double tap. Okay, this is just completely free. So might as well. Shame these both ended up costing three. We have no feel, no pain or anything. Highlander letter has started, yes. We're on, I think, Ascension 8 or so. On the Highlander ladder right now. But uh, chilling with some A20 at the moment. So do we go straight for Repto or for one of the daggers? It's how much damage? Nine times six is way too much to use on a dagger, I think. Ooh, 
second wind. Very good. Very, very good. Second wind gets me one, two, three, four. So 20 block, four juggernaut procs, and four new cards. We could bloodletting first, we lose out on five block, but we gain one more energy afterwards. One less random card. I think we just second wind here. Or we could bloodletting and immolate and kill off both daggers. That'd be pretty hype. I trust in second wind here. Hey! Hello. Hello, corruption. Fine friend. How are you today? Doing well, I see. And now we have the boot. Perfect. Upgraded True Grit or unupgraded Disarm? I think it's gotta be the Disarm. Disarm helps so much against Awakened One, it helps so much against Hearts. Helps so much against Time Eater. And works well with Auric Alchem. Okay, I gotta take the blue key here over the ancient T set. I'm not too sad, although T set's not not too bad. Stinky tomb of Lord Red Mask, unfortunate. We're gonna get a chest in our next question mark room. I'm actually kind of upset with tiny chests because uh, it's been worse than the events we've been looking for consistently. So I wonder if it was perhaps a mistake to pick that thing up. Nice pummel, by the way. Strength. More strength. Play random cards. Works for me. Blam. As they say. Potion Belt is here, giving us two more potion slots to work with, and a second Fiend Fire might just be the bailout we need. Career is also sweet. Restocking cards, relics, and potions. And we'll take one more event, because we haven't seen Mind Bloom or Double Orb Walkers, and those would both be much, much better than one more combat. Or we can just take one more combat. Works for me. Blood for Blood's good, or second clothesline. Just more consistent weaken is something I'm gonna appreciate here. For hearts. Although maybe with the weak potion we didn't need that. Perhaps not. randomly here. Great fights, though. One more potion. There's a heavy blade. It doesn't say plus on it. Do we still want it? It does less damage than a sword boomerang plus does. Yeah, we gave our Surtur Relic to In-Law's gift. Wasn't a cage start, we actually just gave burning blood to In-Law, is what happens. With two armaments, that's a good point, actually. Mm, I think we're good, actually. The, the Fiend Fires are hilariously even better strength scaling attacks. Recovered. Grab a recall, feeling good with this potion belt, and full health rolling it on into the elites here. Or, sorry, the bosses here, excuse me. Yes, the elite. The awakened one. Good elite fight, yes? Good 
fight birds. Okay, we can armaments, but that doesn't actually let me play the disarm. Oof. I do like arma defend defend though. But I appreciate having you weak next turn. Maybe we end up using the block potion to do that. Wait a minute, that's illegal. Isn't it? Pretty sure that's illegal. Oof, you want me to play Demon Forma on this turn, and I'm gonna do it. I am gonna do it, because we need this Demon Form in play. Not playing Evolve, though. Okay, Exhum. Is very good. But not right now, it's not. I think this is going to be our weak potion. Hurts a lot. But that's okay. I think it's going to be the winning move. Uh, any powers that we could hit? One. Debating playing Havoc here. I think we do use it. Oh, very nice. Yes, that was good. It's very good. Wasn't as nice as I thought it was originally. Oof. Okay, I think we just want to get uh, Voln down for next turn, because we'll play possibly double tap Fiend Fire and outright kill the Awakened One Phase 1. That's kind of how we have to do this, just all aggro out here. Calipers? Calipers value. Ooh, upgraded calipers value. Here we go. Actual good stuff happening. A lot of health to work with in the, in the next fight, thankfully. Oh, it's just, uh, no, we're juggernauting so we can disarm, even though we miss out on some jug procs here. It's fine. So I think the bird is dead. Yes, the bird is dead. No relics to set up, right? Nope. Let's get out of here then. Boss one down. One more to go. I think this one should be a bit easier. Especially with a turn one demon form. Especially with a turn one demon form. Give me some cards. Okay, are we playing Rage on this turn? Maybe. Do Rage, Pummel, Sword Boomerang, Defend. That's some good guaranteed block. Doesn't get the Juggernaut in play, though. And that's fine. We have... We have Demon Form in play. I think that's all we need. We just need as many hit points as we can get. Okay. Ooh, an Uppercut makes him weak. Okay, that's a huge hit point savings. Good job, us. Nice. Intimidate on this turn, too. Double tap drop kick, super tempting, but um, it'll put Time Eater over his uh, turn counter thingy here. Drop kick one time. Boss time. So we can. Give me a little bit of the sad. We're gonna get Orichalcum block. This will go to, I think, seven times three when he gains two points of strength. We're gonna let Orichel come block here. Health is going dangerously low, but fear not. 
I have a plan? Question mark. And that plan only might be dire. A lot. Let's not make this in clothesline. I think it's time to use our, uh, our blood pot here. Orichalcum can you block? Don't want to use block potion when Orichalcum is blocking, because we're only getting six block out of it then. Here we go. Now we're talking. Give me a new hand, please. Not that hand, though. Gross. Let's havoc this uppercut. We are getting somewhere. Easy game. Never didn't have it. All right, we are on to Act 4 here. With 500 gold to spend in the shop and courier, we can refill this potion belt no problem. And possibly pick up something else besides. The deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room is this. The heart of the spire, the source of this Hail Mary dead branch. You ready your blade, Dylan? 22-28. A good year. Time does the collab start? That'll start when Sneaky Tick is up and ready, which is... I think I told him about um, an hour or two from now. So that's uh, that's a rough estimate. But I don't know where he's at yet. We'll see. Do have to sleep here. And before I spend any cash in this store... Oh, 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 oh don't want the strange food. Uh, before I spend any cash in this store, I am going to take a quick break, refill my legs, stretch my water. And when I return, we'll make some very important purchasing decisions. Be right back, everybody. Commander, the aliens are disturbing.
Alrighty, folks, we are back. I don't dislike your suggestion, not guilty. Uh, we do have Courier, so we will get a another power under the Dark Embrace. Um, for those unfamiliar, you always have the exact same layout in shops for these, these five cards at the top. Two attacks, two skills, and one power. And if you have Courier, whenever you buy one of them, it'll be replaced by a card of the same type. So buying an attack always creates another attack. Buying a skill always creates another skill. And buying a power always creates another power. Which is, uh, when you have Mummy Hand and Sneko Eye, there's a lot of cool things that can be in this. Cool. We do want this Dark Embrace. It's going to be crazy good card draw. And we're past the fight where having too many powers is a bad thing. Oh yeah, while we're away, Master Zed, thank you so much for the five months with a sneaky, sneaky sub. I like this Apotheosis. It says Exhaust on it, and it upgrades everything, including random Dead Branch cards. I like removing a Strike here, just fine. I like the 7 max health of Strawberry. I think that's okay. I don't think we need the uh, Bronze Scales. Our damage is going to be fine. It's the survivability I'm worried about for Heart. What I think we most want to do is buy some potions now. To one, fill out the Potion Belt, and two... Um... <clears throat> to try to find something that'll let us survive the early turns of hearts. I don't like the spoon here for a lot of reasons. Commander, Strange Spoon says that cards which exhaust the support of another council when they're member. played would instead discard half the time, and if they discard, then they don't activate any exhaust synergies because they didn't exhaust. So we won't get a new card from Dead Branch. We won't draw a card off Dark Embrace. If we have a Feel No Pain in play, that won't give us any block. Those are all reasons to avoid the Strange Spoon on Ironclad sometimes. You definitely want the exhausting to happen. Master Zed, thank you so much for the second sub. The Jackalo. Pointing out. The resub gets you subbed. Okay, love this Energy Potion, love this Liquid Memories. Being able to pull back Double Tap, or Spot Weakness, or Limit Break, or a Fiend Fire, or, you know, any of these is really, really good. Lava Gambler's Brew. We'll buy that, too. I think I'll take the Energy Potion. And this is fine. I was hoping for a Weak Pot or an Ancient Pot. Definitely an Ancient Pot would have been my preferred outcome, but we'll take that. We'll take that as a full potion belt. Remember, each one of these also heals us for five, courtesy of Toy, Orn Toy Ornithopter. Might want a second spot weakness, just to ensure that we can get the strength going. I like card remove just fine. I like apotheosis just fine. Can I afford all of that? That would mean no strawberry, but I'd be okay with that. That would be 120 plus 140. Yeah, we could afford that. Don't want to go further into this pile seeing just the rupture. Like, there's definitely a lot of... Despite the mummy hand, like, adding powers that don't do anything for us are gonna be really dangerous. We're gonna trust that we'll get a random corruption from a fiend fire. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright. Onwards. The final two fights. Here we go. I was hoping we'd see a turn one. Hmm. That enough to kill the uh, spire shield. Math time. So we could do what? Limit break, spot weakness, clothesline, thunderclap, immolate. That puts us to eight points of strength. And then we do. Math time. So with 8 points of strength, close line will be 20... 28 after Akabeko is factored in. So 28 from close line. Then Thunderclap is 7 plus 8, 15. Then Immolate is... 28 plus 8... 36... times 1.5. 54. Which is 97 damage. Yes, we have a kill. Cool. I'm just gonna do that then. Of 
Four Calcum blocks, we take six. Call it a day. Now, this might be cause for a potion. Lockpot. Saves 17 health. Leaves us space in the potion belt to draw one. We're gonna take a bunch of damage still. Shrug. We, like, we could also maybe try to Gambler's Brew, but I, I'd really prefer to have Gambler's Brew for the hard fight. Let's do this. Potion drink. I've discarded potions by accident too many times. I'm gonna slow my roll a little bit there. Take 16 here. Not a perfect fight, but definitely not one I'm unhappy with. Oh! Close enough to perfect then. We go into the heart fight with full health. And we got a rare card, which is another copy of Juggernaut. With no feel no pain in this deck, I don't know that I want another Juggernaut. Cool card though. Cool card though. Turn two and three against the heart are gonna be scary. In Loth, great question, Carissa. No, in Loth does not react on every rare card offered. I believe it, it does only flash if it makes the difference. From what I've observed. All right, here we go. Evolve turn one feels good. Probably gonna play this clothesline. But I might just rather play the uh, Fiend Fire. No, no, because no, I want to play Fiend Fire with Akabeko for like 200 damage, right? Yeah. So we are going to take, of course, some Beat of Death here. Every time we play a card, two damage. But we definitely want to be playing this. We definitely want to be playing this. And that leaves us enough energy to play a Corruption if we see one. Although we also have other ways to get Corruption in play. I'm not going to play the Clothesline because it would cost me my Akabeko. Hopefully we'll get weak some other way. Well, I'm not impressed with this hand. Hoping for something more impactful, Dead Branch. This will Havoc. Yes, that was correct. Good job, me. Now Dark Embrace is in play, and I feel a lot better. Um, how much health is it worth to trade to do more damage to Heart here? Two health deal 25 feels worth it. How about for less than that? I'm gonna let this exhaust, because it'll draw me a card and give me another card from Dead Branch. So two cards if I let Carnage exhaust. I think we do get the second Evolve in play as well. Let's stop there. Okay. Oh boy. Flashes here. We got a really, really good turn. Apotheosis is here. Seeing Red is here. Disarm is here. Spot Weakness is here. All very, very good stuff. But what's the right order to play? That's the real question. I think we play, because it's only a, a 2 times 15 base, this goes down to 0 times 15 with a, with an unupgraded disarm. And so what that means is we get to look at, we get to add the random card from the disarm dead branch to our hand before we apotheosis. I'm going to value that better than the one, um, one point of block we're going to get from it by lowering heart strength by one more. On the buff turn two turns from now, heart is going to remove all negative strength, so there's no benefit to upgrading that disarm. Further. We don't get to keep the negative strength or anything. So I think that means double tap, or power through first to block uh, Beat of Death, then Disarm, then Apotheosis. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Actually, that's pretty cool. Good job. Severed sword. Ooh, juggernauts. Okay, do we keep going? Do we want to gamblers brew all this? Because we totally could. We could draw ten new cards. Which helps us find, like, Demon Form and Fiendfire and stuff. Could Sever Soul, we'd lose a lot of cards in hand, generate a whole bunch of new stuff. Cost me two energy and doesn't generate any block, though. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, either. Argument there for keeping the days. It's a reasonable one. I'm just gonna go the full ten, though. Ten cards, please. Okay, clothesline for next turn's kind of important. Or we could just fiend fire. Do a ton of damage. Not actually that much, like a hundred damage. Get rid of all this garbage. Not like these are particularly good cards. It always liquid memories, the clothesline. And we have uppercut coming. I'm gonna fiend fire this hand. Well, we can keep going. Dark Embrace drew a lot of cards. Now we're guaranteed to get Demon Form next turn. We have an Impervious to uh, Liquid Memories. I think I'm going to play this Brutality. Just to make something free in hand. Slam. Appropriate. Okay, we'll stop here, I think. Call that a reasonably good turn. This one's going to be sketchy, though. I can work with that. We can pull a lot of block out of this one. We might actually want to Liquid Memories the Rage of all things. And that would be 10 block per attack we play. So we go... Rage, Liquid Memories, Rage. Play Uppercut, which is Weaken and Vulnerable. Play Dropkick, play Strike. We could even Havoc. And then Armament's the card that the Havoc creates. We'll draw more cards off of uh, stuff. Okay, yeah, I like that a lot. That saves a lot of health here. There wasn't Impervious to Liquid Memories, except uh, we shuffled the deck, which I didn't consider too thoroughly. Which means we might draw it, and that'd be sweet. I want to use the armaments on the random card generated by Havoc, so I'm going to just take some Beat of Death. We're not going to full block either, so it, it shouldn't matter that we're taking a little bit, because it's damage we would take anyway, and we can be optimally efficient if we're willing to take the Beat of Death. Something thing, uh, to think about in your hard fights. You know, if you're if you're underblocking the, uh, the big hit, it doesn't matter whether you block Beat of Death, right? Does not matter. Double tap. Oof. Order. Guess you should have played that early in the turn, huh? Uh, five strengths from Limit Break would be nice, too. With the flex, actually? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, definitely order, though. Ouch. Yet at the same time, not too worried here. Play the Immolate for some damage. We double tap the Twin Strike. This does uh, 60. Be a full Chimadoodle. Definitely afford to Havoc here. So, good. Very good. Just cap the damage then. 
Okay, all we have to do is survive one more turn. This one. Can I do that? That is the question before us. Gonna be a close one. Not a lot in the draw pile that would make it easy on me. And we're taking two damage per card we play. A bit sketchy. We're gonna need Dead Branch to bail us out, I guess. I feel like we should have played Disarm. The Disarmed minus strength would have been immediately removed by that buff. So this would be the same damage, even if we uh, even if we had played that disarm. Tragically, I think it's the barricade first because we're gonna get two extra cards off limit break: one from the draw pile, one from dead branch. I mean, anger free. That was not helpful. Dang it! Oh boy. Uh oh. I smell doom coming my way. That's not good. Come on, give me a second win or something. Please? Mm, not quite what I needed. Almost good, though. Dang it. Oh, we got so close! We have... Uh, we don't have lethal damage in hand. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Sever Soul could have saved me. With Sentinel, maybe. See, we still could get an out off of either Pummel Strike or Pummel, right? For all one of these, it would have to be zero cost. It would have to be zero cost Sever Soul. Or just trust that this is like offering. Think I should have Sever Soul earlier in the fight? Maybe. It's possible. Alright, save me. GG. That's all she wrote. So close, so close. This run was a struggle all the way through, and to, to make it uh, so very close to winning anyway through the power of uh, Sneko Eye and Perseverance. It's a really, a really cool run. EG. EG. Unfortunately, the streak comes to an end at six in a row. But uh, not a bad effort at all, Ironclad. Not a bad effort at all. E.G. Whew! Spicy one. Really thought we had a good chance there. Unfortunately, the uh, Dead Branch just didn't want to uh, play nice. That first... That first hand off the Fiendfire, right? With the uh, all attacks. Brutal. Brutal. Do some silent. And I am not feeling pressured now, so I'm going to try a boss swap on Silent. I don't do this often enough. Sacred Bark. Cool. Double Potion Effectiveness. I wonder if that's enough to go for an early Burning Elise. With a shop? Probably, actually. That's a very ambitious path. Can we do it? I genuinely have no idea, but I'm going to try. This might result in an Act 1 death. And if that's, if that's the case, so be it. We'll call it a learning moment. Immediately missing our uh, bag of preparation. Rough turn one there. Silent starting damage is just so low. Really be brutal. Hey. Eight plated armor, essence of steel. Good stuff. And I'm gonna floor one pick a well laid plans again, because our options aren't uh, aren't otherwise very good. The blade dance is meh. The acrobatics on floor one, I don't think so. Take that well laid plans. The blade dance I tend to find is just not quite enough. Uh, not quite enough damage to. Um, make up for how awkward it is against, like, Gremlin Ob and Guardian. I didn't think I would need to potion in this fight. I hope I didn't need to. Let's 
All right now. Definitely lost more health than needed. Ooh, cunning potion, add it six shiv plus to your hand. <laughs> and a choke? Okay, well that's one way to beat a burning elite, huh? <laughs> How much damage is that? Uh, 12 plus 9 per shiv, 9 times 6, would be 54. So, 66 damage to Choke Cunning Potion. And then I hilariously wish I'd taken the uh, Blade Dance, but I like Choke as an early game damage card on Silent. And with this Cunning Potion, hell yes. Another one? Accuracy. <laughs> Ooh. Root juice is here. Explosive potion is here. Cultist potion is here. Interesting. Hmm. And potion belt, too. Oof. I like this fruit juice, but I'm not really willing to discard 8 plated armor to get it. Same goes for all the potions. What if we... We can add 2 draw onto one of our defends, essentially, if we remove a defend and replace it with a backflip. Doesn't result in too much block density, but increases our uh, deck cycling quite nicely. No cantrip cards I'd really want- wait, forethought? No, that's too dumb, right? Yes, that's too dumb. Or thought the choke. I think that's... That sounds better than it is. Wait, I can't afford to do this. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, we'll just remove a... Uh, defend, I guess. Yeah. Or remove a defend. And be sad. Alright, we'll use this here, I guess. I'd like to leave a potion slot open. Should have waited for the hard pool fight, perhaps. I didn't want to take eight on turn one, so. choices. Ten block, ten damage, says Dash. Actually, the Blade Dance and the Slice both go better with the Choke. But Dash is just too good. Taking the Dash. Pinky Choke. Who needs ya? Yeah, we got a really easy fight, fortunately. Well, the plated armor still would have been good here. Or another cunning potion. <laughs> uh, it's even better. And a wraith form. Which does not pair very well with choke, but does pair very well with have being in your deck. Do I upgrade the choke now? Is that where we're at? I think that is where we're at. I'm going to upgrade choke. We'll upgrade Wraithform as the next one. But this is just a waiting game of when do I draw a choke? The answer is right now. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, ooh, potion relics. Whenever we use a potion heal for five, heck yeah. How do I feel about... I feel really good about Flying Knee, actually. A little bit more front load, a bit more energy gen in a very expensive deck. Yeah, I feel really good about Flying Knee here. And let's upgrade the Wraith form. Three intangible. And Courier. 20% cheaper, Merchant, and they restock. Very good to let us buy potions. Sentries are here. Do I want to use the choke combo on one of them? Or do I want to save this for Slime Boss, maybe? I think we'll be okay in this fight. See if I regret that uh, statement. I do regret that statement. Yeah, I can change my mind and play it now to save 10. I think I'm gonna have to do that. Fine. Fine, fine, be that way. Provide us protection from two attack turns. We need it, which we do. Hey, good morning, Sneaky Take. How you doing, good sir? Wing boots and a 24 potion blonking potion. Neat. Ooh, and a terror. To uh, scale up our physical damage. Really like terror. In general. Lies 99 boom. Good for physical attacks. For being upgraded to zero cost. Feels important, although we're one Sneko eye away from happiness, right? Just had a, uh. Haven't had nearly enough coffee, and your nose smells funny. Well, why don't you take a bath then? bit about how I tend to use the flying boots. I look for opportunities generally to get extra elites or extra upgrade sites uh, along my pathing. So we could, for example, uh, jump once over to here and then jump... Actually, these are all on the same floor, aren't they? Yes, they are. Or er, wait. No, they're not. That's confusing. Anyway, yeah, we could jump once over to this fire and then jump once more over here. That would be two charges for one bonus fire, though. Which I don't think is a good a good ratio. I like to get one charge equals one elite, um, if I can. Nice for picking out your uh, burning elite too. Feels like we do need the extra energy in the rest of this act. We've got some difficult challenges ahead, so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this terror to be free. Terror's nicer with the choke too. And we'll save all of our wing boots charges for the future. Yeah, like we get to terror and will aid plans and dash. That's good stuff. Good job, Terror Upgrade. Commander, one of our most valuable Hi, Greg. Thank you so much for the eight months in that prime subadoodle. Supported the XCOM project. Yeah, if you're if you're still waking up, uh, Tiki, you've absolutely got some time. Don't know exactly how long this run will survive, but you've got time. Double dash. Just lean all in on the Sneko Eye? Sure. Why not? Why the heck not? Okay, this will be a bit of a slower knob fight, but I trust the right form to carry us in this one. And the double dashes, of course. Good. 
Turn that 28 into a 0. Or a 1, I guess. Don't mind if I do. And we'll hold on to the choke for the next turn. We have 4 energy. It's already probably a kill. Might have been able to block for one, actually. Think about that. Yeah, I could have. Oh well, not a big deal. One hit point. Vajra gives us a point of strength, making all our attacks do more damage. And I legit love this blade dance with our uh, choke and our Vajra and our terror. It's a ton of damage, particularly if we can upgrade it. Which we honestly totally can. Totally can. Give it to me. And a Carter move, too. Feels like we don't need uh, as many defends. We already removed one, actually, right? Yeah, we're down to four. Okay, I'll remove a strike, then. We don't need the heal. We have a huge block pot for Slime Crush. And I'm upgrading this card. So that we can have a nice big choke turn on the Slime Boy here. Great turn one. Goal is just do 75 damage in three turns, which I'm hoping we get to do. Hold this for choke. Yes. Might also have to Wraith for him and then just set up a really good split. I think that would have required upgraded plans, but here we are with a choke blade dance. That should be enough to get a split. Oh yeah, big time. Big time good enough. Ekin got him. How cute. They're not even attacking me. They don't think we're a threat. Go for the one that weakens us. We're relying more on our damage for this fight than our defense. The Wraith form. I considered learning the double floor gl glitch for the speedrun shenanigans. I have not, quite frankly. I think it would make things a little bit too... Too easy, I want to say. I don't know. Uh, it, it seems too too far removed from regular Spire gameplay. Maybe not too easy, but too far removed from the usual, the normal. But it starts to seem bizarre. Less something that you can relate to and learn from. Double Floor Glitch is a glitch you can do with the interface, when you're selecting a floor to go to, like when you've got a split path here, a fire in the leet from this chest, for example, if you open and close the map quickly enough and, and click on both of them in like, looks like within one frame of each other, you can actually commander. end up going to both of the floors. So you go to the elite and go to the fire, getting an entire extra floor to work with. Uh, and you can even do that to like fight multiple bosses in your Act 1 and get multiple boss relics in Act 1. Hey, Vegetable Bread, now we're just playing some A20 here while I wait for Sneaky Teak to coffee himself up. We're going to be doing some collab in just a second. Some good, good collab. Let's see, Choke Blade, uh, Blade Dance might actually just, like, kill, right? We're going to be four cards, so this will be 33. Let's kill you. Just straight up. Pretty good. GG. Clean fight. And a corpse explosion to deal with multi enemy fights. Just give me. Just give me this Neko Eye, please. <laughs> just make it happen. Phantasmal Killer is actually not horrible with what we've got going on. And we do have the retain for it. Or Grand Finale is pretty tough to play. But I'm going to go Corpse Explosion. And we're going to hope. Alright. Four energy? Anybody? Or do we Astrolabe? Transform and upgrade three cards could be pretty good here. Although I think we'll really struggle with a three energy deck. Don't really care so much about uh, enemy strength if we're intangible, right? So I think a fourth energy sounds real good to me. We'll take the Philo Stone. Nice easy pick. How are we feeling about cash? 
and our desire to go to a shop in the immediate future, and our desire to kill elites. We have wing boots. So pathing is for stinky pants. We just go wherever we want. So let's look for some opportunities to put these to use. Do like fire, elite, jump to elites, and then have optionality from there. Jump once more over here. Maybe go to a late shop. There's two late shops that don't cost us anything. Um, we could go... here instead. Some optionality. Okay, so we're not gonna go to this shop. How many events do I want? I would definitely take apparitions. In a heartbeat. Upgrade all strikes defense. I haven't seen that in a while. I feel like I'm doing some good events here. Get him. Knocked out. Rob. Philo Stone Birds, easy. Cloak and Dagger Plus, yes. Six block, two more shivs to go with our chokes. Or to go with our one choke, to go with our terror, to go with our Vajra. Great. Great card. Long line of hooded figures could offer us the Ritual Dagger, which permanently gains strength when we kill an enemy with it. Got Willy Plans and Terror? I actually think this is a pretty good card. Pairs particularly well with uh, Corpse Explosion, too. And we picked it up really early in the act, so I like this Ritual Dagger. I'm going to pay the 6 health to get it. And it might even be worth upgrading to increase its damage by 5 every time we uh, kill it. Kill an enemy with it, excuse me. Give me a relic. Puzzle's good. I trust in these events still. Ceramic Fish. And if we had a card to the deck, gain 9 gold with Courier, that is actually a little bit decent. 22 card deck currently, we could expect this to go to at least 35. So we're gaining... You know, at least uh, 100 plus gold with Courier. Not terrible. Probably borderline though. Let's, let's take the key. And a combat, which is fine by me. I intentionally take two to draw more. I don't think so. I think we have plenty of damage. Um, although, do I want to get plans to guarantee the Ritual Dagger kill? Yes. Alright, in that case, I will take two. Very well. Yeah, exactly. Here we might look at a situation kind of like this one. Higher health one. This will explode for damage equal to his max health, after all. Call. I suspect we'll highly appreciate um, having taken a bit of damage to level this. Well, our money back. Your Sing Whale is a very good mitigation card. Kind of enters synergy with Wraith form. Could get some poison going, but we're really not doing that right now. Well, kind of. I'll take a piercing whale. Good block on a lot of fights, even with uh, even with Philo Stone, especially with Philo Stone. So my question is: Do I upgrade Ritual Dagger or Wellied Plans here? Both are very good considerations. We're gonna go on to this elite fight, and then probably jump. Could go for three elites in a row, it's true. I do something like that. But I do want an upgrade first. I think let's upgrade our Ritual Dagger. Make it uh, more and more powerful. It can be something that can dunk the Act 4 elites instantaneously, or a really good answer to Reptomancer, if you level it up deliberately. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep one or two of our jumps for... Uh, for later. Oof. Okay, good potion, or good deck spot fight, I think. Book of Stabbing, who's doing the big hit on turn one on A20, is a rude, rude roll. We 
We actually take one and draw a whole bunch more. That's pretty good. Terror and then choke, right? Not choke and then terror. Neutralize brings this down to six times three. Take a little bit more. We need to get our damage in play here, though. With uh, Blade Dance and Choke both in hand, I'm not going to say no to the power of that combo. The Ritual Dagger in hand. Hopefully draw our uh, Wraith Form or something. Oh yeah. Definitely draw our Wraith Form or something. Could have checked for lethal. I don't think we had it, right? 10, 10, 13, 28? No, not lethal. Surely not. Down, oddly smooth stone acquired, giving us more dexterity. An acrobatics plus, which is a great cycling card. Draw four, discard one. Gotta always consider, I think, cards when they say plus on them. Alright, we're fighting another elite. Question is, do I jump here for elite, elite shop fire? Or do I jump here for elite? Fire, Elite Fire. Two more Elites either way. I think we want more combats now to get the uh, Ritual Dagger leveled up, right? Yeah, we might even we might even jump through a shop depending on what relics we got. Let's go here. Go here. Probably want to use the Fear Potion to... We could use Terror, but I want to Terror the Gremlin Leader. But we can't kill this nerd without uh, Fear Pot. We'll be guaranteed attack next turn if we do not kill the Sneaky Gremlin. i do this. Kind of a waste. It's only a little bit. We get attacked anyway. Of course we did. Look for Piercing Whale, or for uh, Wraith Form, and if not, we'll use the Block Pot. If not... That is ultimately fine. Could go Neutralize, Dash, Defend, Block 17, Incoming will be 27. We're going to use this as a choke turn. Bend or Blade Dance? Blade Dance is way more damage than I want to draw more. Let's take some. On purpose. Definitely feels like we need to upgrade the plans now. Hoping we do that. Play Wraith Form? No, we hold Wraith Form, right? Do the damage now. We'll draw back into, um... We'll draw back into Ritual Dagger. Or we won't. That would be fine, too. Or we won't. It's like we got him, though. Good fight. Really good fight. Hey, you, Kaz Master. 
Hello, hello. Bronze scales. Give us three thorns at the start of each combat, and a strength potion is four additional strongitude. Could be good against uh, slavers. I could see this doppelganger being, like, legit really good with the choke. But we really want to upgrade it, and we also really want to upgrade well aid plans. I afford to do that to both of them. Yes, actually. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. Giving an upgrade to that would be... We could even use another jump here, actually, to jump here now. To get one more upgrade. And that might be worth it with a, uh, a really good upgrade in the deck. Happy Flower is even more energy. This deck will love that. This deck will love that. And maybe we jump here. One less combat, though. One less, uh... Ritual Dagger reward. One less chance at a potion. I'll hold off. Keep the, uh, boots charged for now. Could've done back-to-back -back elites, that's true. Oh, nice choke draw. I don't have enough energy here. I think I don't play the choke, actually. Do this. These two. Just play that for nothing. And this will kill next turn. Actually, I think I had a kill there, didn't I? Took damage for no reason. Pretend you didn't see that. I'm quite sure I had lethal there. <laughs> it's only like two or three damage though. Don't need dagger spray. Ah. Unupgraded cards. Those are the big stinky. So I, I, I wanted to fight combats on purpose? Why did I do that? Anybody remember why I chose to do that to myself? In this moment, I sure don't. Yikes. I'm gonna do a small amount. Let's just hit him. Back there. Ooh, that's a big yikes. Wraith form, where are you? Why are you not here? Block. Block, find the wraith form. Just block. Okay, okay. Got him. I have saved the day. Dex pots, great reward though. And more whatever. More whatever. Aha! This is why we have a strength potion. Let's see, uh, is Blade Dance dash lethal if we strength bot? We would have four points of strength, so 8, 8, 8, 24. Plus 15 is not a kill. I repeat, that is not a kill. What if we acrobatics into terror? Damn it. Kill, huh? What if we choke? Do we at least kill you and take 22 and go down to 5? Well, 10. We may not want to kill, though. We've got Corpse Explosion Ritual Dagger. That can instantly end the fight. Maybe we just want to block as much as we can. To be 
collector. So incoming damage is 29, 37. Block for 20. Take 17, go to 15 after the Ornithopter healing. Oh yeah, I forgot about our own Vajra there. Whoops. Still not enough. I think the Choke Blade Dance would be, but then we take 22. So it's take 20 or take 22. Not, uh, that is lethal, right? It'd be 13, 17 plus, um, plus another, yeah, more than enough. Even shiv one of these guys. I'm gonna go the defensive route here. It also allows me to, uh, doppelganger, so draw one more card. Luck to us. There's Wraith Form. Don't get to keep Dagger, so let's just get the kill now. Defend ourselves from becoming weakened here. Corpse explode the front guy. Could have blocked for a little bit more with Dash, that's true. Actually, not sure why I didn't at least discuss that option. So it is at least a reasonably good option. Okay, we're alive. We got a Juzu bracelet a little bit late. Uh, how about a leg sweep, though? Good source of weekend and a good block card or a finisher. Actually, kind of amazing with uh, the strength potion in these cards. That might be what we need to kill Collector. I'm taking it. And I'm desperate enough. Let's see, Juzu event could be Thwack. Or do we take the shop with 280 gold and a courier? Having a hard time not justifying this with a, uh, or not uh, going straight for the 280 gold shop with the courier. Might be a waffle in there. We can definitely buy a potion that's going to be double strength, right? Which is also five health. The whack could be so much better. Let's get for the biscuit. It is the whack. We were not unconscious. And then we died immediately. Fifth whack. <laughs> well, that's fitting. Oops. How does he do it? The streamer luck. Streamer luck is real. Look how lucky we are. <laughs> so lucky. I've never been so lucky in my life. <laughs> That was a possibility, too. A rip in peppers. EG. EG. GG. Oof. <laughs> pretty fun. That's a pretty fun way to follow up the uh, the Iron Cloud loss. Why did I choose Thwack over Waffle? I thought the Thwack would be good. Apparently not. Apparently not. Righty. I'm gonna take a quick break here. Refill my legs, stretch my water. Uh, I'm gonna give Sneaky Tika Poke on Discord. And I will be right back. See you all in just a couple moments, everybody. I encourage you all to take care of yourselves in the moment. Before I go, El Cootie hits us up. The last dad joke of the day. Did you hear about the college professor that ended up in a terrible car accident? Turns out he was grading papers on a curve. All right, everybody, I'll be right back. See you all in just a couple moments.
Alrighty, folks. We are back. Thank you so much for that patience. Seems like Sneaky Tig is still a little bit preoccupied, so we're gonna dive on into a little bit more regular content while we wait. Let's see, do we start up another A20 run or do I do some speed runs? They're easier to drop in, drop out of. Let's do some speed runs here. Let's do some speed runs to preoccupy ourselves. Been a while since I've done any of these. I wanted to play some defects, so let's do some defects. <clears throat> hey, outside! I don't have too many expectations that the devs will do further updates at this point. They've been working for a really long time on, I think, the uh, iOS and Android ports. Um, so they've been quiet for a long time. In the past, um, when they haven't been working on ports, they've been pretty good about updating and rebalancing the game, but they seem like they've uh, disconnected a little bit as of late. So I don't have any expectations that uh, Spire is going to get any future content at the moment. Turn on that auto splitter. Okay, so let's do some speed runs. Surprise sequel dropping this year. Wouldn't that be something? Do some non-ascension defect, or well, start out with a non-ascension defect speedrun. Goal being to beat the Act 3 boss as quickly as possible. Uh, let me reboot with Async disabled. Real quick here. That will speed up the animations in game, particularly lightning orbs. Matters a lot for uh, defect speedrunning. Yeah, unfortunately, it's it's pretty likely, I think, that the global situation has affected the development of the ports, which has caused, like, some kind of luck for the devs. They f probably feel like they can't work on stuff until the port gets finished, but they're waiting on the port to get finished, and the port is being delayed, and yeah, it's I'm, I'm sure it's a mess. Good luck to them. Truly, good luck to them. Definitely made the volume better, right? Okay, speedruns, let's go! Take the Nyao's Lament start almost always here. I think we can get a uh, free elite too. The goal with speedruns is take damage cards. No stinky block cards. Glacier, hell no. We need to do damage. As much damage as possible. As much as possible. We need to do it right away. Cool, Bank of Prep is really good. Free Elite is really good. Second Tempest? I'm in. Let's get these upgraded. Fight the, we'll fight the knob. Shouldn't be too hard here. I think the relic will be well worth it. We'll fight the sentries too. Um, bias cock seems to be here. What's this happening? Go pillow. Any of that? Oh, 
Zip. Zoppity boot. That a hexaghost. Definitely think hyper beam is okay. Let's see. Um, nuclear battery is great with these tempests. Sure. We get immediate energy, and if we evoke it, it's two more. Basically, more lightning spam. At this point, the goal is pretty much to avoid. combats as much as we can. Pretty cool headed here. Ooh, bloody idol, nice. Definitely take focus, keep removing cards. Upgrade all strikes and defense is great. Upgrade all birds, even better. Pile driver says plus on it, I'll take that. Go this way. Thought about that heat sinks for a second, but I think I want it. Bullseye is awesome here. Makes our lightning orbs do 50% more damage to the target, which is really important for uh, single target kills here. Smash him with a sunder. Ball lightning is more uh, lightning orbs, I'll take it. Oh, you're supposed to be a bullseye now, strike plus. Sense of Darkness, very, very good here. Get the bullseye. Need the boot. Boot value. Ah. See, the secret is just don't calculate it. <laughs> that's the that's the play. Instead of calculating it, you don't. Probably supposed to throw that last turn, but whatevs. I'll take the amplifier. Dome Dripper Sozu. Go Coffee Dripper. We have a uh, Bloody Idol after all, and a and a um, Blood Vial. Don't know if that's actually helpful, but that's what I've chosen to do. No Electro here, unfortunately.
fighting awakened one, we're gonna need some block. Too long to kill. That's... I don't need pellets. I don't need pellets at all. Avoiding the burning elite. We're not going for the heart here. We're not going to do anything fancy. Amplify's been putting in huge work thanks to the seek, though. Hey, Tom. Upgrade Amplify, and then upgrade this uh, fragment as well. Been in the starting hand every combat. Well, we have, to be fair, seven cards out of 20 in our opening hand. To be honest. That might have something to do with it. Squeak, squeak. Huh? That might be asking for too much. Not a good turn to uh, to do that. Oh, no. So close to uh, to beating that uh, PB there. PG. Just over 11 minutes is really fast for a defect run. That was sweet. Cool run, cool run. BG. And yeah, Xenix, there is indeed something in the uh, settings regarding animation speed. Make sure V-Sync is disabled. Max frame rate is set to 240. Uh, and to disable particle effects, and you should be able to get the game to run. As long as your computer is uh, up to the task, you should be able to run Spire at around the speed, or at least close to it. Abundance. Fastest character is either Watcher or uh, Ironclad. Let's do Watcher here. Do some Watcher. T 
see a free Burning Elite, I'm gonna take it. Um, let's do Divinity stuff. Marble is very good. Uh, let's upgrade the sleeves. Our retaining attack. Let's draw correctly. Seconds lost, not too big of a deal. So this deck is gonna need some turnaround real quick. I think it's on its last legs currently. Let's try that. Good double worship. And now we upgrade one of them. Easy divinity every time, question mark. Not tantrum nil, although perhaps it should have been tantrum. Perhaps it should have been. Hello. Do the thingy. Yes, this one. Neko I double worship, that's gotta be at least decent, surely. Right? Surely. Random divinity, whatever we want to. Just become angry. I'm in. Oh, I should have taken the Sansa time. <laughs> I didn't see it until it was too late. Like, signature move, that's pretty good, right? Really? Surely this choice will work out for me. It's wasted so much puzzle value. And yet. I guess. Man is going too fast, officer. Let's 
go divine and everything else follows. Nope, don't upgrade that. Oh, did I miss a Juzu again? I'm so bad at those during uh, speedruns. Dang it. Dang it. Hard yet? Jesus. Get obliterated, sir. Yes, I just turned down the scroll. What of it? Screw it, we might be able to divinity this signature move. No, I can't. Dang it. Well, I tried. Come on, signature move. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Please. please. Alright, final act. Starting out here because it looks fast, but it might not be fast. If it's not, I'm sad. Signature remove there with the cage? That might have been a wiser choice. I'm still holding out faith that it might do something for me. There we go. That's all I needed to do. Fighting Awakened One. Blech. Go through an elite here. Good luck to me. <laughs> Upgrade everything. All of it. Tate seems pretty good, actually. Hurricane definitely seems good. Wallop certainly seems good.
Purple Ham. Welcome to your doom! Worked well enough for me. One second Watcher Act 3? I do not remember that. Legitimately. Fun one. Stekawai Shuriken nonsense. EG, everybody. EG. Hip bobbity bappity. Give that heart a slappity. Alrighty. I see that the time has arrived. ET hanging out here in chat. Let's do the thing. Congrats on logging ascension. Thank you. It's been a, a long journey, but I'm I'm grateful to have uh, finally made it. Very grateful to have finally finally made it. Have I done any heart kill speed runs? I have Gordian games. Yes. Yep yep yep. Done a handful. Um, both non ascension heart and a twenty heart. I've done speed runs of both. What we are going to be doing now is collab. with Sneaky Teak. with the man, the myth, the legend himself here. Hello? Hello, hello. <laughs> yep. Oh, i tweak you down a little bit there. Oh, wow. God, I did just deafen your viewers. <laughs> that was loud. Are we okay. calibrating our voices first before I'm truly waking up? Good morning, Twitch chat. Good morning, Twitch chat. Let's see, I think I've got you tweaked to about the right level now. You did Laura Mipsum for you a little bit, or are we good? Most valued I think you're alright. Okay. Says continued support of the hey, whoa. Project. Mini, like that, like summoned mini. Summoned mini, mini Minotaur. <laughs> Thank you so much for 16 months. <laughs> and we're gonna do, are we gonna do video too, or am I am I a floating voice? I'm cool with either. We can, uh, we can try to do video. I, I did enough setup that it should be pretty trivial to get you, uh, to get you on display here. Let me start okay. sharing uh, Spire with well, you. It's whatever the people want. Well, I'm sure they want to see your beautiful face. It's tired, but it's alive. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stoked to do this small deck thing. Also, that watcher run was pinnacle. I built the deck, and now I have to play it really fast. 
<laughs> I got part of that. It was <laughs> It was pretty fast. It was pretty fast considering the amount of interactions that were going on in there. Sneko I managing worships vaulting. That's a lot for a speed deck. It's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Yeah, I I really really enjoyed that one. Let me turn you up a little bit more here. Okay. Still, still trying to find the perfect uh perfect volume levels. Louder. Louder. <laughs> Just wants a talking louder. flamingo staring at them, says Twitch chat. And I think they're <clears throat> I think they're right about that. I can do that. So how are you? It's uh, you just woke up, right? How are you on this? Pretty line? much. I woke up when I when I came in earlier and said good morning, and then I sat down at the chair, and Bevzy's said, "Hey, you're dirty. I'm gonna take a shower," <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, that's true. I should bathe. That's a good idea," and so I had to work that in in there. But but quick, that's been done. Quick little bird bath then. Yeah, exactly. I just went outside to the fountain and I kind of splashed around a little bit. And the neighbors looked over and were like, you're not a bird and why are you naked in my yard? And I was like, well, the only, I don't have a fountain. Look, it's a free you country. Had a fountain. Yeah. <laughs> there was only a fence between us and that was easy to cross. Yeah. <laughs> so good. It's been a, been a while since I've been able to have you on the stream, sir. Too long. Too long. Too long. Yeah, the Twitch chattery does not know, but we try to keep up, actually. I mean, you know, that we've only got so many compatriots in this game. Even though Twitch is a big, big place, sometimes the circles are small. That's small world. Very, very true. Make groups but, of friends. But I want to do more collabs, and that's a big thing that I've been thinking about as we get towards the end of the year, is that's something I want to tune up, because collabs on YouTube have been really fun, and I think collabs on, on Twitch are kind of revivifying as well so i, I want to do more it's revivifying that's a good term for it right like it's yeah it's work in stream time but at the same time it's like a social relaxation moment yeah yeah it's novel for viewership it's like very energizing for us to work with other broadcasters and it feels very safe you know a lot of casters don't do like random multiplayer because right to be really <laughs> frank you can't you can't trust people in voice you don't no. know what they're gonna do right yeah there could, so. there could be Anything like from background noise, from a, a truck passing by, a dog, a, yeah. a roommate to, you know, maybe a sudden outburst if uh, right. something unexpected happens or. But uh, with me, you a, know you that know, my background really, noise is bespoke. Really loud Windows notification noise. <laughs> 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 Have you remembered to restart me today? <laughs> Well, do you want to throw up video and, and yeah, talk? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to. Small? You just okay. have to turn on the... You have to do something on your end, right? I think I do. I think I have to do this. Oh. I'm very green. As you should be. Okay, so you'll probably... Wow, it's wider than I thought. You know, my camera, it does it does more than I realized. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot of, a lot of angle there. Why does it give me the square when, in fact, it is wide? That's so weird. Maybe OBS and my webcam are the bad interaction. Maybe. I you probably like need OBS like, closed for this, right? Well, I'm, I'm sending video, so you, do you see it? Is it there? Um... OBS is closed, too. Oh, I do see it. it okay. Discord's weird now. You have to, like, click some down arrows to be aware of the other things that are happening. You make sure. Oh yeah, right. This was requested. Right. So you're not quite on camera yet, but I've got you in a second here. Let me just tweak. That's okay. I can see. It's not. Oh. Oh, are you looking for the right filter? Yeah, I'm just trying to set up the uh, green screen here. I can tell you what mine is, but it may be different for you. One opacity zero. Black. I think that's right. Yeah, that looks. Okay, let's try... You might be a little off-color, but uh, here. Off-color? There's a, there's, a, there's a flamingo for you, ladies as, and gentlemen. As long as I don't look like an Oompa Loompa, I'm okay. It's, a, it's, it's all just in the lighting anyway. Hi, Twitch chat. Hi. This is me. 
a burp. Oh, look at the beak. <laughs> the beak. My beak patch notes. Slightly translucent. <laughs> What did I you can, end up with? I can tweak that a little bit, probably. <laughs> I can give you my filter settings. I'm a little bright, huh? You are, you are a little bright. You're brighter than me, but I think we, we knew that already, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> but there he is, the handsome oh, lad himself. So grossly incandescent, huh? <laughs> Praise the sun. Teak, have you ever played Factorio? No. Would you like to? Oh, there we go. It's the frigging webcam, man. Oh my god, I know. My... Is it a C920 that you're using? It is, and yeah, they, they, the, the software, the settings will not stick for anything. They won't. Anyway, I'm going to get a new webcam it. just to fix that, I think. This will make me look less grossly incandescent, and it will hopefully help you with the filtering, although now it has revealed the, the, the dark secret. I'm sorry that I did that on live air. It's too late now, though. It's secret. Let's go with a more reasonable green. That's my filter. Not what I wanted to do. My filter is at 75 similarity, 18 smoothness, 72 key color spill reduction, yeah, and the looks... key color is. I can probably copy it for you. Looks pretty good. One B five A two five. Oh, even better. Okay. Copy. I, I got you. Red? No, that can't be right. Coming up is red. Okay, my it's definitely not red. The green screening somebody else's camera is such a strange experience. It is. And I'm tempted doing this through like a window within a window within a window in OBS, so like it's shrunk down so much on the um it didn't like the, should I give this to you as a red, green, blue instead of as the hex code? Yeah, if that were, actually, if you could do that, that'd be perfect. Or here's the HTML one B because that's probably what you're actually copying into, right? The FF is just the that's always there at the beginning. That's your, that's your the white. Oh yeah, that, that it's RGB. That's better. Way better. That's be fun. Seventy-five. So a little 18, bit in the corner. Seventy-two. We're almost. We're almost there. Oh, now we have to do corner deletion? <clears throat> nah, we don't have to. What? Why is that purple? Hello? Oh, because cause the hex and the RGB combine. I think, to right, the, the 1B5825 is the color, and then the, I gave you my similarity smoothness and key color spill reduction in case oh. that was Oh, understood. Yeah. Understood. I have key action spell. Anyway, okay, let's let's call that good-ish enough. I can um here, you know what? I will shrunkify you. Tronk. Tronk. Got that little greenness off the bottom there. I can give you slightly more gain and it will help you too. It's like a talking head now. <laughs> but it's good. No, I'm I'm fixing you from my side, dog. I'm doing some backdoor shenanigans. Some bigs. Big teak. Will you cut that oh, weird teak. black border off? What is that? What's this? What is that? What's that? Oh, I know what that is. That's my display capture. There we go. Okay. So you're you're now in the corner with your gigantic oh, microphone. It's... Yes, <laughs> as it should be. As it should be. And the microphone is fading out of existence as well. A little bit. Good. A little bit. Give you like slightly less gain. This is so, we so shenaniganized this, but I think that we've nailed it, frankly. We've nailed it, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's truly, truly flawless. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be a real collab if there weren't some weird technical troubleshooting. Oh, yeah, in the middle of, and, right? and I we're, think that I mean, we're doing a, a webcam capture through Discord, which I'm also sharing Spire with you, and I don't know, it's all weird. It's all weird. But you're here, I'm here, we're both on camera. Yeah, yeah, good enough, good enough. The voice sounds like me. We're clean. Okay, take my hand and lead, Baylor. What Alrighty. do I? What do I do? So how do I stream? How 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 do one slay the spire? How does one slay a spire? You uh, so you expressed recent interest in the the small ladder, the challenge of defeating the heart on every difficulty back to back with less than twenty cards 
in the Spire deck. Incredible interest. And so a brief background in my interest to convince you of credibility of, of my fascination. A long time ago, in the distant days of yore, I did something kind of similar. It was not a ladder challenge or anything, but I just had a sequence of streams to where I decided, okay, I'm going to try to keep my deck a little smaller. And this is unbelievable if you've watched me at all in the last six months, because right. <laughs> it's nothing like how I play. But at the time, that was my goal. And I had different kinds of rules, like only, you know, four or five cards per stage or, and what I did for a while was what I called the minimum viable deck challenge. And all I was trying to do was figure mm -hmm. out what's the minimum selection of cards that you need to win the game, right? What's enough? And it's weird to think back and remember that I did that so long ago because now probably a thousand hours of play later, I very typically beat the heart with a deck of 45 cards. And what I have found in general for my play style is that having so many cards ends up being more of a benefit than a detriment because as long as you've got good glue cards like Third Eye, you can find your, your kind of keystone pieces and you end up watering down or diluting negative enemy effects in your own strikes and defends yes. to make removals less of an important thing. Diluting and enemy that, effects is such a huge factor, I think. Especially once you're above Ascension 18 and it's like Nemesis is five burns, right? These are, burns. These are huge. It's, it's a huge effect. Um, even just the heart with five statuses on turn one, to know that on a typical turn you're not going to draw more than one or two is a, is a really big deal, right? Oh yeah. But but I remember when you first started doing small ladder, you said, now, wait a minute, this has been really effective. Were we wrong? Can we force this more often? And so I think the biggest thing that I want to learn from you is when has it been particularly effective? What are the runs to where small has been right? What are the runs to where you're able to really lean in? What are the runs to where I should, I should learn to not build such a large deck in your finding? That's what I'm interested in. That's a fantastic question. Mm. Um, I think of all the classes, I found Watcher to thrive the best under this challenge. Okay. Uh, it felt like, in particular, her toolkit was super effective at being really refined. She loves upgrade density. Watcher loves upgrades. Um, and can get her hands on them relatively easily oh. with stuff like um, Lesson Learns. I didn't have on that run, Do you think that's an accident that the one class that has a card that gives upgrades is the class that most desires upgrades? Probably not, I would have to imagine. Probably not. We need to do an interview with Casey and Anthony at some point. We should set yeah, that up. Like the design philosophies that went into Watcher? That'd be pretty cool uh, to talk yeah. about, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, this makes sense to me because on the attack side, Watcher gets to like triple dip on all of her damage, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and on the defensive side, though, often she has a little trouble bringing together a defensive core. That's like the main way that yeah. we lose a Watcher run. I always we just can't block enough. Always feel like Watcher is a, a game of putting together a block plan out of a whole bunch of different pieces, right? To combine them in the right ratios to uh, to get them there. For, okay. With regards to small ladder or small small decks and watcher, I also found that Scry is such a game changer, even with small decks, um, partially because it just without having to have lots of cards in the deck gives you that defense against status cards. You can Scry away right. the heart statuses. We had several. I, I think I had one of the the heart kills in this uh, small ladder where we never drew the ascenders bin during the entire wow. heart fight because <laughs> I was able nice. to consistently just Scry <laughs> yep. into the draw pile over and over and over again. Yep. See, and, and I talk about this on runs, even with a larger deck, right? It's kind of, there's your actual number of cards, and then there's like the way it feels, right? Think of the weather. It's it's 70 outside, but with wind chill, wind chill it feels like a 65, <laughs> right? And, and, and I talk about that with decks a lot, is that if you have enough draw, if you have enough card manipulation, if you have enough scry, you can make your deck feel smaller. That's one of the big things with Sneko Eyes. You just like increase the the cap of how large your deck can afford to be, right? But yes. I mean, there's nothing that replaces just actually being a small deck. No matter how much scry you get in there, you still have to draw it and pay for it, right? Still have to draw it and pay for it. But a couple scrawl pluses will solve that. Really? <laughs> that card seems pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, we had two of them in this run, the, the A16 <laughs> winning run. That definitely so, feels like one to where the upgrade card. is a, a very big deal. Oh yeah. Sometimes I'm hesitant to upgrade energy cost 
on powers or exhausting cards to where you only get to pay down that energy cost one time, but it's like a big deal. I'm, Especially in a class that can it. then turn energy out of the stance dance, right? Not too often that I find myself playing the same card multiple times, even in boss True. fights. True. 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 The front loaded energy is such a, a game changer where you can get all the powers down the first time you see them. Yeah. There, there's some other kind of intuitions to, to segue here a little bit that I wanted to dig into. Like I was thinking about this in the shower today um, in terms of, okay, if you know that your deck has to be small, and this is kind of meta game in a way for your ladder, is the philosophy that you want to be more picky in order to make sure that you're able to fit in the best cards or is it actually kind of the opposite do you want to like take things to quickly water down those strikes and defense particularly with highlander are you finding that with highlander you want to take things aggressively highlander to try definitely to water wants to down? take things aggressively yeah okay for, for small okay. ladder i felt a lot of moments where taking the card early on ended up being unnecessary you know that you know that one last damage card before hexaghost for example um, right and i found that the the missing card slot in the deck later on came to bite me and I was unable to take an important scaling mm. card or combo piece that I was missing. Okay. And so I you think had to turn down But how often where... are you turning something down and thinking, I wish I, I could take this? All the time? A, a lot, yeah, pretty much. Okay. It's it's a constant okay. agony, really. And I think okay. this is where Watcher really <laughs> starts to shine. Because mm. Watcher with the starting deck and just one or two upgraded common cards can be all of Act One. You don't need to take right. four common attacks like silent might need to you know sucker punch dash right and poison stab and stagger spray and then you know you only lose 20 health to the first elite i think eli dupree was telling me that you had some crazy run and i and my guess is that it was probably watcher to where you upgraded a strike in act three <laughs> as like your upgrade action <laughs> that's right i remember that was a defect run i think really yeah, let me see if I can find it. It was on the that's uh, shenanigans, the first man. Attempt. I'm not, that that's like grounds for arrest, I think. Actually, it was our best damage option. It was in the late game. Did it did it work? Let's see, I'm gonna echo form. Yes, it did. <laughs> is the best part. Get a rip and tear. Okay. Where's this defect run I'm thinking about? I'm pretty sure if, it was defects. If only there was a search function for your history in this game. Oh god, I know. I'm telling you, we can do a better job organizing this data. This is like the pet project is. that I'll never begin. Lore what 40. is this? <laughs> 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 See, now that that ain't oh, right. And it's because we had a prey from the um, from the note for yourself. So the okay. strike upgrade, and we had, I think, a strike dummy. Yeah, we had a strike dummy, too. So the strike was to, like, twelve damage legitimately strike. a 50 damage strike <laughs> when we played it against Hart. Right, right. But we. Oh, you've we, got some Vajra going on. We've got, got every got, relic in the game, basically. You do appear to have most of the relic. Yeah, you have a dead branch here, too, so you, you kind of have some options. <laughs> There's a machine learning in the... Oh, yeah, we're defect. Right, right, right. right. Recall, recall upgrade strike arrest. That's amazing. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot. It was, it was upgrade a power to be innate. Or chill to be an eight. Upgrade hologram, defend or pray. And I hologram remember, likes to not be we upgraded. We're worried about here. damage. The only thing that did damage was hologram would have been a good upgrade. Maybe we got that at the shop. Yeah, we got that at the shop. So we didn't have it yet. Makes oh, sense. I I kind of like this unupgraded because you've got twenty cards in a dead branch. That hologram is two cards. Oh yeah, card yeah, draw. yeah. That too. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, but you have a recycle in there too, so you've got you've got Pretty well. options. That's a sweet run. Felt to me like the two characters that did the best were, um... Did we ever lose with defect? I think we did, right? To... Yeah, it's a Gremlin leader. Felt to me like the characters that did the best at small were the defect and the watcher. Interesting. So what I'm, uh, what I'm inviting you to join me here for today is a attempt at a... What might have been, or what a, mm. uh, a finale to the ladder might have looked like. An Ascension 20 run. Where a grand finale. Where we try to keep it small. Okay. I'm excited. I, I feel like Watcher would be our best chance, but do we want to start with her? I, I suspect we're going to have a couple full starts, because this is very difficult, right? Well, you just did a silent run and then a Watcher speed run. That's true. So I propose that we start with Ironclad or Defect. We Ironclad don't have to defect. cycle. I, we, I feel like we cycle so much that we feel we have to rotate in the rotation order, but we don't. No, we can break especially the rules. not when we're trying a, a self-imposed challenge like this, you know. Yeah. Consider it like picking your clans for the expert challenge in Monster Train. Right, let's try, right. Let's try an Ironclad and see uh, see what okay. happens here. 
I'm stoked. Crank it up to A20. So the goal for everybody One watching... One of my four children. Teek and I are going to be co-piloting this run. I've got the actual con hands on the controls. Um, but I'll be consulting with him on decision making. And discussing our, our strategy and how it is that we try to... Take a uh, Ironclad run on Ascension 20 and get to the heart and beat it without uh, without ever going above 20 cards. Yeah, doing this on the ladder save, uh, just the easiest one to to use. I'll uh, I'll fix it in post. We'll okay, fix we it have... in post. <laughs> so so I take it you like transform a lot. I do do like transform. It's a free remove kind of kind of. I also see um, a high roll on the boss. Like truthfully, the mm -hmm. the highest odds of success would be a Pandora's box. Pandora's start. start. It's got to be right. like that would be that would be the easiest way to to get there. But but haven't you the, gotten like three of those this week? I I have yes. And from the context gonna... of a of a ladder, you know, from ostensibly nineteen wins behind you, you only have a one in twenty chance to get it. So it is a pretty YOLO maneuver. One in twenty. Yeah, one in twenty. Or Are 20. there only? There's only 20. What? There's only 20. I, why did I... Are the common, The other pools are like 40, right? There's the only other, 20 the other boss pools relics? are 30-ish, I think. You Roll this boss relic, Baylor. Listen, do you believe in me? I believe in you. You want me okay. to roll it? Yeah, I do. All right. It's a fusion hammer. That's pretty, okay. pretty rough, honestly. That is super rough. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have believed in me. You should not have believed in you. That was All a right. mistake. So okay, well, how do we'll we? How do we make it work? We probably want um, to go a lot of elites because we can't get upgrades. Right. We have to... I, I think if we want this to win, we need to be willing to take more risk than we want in Act 1. Yes. And, like, make roles that are like, we win here if we don't get tri-centuries. That kind of role. Correct. I think so, too. Mm hmm Okay. So, let's see. Elites. We can I fight. like that. That start was really strong looking. The three fights and a merchant start right there at the bottom, but does it get us to good elites? It's in a merchant. Two fights. Two or fights. In two one fights. Merchant. merchant, and then whatever. Yeah. Or we can go to this merchant actually, and still fight three okay. elites. Ooh, yeah, I like oh. that one. So go. Oh, that's spicy. Something like this. We, yeah. we see this event and decide one more event, one more combat. Yeah. I like, I've, yeah. I've come to like the fourth, um, the fourth combat a little bit more. Well, and we have four energy too, so we're in an all right place to do yeah. it. Speaking of four energy, here's a little fun little uh, question. This is always a, a fun <laughs> lethal puzzle, I think. Uh huh. Um, what do you do if big slime on floor Heuristically, one? I almost always attack the back slime if it's gray, and I can. Yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm falling. We will mm -hmm. get lethal if we draw a bash strike strike, but only if we get exactly that. And it's a guaranteed yeah, we can... 10 damage attack next turn. So let's let's hope we draw a bash strike strike. I think he's crossed. He's crossed. We did! Good job, us. Come In out. the optimal Wait, world. Was... We didn't... Math, right. The week. The week. The week. I thought. I thought that would be definitely. Lethal, I. I weekend. also. Well, you know, it could have had thirty health. All right. Well, I'll save three. I guess. Listen. This is what you do. Okay. This is in in the biz. We call this sandbagging. Sandbagging. We gotta. We gotta throw a couple fights to set up the expectations real low, and then we shark. Perfect. Do you like perfected strike in small? <laughs> no, I don't. Not even a little bit. <laughs> I was like, huh. What about, okay, so so let's get into weird picks. When you're small letter, do you ever take like a rage? A rage is a way to like do infinite things, okay. maybe. And but a... without infinite things, it's too incremental, too it low is, impact. It is incremental, yes. Mm -hmm. So is Sword Boomerang. If we got some right. strength going, this could be good. Right, um, and we have a fusion hammer too, so none of these things ever get upgraded, right. we have to assume. So you just skip here maybe? Maybe, oh, that feels a little rough. It does, but it's okay, because the shop has a bomb in it. We can't afford a bomb yet. No, we won't be able to by the time we get here either, unless the event gives us a oh, lot of cash. Oh, we could get money. There's a couple ways we could get money. I think I think the big, actually, the rare colors card I most want to see on this run is Apotheosis. Right. To upgrade everything. Right. But I, so it sounds like I'm we're, down to skip. we're down to skip. I'm down yeah, to skip. Yeah, I'm down to skip. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've definitely, I'm giving you more chips in the betting pool than me, because I do think that your familiarity with small ladder is a lot higher. But my intuition from listening to what you said earlier and, and looking at this run is I would skip there. And I cry about it. And cry about it. Yeah, guaranteed lethal. So we actually get to block for the one here. Sick. Back in that draw pile. Always good to look at the draw pile. All the time. Basically. Abort! <laughs> nice pickup. Ooh. 
Yeah, we take the spot, right? We definitely take the spot. I, I wish we had the sword boomerang, but that's okay. We'll find another we'll find one. find one in the shop. There's more on the floor so from all the dead ironclad. How good is this yeah. spot? Not that good, right? We need this money pretty badly at the shop? Yeah, really I think we can't lose spot. the money, right? Yeah. yeah. I think if it weren't oh, small ladder, oh, oh, oh. I might be willing to ditch money there. See, or if we didn't have fusion hammer, we could do something different. But... Right. With meat. Oh, that's a huge pickup. With meat. Actually, do we want to go to this fire? We don't actually get an upgrade out of it. Of course, just my path. We could go here and then this way now. Score an extra combat. Makes the shop a bit earlier. Okay. And then we still get three elites. I we guess can, the big question can is, can we afford too. rare colorless, right? Because we've kind of established that rare colorless is one of our best picks. We won't be able to either way unless we go to this event and get lots of cash and, somehow. And get cash. We're only getting mm -hmm. 15 per combat on average. So we get to 159, which is still short of a rare colorless card. We're looking at 180 yeah. for yeah. rare colorless. I'm... I don't know. Am I am I tunneling too hard? I feel like that would be a huge, huge swing. I'm trying to think through the rare the rare colorless cards. Apotheosis is incredible. Yes. Bomb is good. Sadistic nature is a whiff. Panache is gonna be tough. Panache for Ironclad be a with small. For sure. That's a whiff. That's a whiff. Um, but like Master of Strat is probably probably worth. Yeah. Love me a Master Strat. There's a lot of rare colorless cards I like. I think we have to really high roll, right? I I, th I think we should take this event, okay. Taylor. I'm, I'm Just because of Fusion Hammer start, I'm I I'm so concerned with it. Secret combat. The best rank is combat. 28. These lice are holding it. at least 15 monies, Baylor. They are. We need that monies. It's maybe not the 75 monies that we imagined, but it is monies. Let's see, uh, 37 half health, right? So we're actually at exactly what we could get to with meat on the bone. Armaments is a way to upgrade things. Oh, man. Apotheosis is at home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, we yeah, can't even like... upgrade the armaments, though. Oh, man. Rude. Yeah, so we get to upgrade one thing at a time. We take one armaments and a searing blow, and then we Pandora's we Glitch. We take two armaments. Use one to upgrade the other, and then use mm. the other one to upgrade everything. Okay. This is... Are these panic thoughts? <laughs> these are... Maybe. Maybe, maybe <laughs> this is a skip. We hold out for another... Strength scaling attack. I think we should. I, all right. I think I think we should skip. Let's skip I think we one. should panic. We should panic. Panic as hard as we can. Panicking is commencing. You know what? No, this is slay the spire. There's there is never a point to where there's not an out. It just may be grotesquely low chances. Grotesquely right? low indeed. Um, thirty-seven. You're gonna try to get there. It's gonna be awkward, right? See, it's buffing 44, next turn. 44. And then we would need seven more. Oh, we'll see more. if the opportunity yeah. arises. Yeah, I like the defend too. It feels like we might, might we maybe get there. Here. Okay, so to get to 37, we have to take seven. Mm -hmm. So that ultimately means that the choice here is take 11 to gain 12. It's we we could keep going. We could, we could defend. We could also defend. Take six and then try to take one by double blocking next turn. That's, if it attacks that's twice, doable. this is, yeah, almost. You know, single blocking is very similar to double blocking. Now it's take six to gain twelve, so we'll do that. Net gain? Question mark. Mark. Okay. When strike does say damage on it, it's not the best strength scaling attack, but it is a strength scaling attack. Do you ever true grit here? Ooh. With fusion hammer? Hmm. I know. A tough sell, right? You've you've gotta we have to always play the the two or three cards that we must play. In the early game, maybe it lets us cycle spot weakness more. Yeah, mm -hmm. it I think it beats Guardian, even unupgraded. It does open up infinite routes later, potentially. Yeah. Which might be a way oh, to yeah. not lose. That's a, definitely a, a thing. A Burning Pact would be even uh, almost even better for that. But yeah. I like the immediate value of the True Grit with the block. And point. it gives us some weird block numbers. Yeah, that's a good point. I feel like you, you said, but you would have probably clicked on Twin Strike there. Just probably. To, ah. The thing that's making me feel a little more confident about not clicking on Twin Strike is the is the Fire Potion, actually. But, True. but that's kind of it. Otherwise, we're in a hole. Do we... Okay, well, we're definitely going to remove a card, right? 
Do we... Yeah. How spicy do we get? Do we take this Dark Embrace or do we take this Heavy Blade? <laughs> <laughs> Can't afford this master I don't strategy. know. I've already lost the thread. I've already lost the thread, man. <laughs> I, I feel like my brain is already jumped off. Shrug the deep it off. I kind of. I dig I this kind dark embrace. I kind of dig this dark embrace. I yeah. I really dig this dark embrace. And you, I have, I have seen you do some stuff with the dark embrace. It's, I feel like you and dark embrace get along. We do. We do. It's it's a obscene amount of card draw in the average yeah. ironclad experience. I remember, I think you were the person who first pushed me to starting to take that card more. That was like a year and a half ago when you said Dark Embrace is so good. And I was like, but it's one card draw, Baylor. No, it's not. It's 5,000. It's, <laughs> it's so many card it's draws so and you're ironclad draw. and you have no way to do that. Do we so. just have to remove a defend here? We definitely have to remove a card. We got to make up. We got to make some I feel space. like removing a defend is okay because we've got meat on the bone and we've got true grit to clean it up. I like that. I like that too. And you know what I like in this fight? Dark Embrace. Dork Embrace. Definitely gonna get it's some back. strength. This is 20. Oh! Could get the turn one. I mean, days aren't that bad, right? Days aren't that bad. Days are okay. They're fine. Probably gonna end up using the Fire Pot next turn anyway. What if that means we go for the 44 health one? <laughs> to not waste quite as much damage. Okay, I'm in. Chat says you need to send me a picture of your chair so I can green screen it in behind me. <laughs> Little do they know that you're in charge of the green screen. Double chair may be uh, too powerful, chat. Be careful what you ask for. I might I might actually be able to make do that. <laughs> we we have to dark embrace, right? That's like yes, a requirement. We have to dark embrace. It's gonna be fire pot, dark embrace, true grit. Love it. Oh, do we dark embrace after the true grit? No, that's stupid. Then we'll lose the dark <laughs> Never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, I think yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. We might lose it there. <laughs> don't don't do that. Wake up, brain. Wake up. I liked your idea though. Mm, thank you. And for those who say that the tuning is a little weird with my voice, truth be told, it's probably not Baylor's fault. I'm really dynamic in my loudness. Um, that's just like it's one totally of my... not my fault. I absolve myself that's of just who I am. any and all responsibility. Yeah. It's not my fault either. Mama made me this way. Okay, switch channel. <laughs> sure they understand. Yeah. Okay, we picked the right one to kill. That's good. Nice. Oh. Card. And we're actually above the meat on the bone cutoff. Okay, so this rest was relevant maybe because it lets us push more elites aggressively. Yeah. See, so now we want to take exactly, or 35 is not half, right? 37 is half. Our, so if we take 10, we'll half. heal 12. So we're just gonna let it hit us. Good idea. This is two hit points. I feel like Tri Centuries is the Slay the Spire streamer's opportunity to learn how to filibuster. It's like the <laughs> longest fight in the game. Huh. Hmm. Do Do you do you ever click on this exhum? Ooh, on the exhum, maybe? We can never upgrade it. Definitely see it being good in the later game with this dark embrace. But is that too investy? Okay, so this is a good this is a good kind of explain to me your learnings moment. How willing are you to make reach picks in small ladder? Investment Ooh. picks. Good. It's it's hard to do because you will get murdered right. by everything. I think we're in a pretty good position, though. This Paper Frog means our bash is going to mm -hmm. be kicking butt. Mm -hmm. um, after one spot weakness, our strikes are going to do, what, like 16 damage? Something like that. Nine plus three to four. Six. <laughs> They're 15 because rounding error not in your favor. Uh. But, but soon they'll be stronger. Hmm. Yeah, it really doesn't do much right now, does it? It does not do much right now, but it, it, it like one one disarm, one limit right. break, one right offering. There's, there's and the limit of... is a big deal because we can't upgrade it. We have against knob here, not that yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, and we lost our fire pot, which I think was correct. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think we're gonna have a hard time against our next elite, quite frankly. Although Lego won't be too bad. We get to set up the dark embrace ahead of time. And slam some spot weakness. Try to clean yeah. up the deck a little bit. Is it ever power through? I mean, I love power through. My only worry is how how well do we deal with them, right? Because we right. actually will be cycling. You know, power through is, is an easy pick when you've got a 40 card deck. For one uh, second wind away. It would make second wind a really yeah. good, uh, a really, really good take in the future. Um, yeah. Add a second win, add a body slam, and we've got a stew going, right? That is absolutely a stew. 
a delicious wound stew. Delicious wound we, stew. We, we might just have to click on it. Just, you know, we don't always have to play it, but just to have a real block card in the deck. I think we, I think we should take okay. it here. Okay, I'm in. And we're gonna remove more defense probably. Ooh, yes. that is spicy, dude. That's good stuff. That's that's stew fodder. All right, All right. so okay Grim, Grim Land Man. Didn't whiff the weakness. Power through will probably be relevant block. Don't oh, think we, we get to we, play spot though. No, I agree, but we, we could have the perfect setup here if we get lucky with spot weakness next turn. Spot yeah. weakness, strike, strike, like that's ideal. A little awkward on the follow turn. Ooh. Do you ever yes. regret? I think we right? do. We, we don't want to draw one of these. Get uh, spot weakness strike next turn. We're going to have to take one big hit, looks like. Yeah. 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 With. We will probably not die, maybe, because of Paper Frog. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> Go down to 10. Got we maybe die. Got meat on the bone. Right. Uh, we might be down, um. though. Kind of needed one of those. Does it ever keep me alive? Or wait, we have um. No, hold on. There's there's no way, right? Maybe. Power through plus true grid is twenty two block, but we're increasing the strength of the gremlin by six. About ten and... more, and nine more damage. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's this. a lot. Dang, I think we, we never think we, we never block it. this. Oh, we were so close too. If we'd gotten the spot weakness a turn earlier, although the draw through was was tricky, huh? But this is this is the the core difficulty of small gameplay is that right? Well, can't... we knew also that we had a very difficult start, right? We, we could have yes. we could have bailed out of this elite fight, but I think it actually may have been wrong. I think so. Do we try again on the clad? I, I think we should just clad twice. I think clad we should just twice. clad twice. Yeah. Give it another go. So Let's... okay, so I didn't get to watch as much of the ladder as I wanted. How many of the runs ended like that? Like you've got a run going and then you just have one that just loses. Was that I think, the common I think, way? I think two of the three attempts died like that. That's definitely how Defect okay. died. Was uh, on okay. Ascension 9 to an Act 2 Elite. Just pop. Just pop. Yeah. Just pop. We took a I took mean, a that's kind star, of Act 2 in a nutshell. Didn't, didn't have quite enough to get through, I think, Slavers. Right. Um, right. Act 2 is so hard. Act I feel like that's so hard. maybe the biggest cliff for not even just new players, but all players, is how do I build a deck that doesn't just die in Act 2 at Ascension 20? And the answer is, it's friggin' hard. <laughs> It's really tough. We want to try to snipe an elite here. We could get three total and take out the burning elite too. No shop. We'll get a bunch of events. I've really liked events in a uh, small ladder because of the chance at removals. Okay, that makes sense to me. Let's try it. Rhapsody was really, really into events, and so I've been. It's been interesting because I kind of avoid events. Actually, that's a pretty low priority pick for me normally, but I do think that there's situations where it's correct oh absolutely. and i can see it in small ladder being incredible absolutely yeah do you but do you ever just like take dual wield because I, I was just wondering that if we just take this dual wield <laughs> for the hopes of doing something real dumb it's gonna be a 20 card deck dual wield is one of the most breakable cards in the game it's so good yeah Let's i'm gonna click on it. it we also i mean we did we get two more card picks before we have to actually fight anything right am i a bad influence twitch chat we're like playing fast we're and loose influence. out here it's good Ooh. Huh. Oh, wow. Slam. <laughs> yeah, that's. But these cards are also good, and the one that just like kills yeah. elites is probably the uppercut, right? The uppercut just does great. just kill elites pretty effectively. And its weakness against Hexa, it's pretty hard to say no to that. I think we should take that one. I think it, I think it puts us in a much more immediate like getting I, I stuff done do. situation. Yeah, even with twenty line. cards, this might be the one like utility card. This is like our dash, right? Yeah, it's it's super compact, right? It's doing so much mm -hmm. damage. And weak and vuln, and we can get rid of this duel. No, lose the elixir. That's not a very good <laughs> Don't do that one. to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm in. He said, eh, it's fine. It helps us be... against the empowered elite. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. We've got two two cost cards. We can make even more. Ourself now. Hmm. Flex? I like flex. Is, uh, flex is an option here. I think it needs an upgrade usually, but I've really can liked you... it in the small ladder. Can Especially. you say that like a bunch of times, but like put it on a recording and then make an app? F -f 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 flex. I like flex. I like flex here. I just <laughs> want to listen to that as I go to sleep. I, that's like music for me, Baylor, because it's so it's so rare that you get to pick it. It's a common at high card. ascension. It's so it seems so innocuously underwhelming, but it hits so but, hard. 
Well, and with vulnerable and stuff. Yeah. Wait, so you would really pick flex here? I would really pick flex here. Oh, so absolutely. Can you sell me twice? I'm not mad. I'm actually so thrilled, but I am I am kind of confused. The idea is that you you see it often, and it's it's fast. Flex is real right. fast. Right. Um, it gives you front load that can also be scaling if you combine it with okay. like limit break or orange pellets or oh. artifact or something. So and so 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 is the suggestion? It may not be best in class utility, but you don't know what you're going to see and you only get 20 cards. This is a guaranteed source of strength, which is early game speed. It's kind of like an anger in the early game or mm -hmm. maybe more of just like a slice. Um, and then in the late game, you can riff off of it to do more strength things. That's right. And your deck is small, so one copy is enough to give you decent saturation. And it's got a filthy good upgrade, too. It, it like, must be upgraded, must right? Must be, yeah. Almost almost over the uh, uppercut Which here. is in contention with uppercut and, and dual wield, it's for okay. sure. We're going to get random upgrades, and everything will be upgraded. Okay, I'm, I'm down. I, I love this. I So I Flex see? is one of my favorite cards, but I don't take it very often at Ascension 20, but I can see the difference with Small. So here's... So usually I, I go hmm. for the, the move and transform. What if... What if, upgrade? what if upgrade lets us of you know skip a different card in the future so that we that's that's a way to remove a card right is to skip adding a card i will say for sure if it weren't small i would upgrade here because we've already picked three cards that really would love to be upgraded i'm i'm pretty cool with a and we get in the, the elite snipe no we whiffed the elite we snipe. whiffed the elite snipe so we're in we're in danger town here okay i think we should upgrade i think you're right i think that's it's debt in terms of deck size, but it will give us so much power in these elite fights. Is it the flex or the uppercut? I'm feeling the flex first. My guess is that flex is ahead for centuries, but that uppercut is ahead for Lagavulin and maybe Kremlin? I could definitely see Are uppercut you... being ahead for Lagavulin and Kremlin up with that extra weak and bone turn. Yeah. All right, let's get the uppercut then. Okay. We'll try to get the flex at the next available ah. opportunity. Hello, sentries. Hello, sentries. Okay, we're oh, definitely we just gonna. Horrible turn one. I think we just eat ten damage. Go uppercut strike here. We gotta be aggressive. We're not very good at this fight at all. Agree. We can't. We can't be spending our precious moments doing. Yeah, but we got some vulnerable. Luck. I mean, we should kill the backline next turn. That's a good place to be, even if we have to dual wield our way to it. Yeah, we can dual wield strike, or we can just go bash strike. But either True. way, we gotta eat ten to. I I like the dual wield because then we have more strikes in our redraw. Ooh, yeah, I like that idea too. I had this brief moment where I was like, did we mess up this map again? <laughs> again. Okay, uh, how often do we kill this guy next turn? Never? Never. Go for you then. Never have I ever killed this entry. Probably just eat 10 damage right now. Only five? I'll take it. Casual 30 damage sentries fight like you do. Oof. As we do. One damage short. Brutal. Oh my god. This is okay. 40 is, if we can stay... Uh, 35 is still above 32. We're, we're not done. <laughs> Come on, decent draw. Two defends, please. Dang it. 25. We lost 50 hit points. Jesus. Uh oh. That might actually cost me too. <laughs> oh, just end it. <laughs> 20. 20. Just take all of my health. I mean, we did fail. This was supposed to be free. It was. It's supposed to be free. Second chance no. at body slam. It's not our fault. Or a twin Taylor. strike. You, you, you've said the body slam thing a lot, which surprises me a little bit just because body slam is certainly can be one of the like strongest cards in the game, but it also requires you to get together a really strong block package. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that might be harder with small, but we do have the dual wield. Definitely so is, yeah, is that the, the core synergy? The core synergy is the dual wield, you know, making copies okay. of a card that's free. Right, so right, right. Honestly, right now, I, I suspect we don't ever beat this Burning Elite unless we take Twin Strike. Right. And we have the Flex Potion. We could avoid, but I think we would just rather start a new run, right? I think so. <laughs> so do you, do you rest here Hell ever? Hell no. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> Can't tell if look at flex. genuine strategy. Look at flex doing work here, though. Ooh, wait. Do we flex pot too? Let's see, we're getting three hits in. 
that's about as good as it's going to get. I think we'd do better with a uh, dual wield twin strike. Okay, okay, okay. Or that's fair. Like that. Or even just strike twin strike would be slightly more damage. That's that's fair. Listen up, Gremlin. Possibly the possibility to save. You're going straight to hell. Yeah, we don't even kill, right? Oh, so we guaranteed draw a dual wield twin strike next turn, and bash. Hmm. It's math time. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to decide oh, if we, we artivore? play this. Oh well, I guess we can't artivore now. No, that strike was strong. It did damage to our enemy. It damage. Okay, so bash twin strike does uh, fourteen plus eight twenty two. Okay, we need to do this. Call it a day. We made it, we made and it. and that means we get to save the flex pot actually. Yeah, it was valuable stuff. Huh? Wow, we took uh, no damage against the empowered gremlin knob and 50 damages against the Tri-Sentries. Those Sentries, man. They got They're, us good. They will get you good. I, but I expect that in Small Ladder, they might be particularly egregious because oh, yeah. you want to be buffering your deck more against that fight or finding the gold cards, right? The Dark Embrace, the Evolve, the Feel No Pain. Hmm, how do you feel about Burning Pact? So I love this card. Um, and with Dual Wield, like I, I feel like we may be tunnel visioning here too much, but you can play around that card so much. Yeah. It's a lot of consistency. Who Who's our boss? Our boss is... Hexa? Hexa, yeah. Good for oh, Burns, then, too, then. Then double Dutch. Yeah, yeah, we should we should take, take it. Take it. I like it with Artivore as well. Ooh, mm. I love Auric Alchem here. Auric Alchem is, is definitely on my long list of relics that when I was a, a wee babe, I thought was not strong, and then I woke up. It's so good. Mm. So we can... Shop? Yeah, I'm wondering, shop? do we take the money and go to the shop instead of the elites? Do we take the money and go to the elite anyway? <laughs> That's pretty brave. I kind of, I do kind of like going to this shop. I feel like we can do some good work there. We might even get a free shop. Ooh. Wow, build boat. a boat. Become boat. All right, shop. I would just buy a potion even. I'd be happy with a potion. Ah. Bruh, what, what about are these attacks? And slash or reaper. <laughs> Oh, what about Clockwork? So this is why I love the flex, man. Clockwork Souvenir here. Ooh, there you Suddenly, go. And now it's a better spot weakness. Flat four strength for zero energy. Can we afford Clockwork and Immolate? No, no. not quite. Or nor, nor Clockwork and Reaper, unfortunately. Oh, we're just barely so off, too. Close. Oh, close. man. Okay. Uh, I'm shattered. Um. Brutal, right? So, okay, so our priorities are... You're, you're always trying to remove, right? We're sitting on 16 yeah. cards. We've Calcum. got four card picks Probably for the rest defense. of it. If we remove... This is so good we going can't to afford... Hexaghost. Oh, and we can't afford both of these things anyway. Right. So removal here is, is, is double good. And then it's just a question of clockwork versus one of these attacks, probably. I think that's realistically the space right. that we care about. I think with the flex, this clockwork is going to be so good. Okay. You you really think we can get away with not taking an immolate? That's the biggest thing for me is knowing Act Two exists. Threatens me. Hmm. That is a that is a threat, right? Oh, and what if in the hallway we get like quad gremlins right now? Oh, we'll be fine against quad gremlins with uh, we're fine. With Orichalcum and Horncleat. Okay, that's a good point. We do have the good relics. And I wasn't thinking enough about our 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 block relics. That's a good point. I like. I, I believe you. You know what? I'm. I don't want to buck against your intuition all the time. I love Clockwork. I, I think I would have clicked Immolate here, but then, I I imagine that Clockwork gives us better chances to scale. It works with the deck immediately. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We just need a limit break from our boss, and we're sitting pretty here. I think. Yeah, that's true. And then all of a sudden, we are fine with no Immolate. Do you ever buy an explosive potion? Then. That's the question. Do we ever buy a potion? Or even like a fear pot. <laughs> Uh, maybe the maybe the upgrade pot? I don't know. I think Which the I question has to be who are we beating with it, right? What is what is the fight that we're potioning? What is the fight, indeed. It's not probably not either of these two. Like it would be Hexaghost, yeah. and I think we can just get a potion from one of our things. Yeah, because I think our Hexaghost is already okay with the strength. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. with, with four permanent strength, we're gonna clobber Hexaghost, okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Thank goodness for Aura Calcum. Aura Calcum is nuts. Let's take three. Nothing. Take three. Makes our weakness way better. Weakness minus strength. Like, those are things we already want to do as Ironclad because they're so efficient. And now we get some free block on top, too. Yeah. That game? So, and we're going to get a thread needle next act. Just Darker imagine. Darker Brace is back. 
We go with our uh, burning pact. Hey, you don't There's want this clash, dog? Anger. <laughs> the clash. Ah! I mean, look clash, at it. Clash dual it's wield is a real synergy. Free. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we can click it, but I don't think we can click it either. Think you say you're you're looking at this dork embrace. I am looking at it. I'm also looking at anger here, quite happily with uh, four points of strength and a dual wield. Okay, so for I don't know why, but every time I play Slay the, Slay the Spire, I forget that Anger upgrades to eight, not nine. This is like the piece of I data that I cannot. That I just can't keep it in my head. Don Kaput. Yeah. Okay. I wow. Yeah. So hmm, and we do have some permanent strength. Anger saturation as ending boss. That's actually. Let's think about Act Two bosses. Does Anger win against the Act Two boss more often than Dark Embrace does? Hmm. Dark Embrace also opens up Chosen in Act 2. But maybe we just. We're not worried about Chosen. Anyway. We can just block Hex yeah. with uh, Clockwork. True, true, true. Okay. My, my gut says that Anger will be a bigger deal for the next, like, full act in terms of giving us power. And that Dark Embrace will be fine, but would ultimately really open up with some good relics or maybe, like, in Act 3 and 4. So maybe a longer pick. I think with I agree one with that burning assessment. pact and ascenders, yeah. So which do we need more? Then do we want? Mm. Do we feel like we need the extra strength for Act Two, in the anger here? I think I like. I think I like the anger. Barely more, because of the lack of AOE. Mm -hmm. We can just make. Damage saturation our you know single target AOE right like we can kill off one target really quickly. If we take and the it's anger, in damage anger is real. Do we upgrade the uh, dual wheel now to make more copies of it when they are in hand at the same time? Which will be pretty easy to do, um, if not the first draw through. Once we play it, you know, one time, it gets increasingly okay, I love, more likely. I, I, I love this. It, here's our kind of reverse way to think about it. What is the pick that allows us to upgrade the cards that we most want to upgrade anyway, Ooh, right? That's and anger definitely does that. Yes, yes it does. Because dual wield is a card that we want to upgrade. We're just looking for an excuse, basically. Excuse granted. Here's your excuse, sir. How many excuses have you ordered? I try to get at least five or ten excuses in a day. What is this That's life like, by the way? Lord. They're very angry. They're Do you ever so flex angry. spot? <laughs> it would, Seriously. It would actually save quite a bit of life. We're taking yeah. eight here. You can prevent we all can... of it. Well, actually, yeah. all but one of it. Uh, or, oh. No, all of it. We can we can kill them all. All right. Dun, dun. Nice fight. Now you have tons of health. Ancient Pot is sweet. We can get even more strength off that. Uh-huh. If it weren't small, I'm not going to lie, Intimidate has grown on me so much. This card is That good. card is underpicked. You got to upgrade it, though. Mm-hmm. Mm. Feels skippy, right? Yeah. We're upgrading that uh, dual wield. Do we agree on that? I believe. I believe in this. Let's do it. All right, Hexy. Bear to be dosed. Ooh, flex. You'd love to see it. Uh, bash, uppercut, strike, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. It begins. And we can even get more strength, but we don't need to do that, right? Oh, my God. It's the perfect oh. Hexagos fight. It's happening. And the Horn Cleat is so good in this fight. Five damage and none taken. Yo, this is a hell of a start. Right? We got, we got things happening here. I'm definitely feeling my spice levels rise. Okay, do we strike a third time or do we burning pack the defense? I like the burning packs because angers are our damage profile. That's true, anyway. they are. The stinky defends in the discard pile. We don't need them. Mm. Mm. The perfect hand. Fork. Well, oh, we almost got out of this without taking any damage almost. at all, which is outrageous. 21 damage anger, by the way. GG. Perfect. Okay. Okay, but but impervious, right? Like, we do still have to beat the heart at the end. We do still have to beat the heart at the end. And impervious, like a single impervious, can be the way that we beat Bronze Automaton or something. Mm -hmm. With that. Um, yeah, if we take in the Dark Embrace, I could see the Fiend Fire being pretty interesting, right. but we don't have it, so. Take like the impervious. impervious. This, is, this, this is a good time to answer. Somebody asked in chat, why remove the defend? We have Aura Calcum which is six block, and so we want to be able to take full advantage of that and have high damage saturation to kill enemies. But we still want burst block, and that's a big thing that I think people don't know about the game, is there's kind of like steady block, 
and then there's burst block. Yeah. And you, you really need both. Turn We're trying to use Auric Alchem for our steady. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How do I how do I block for 30 right away? And we have weakness in the deck too with uppercut, so we can kind of lean away from defense. They're just too low impact. Speaking of. Speaking of. Some what if delete options. or what if? no but I, but i feel like we're ironclad right i we have not forgotten that we're ironclad and therefore we're like the most energy hungry class in the game we we sure are ironclad is a couple ways to build zero cost that are true really interesting um but while you're getting there that's the thing about ironclad that's distinct from say defect is defect actually can just make the energy for the setup watcher can actually just like do a ton of zero. In fact, Watcher can get away with having less energy with fasting and then just playing halts, right? Mm -hmm. But Ironclad has to spend energy to set up into the zero energy world. We have to play the dual wield. I, I think, I think I would have trouble not taking Runic Dome here. To be honest, would you? you wouldn't be able to justify the color. I can see that. You don't even just be like with Auric Alchem, It's relatively safeish. Take this. The most that we're considering is like, do we play Impervious or not? Right, right. There is some timing challenge, but having four energy on all fights would allow us to take such a more aggressive line. And we have passive block sources with Orichalcum and Horncleat, right? So yes. anything that's giving you block passively makes Dome easier to take. I like that, yeah. I will say that I, I think- I've just been bitten so many times by Slaver's Caller where- Oh yeah. <laughs> where, you know, you still have to beat some hallway what you, fights. What do you mean I can't kill triple cultists in two turns? <laughs> right. If we were a little better at just popping off and doing 70 damage with anger, then yeah, I think you take slavers, but we're not quite there yet. And we don't have the AoE to just end key fights like Darklings, right? Something like uh, a Necronomicon Immolate lets you just go slavers, because mm -hmm. like, who cares about the hallway fights? They're dead. I will say that I, I do like the cage a cage. fair bit in, uh, in Small Ladder. Mm -hmm. You know, being able yeah. to A, open up two more deck slots, and B, be able right. to draw into the, the dual wield anger flex core. So that's something I was going to ask, was how much, right? Because if this weren't small, I I think I'd go one of the energy. But as small, maybe we get, do we have just enough to beat Act 2 with three energy? I think we might. With the flex, I think so. The the fact just that this is in. a free card is so huge for okay. for, for shrinking down. But I'll leave the having having heard both arguments. I'll leave the final pickup to you. A cage or dome here, sir. Okay, I, one one more kind of discussion line. Okay, <laughs> so we we can. This is to this is to finish the the decision. I think. So we we can beat Act Two with either pick. We believe. We believe. And 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 I believe you. I think that that's true. And as I think about it, yeah, you're seeing those angers a lot. So you're able to close down. We might hemorrhage a little more with cage, but we'll we'll win. And we've got some HP and. We can rest. We can take a safer path. How does this deck go from beating Act 2 to beating Act 4? That's a long way ahead, but I feel like with small deck, you have to forecast farther. We upgrade Burning Pact, and we add, like, a Rage Plus and a Dark Embrace. And that's enough. And we we draw a lot of cards and play them for cheap. Then... Then that means like Snekoi would be cream of the crop, but then that would be away from the zero cost. That would be away from the zero cost. Pyramid could mm -hmm. be thing. Mm. Be mm -hmm. asking a lot actually. Pyramid though, with, with Art of War maybe. Well, there's relics and stuff that we can play around. Oh, we have Art of War too. We have Art of War. We have Art mm -hmm. of War or a Calcum, which is weird, right? We that is so any, strange. We don't want yeah. Any, any defense or strikes. Right. Right. Yeah. Unceasing oh, chop. I could see being away. This deck wins too. Okay. Ooh. I. I uh, still need to rage, I though. I want it. I want it. Empty cage. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would pick Runic Dome here, but I want to empty cage because I want to learn. And One I of think each. This is the best learning path. Two defends or two strikes. I'm leaning towards two defends, and we lean on the flex and the strikes to do enough. Ironclad Smork. Ironclad Smork. Yeah, we don't need these Dunk stinky defends. Two stinky defends. <laughs> Good luck to us against champ. How often do we even find two at the same time? We can't afford to play them. We only have three energy. Elites. Upgrades are pretty valuable in small ladder. I've I've really been appreciating them a lot more. And right now we have Burning Pack to upgrade, which is pretty nice. Impervious even. Impervious is also a very good upgrade. Yeah. 170 gold, so that's enough for a removal if we wanted to do that. Yes. Remove here, Excuse me. here, or here. I think this shop is pretty easy to pad through. Gotta go lots of combats, basically. Three three combats no matter what, so we gotta go into That's hard pool. 
super scary on three energy. I That's we, super. I think we have what it takes. I believe. Maybe Ooh. this path, take a couple of events, get an upgrade before the first elites, and then hit this shop, get another upgrade, fight one more elite, two elites. Oh, and then we've got the late late stage events in Act 2 are sweet, because then you can get <laughs> Thwack. <laughs> I called Thwack today. Did you really? <laughs> <I'm> like, yeah. <laughs> I died on turn one to the double slavers immediately. No! no. <laughs> it was so That's bad. not oh, right. Oh, no, the birds are here. Yeah, this was the fight that I feared. It's but actually not we... that bad. We got weak into we'll block okay. one of them. None of them are buffing on turn one. That's pretty good, too. We have flex How do right we... away. We have a twin strike in this deck. That's how we think we're going to bring them out of the air. We're not. Well, we can dual wield the angers. Anger. Dual wield anger. That'll do it. Yeah. We just go for the one with the lowest health. Go uppercut strike. We could just impervious here. Take nothing. But I think nah. we have to get have with to the, the weekend. We're down. only taking six, right? Yeah. We want to. We have to aggress because we can't easily bring them out of the air. But we we don't need to. We just kind of kill them. With I think if if I'm kind of thinking about this intuitively, I'm pretty sure that we're just going to need to expect that we take some amount of damage in every fight this whole act Dunk one next that's turn. that's what three energy does We're trying too hard to block no come on come out of here blood vial, i think mm, we, we do get eight health back okay so here's a question with with small ladder how often have you taken bites it's kind of I, rare i have a hard time getting bites offered to me right they really don't Cause, like me because this run is ready We've got Blood Vial and we haven't removed any strikes, Look I think. how easy this bird's fight was. I'm kind of shocked. Yeah, right? But but deck was small, so we got to do the anger thing more? It's got to be sort of boomerang, right? We're, we're three energy with a flex plus? Yeah. It's a shame it's not upgraded. It's a shame we didn't have it in that fight, but actually it didn't matter, did it? It's kind of it crazy. It not matter. Dexterity Love. Potion. Love this angel pot. Text pot is actually only two health. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have, it's like a blood vial one time. Impervious blocks for 32, you yeah. say. Ooh, well, you know, you'll have your day, but this ain't it. I, for one, love free money. I don't think we can... Although the dual wield ritual dagger... Actually, that's not even that good. Because, um, fun fact, if you dual wield a ritual dagger, you cannot level it up anymore what? in the fight. Because dual wield says add two copies of that card into your hand so you you expect when you play dual wield right that you left with one original card and two copied mm -hmm. cards that's not true you get three copied cards and no original cards and the original card is and the original is card is gone sent to the shadow realm and the proof the proof of this which which i think is super cool um is in the interaction with master reality okay upgrade cards that are created during combat if you play, oh. if you have Master Reality and you dual wield, let's say, Strike unupgraded, you don't get All one upgraded strikes, Strike right? and two upgraded ones. You get three oh. upgraded Strikes. Oh, that's strange. Isn't that weird? That's so janky. That's, I'm, I'm losing sleep over this. <laughs> this is the kind of thing that goes deep. You know, I remember you talking about something like this at some point, and I couldn't remember if you were talking about dual wield or some of the other copy effects like what how nightmare works but yeah ritual dagger is is strong but i find that on ascension 20 i don't take it that often it can be a hard because, take yeah it can be a really hard know. take okay Let's well we don't have a kill here ever right we'd have to have drawn flex i think we'd have a turn one kill with the dupe bot if we do the flex but mm. i think we're just gonna but, keep these but it's not bad we're all i mean uppercut is weakened 15 minus six we're only it's only only nine. Yeah, it's actually, and we're, we're healing eight, so if we can avoid further damage, which we might be able to do with Impervious mm. and damage coming up. So do you dual wield the anger then? Yeah, that's more damage than the Sword Boomerang is. Yeah, and it's better. Second cycle. Clockwork hey, out here, putting in work. Brock, oh, blocking have... that frail so that we can block. <laughs> actually forgot we had the boat thingy coming up too. This guy. So, Shell Parasite, we took... Mm. Plus 14, yes, exactsies. Took one damage from Shelled Parasite after Relic Killing. More strength is offered in Inflame. Rubrits here, Dropkicks here. With oh, dual no. wield 
and oh no the deck. this killed one of my ladders failure <laughs> <laughs> i'll it? never forget <laughs> you, I, I think i saw that yeah you went for the was it did i encourage you to do this i might have you may may or may not have encouraged the dropkick line but that's i mean I, that's what i wanted to hear you know i wanted to do the thing we're one rage like... away from being so happy one what one rage away from being so happy that card that we talked about last run being difficult to take in the small yeah 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 you're right well we, we'd like some card draw how do we get card draw as ironclad is right. ironclad have access to that oh he capability? does it's called dark embrace mm, mm. i see i see <laughs> <laughs> it's it's in fact all of the card draw that you'd expect an entire class to have in one card and then nothing else there's no other card draw in ironclad really this, this drop kick actually does seem kind of juicy doesn't it? Isn't it i feel like I feel like we're playing a three three energy game here. Doing it. We need we need to have more guaranteed vulnerable source. I feel. Yes, we need a thunderclap or a bag of marbles or something. Oh, but we have an uppercut in this deck too, so Me it's too. not so bad. We do have two sources. We're blocking hex here. Um, do I don't know. We... I've I've got like little little bitty baby morning burps. I keep trying to block. I guess my my bird bath was not good enough. We punch in here. Yeah, good question. I mean, I just want to go for chosen first, just kind of yeah. on an instinctual level. I, I don't actually have a good reasoning for that. I just kind of want to do it. I think the reason is that if we can kill chosen before they vulnerable us, it makes this fight better. Oh yeah. And you might even consider ancient potioning uh, vuln. Yeah, I like this. Perfect work. I can block too. That's punch. Reason. Ooh, a free turn. Wow. Ooh, nice turn. Oh man, just hook me right up. I've definitely angry. had the fight with Chosen Cultist, where I mistakenly targeted Chosen and then died to a Cultist that was out of control, but here, I, I think I agree with the assessment. Make an assessment. Oh, well, I don't know if this is lethal. We're going to find out the hard way. It's going to be pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got there. Was lethal. I think we made the right choice. I think we did. You know what? I think this is a... Chosen plus one that we healed off of. This has the has the empty cage shown its true power yet? Am I gonna is there gonna am I gonna be able to stream today? There's Oops. gonna be no brain left. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be fully <laughs> ironed out. This is this is kind of shattering my because act two can be so nasty. But maybe maybe act two is more of an energy check than I thought. Maybe maybe the problem is that you've been spending all this harder and energy on block cards when you didn't need to. <laughs> Maybe you just need to roll really good block relics and then remove all your defense. That's right. That does sound like a pretty rolling, good idea. Rolling really good relics is a time-honored tradition. True. Of. Okay, so do we want any of this? I'm feeling probably nuts. I can see a world to where you're like, hmm, deck small, need evolve. I could see that. That's so. like a counter to the slavers redraw I just think it's too too specialist to fit into such a a niche deck i feel like i agree it gets it does get us one closer step towards the sea brace which yes, is it, it would it, which it would. which which is fun but I, I like skip i like skip do we oh we want we want this liquid memories right that card is pretty strong. Over the ancient pots? It's kind of like Liquid Memories and Dupe Pot are very similar in functionality. I One. do think that as far as smashing elites go, you know, the aggressive potions are Liquid Memories and Dupe. Yeah. Right? Yep. Artifact is more of setup. Like, Artifact is carried to the champ, and that's how we win. Double, double strength kind of situation. Right? Yes. Being able to get another permanent flex is kind of a huge deal in that fight, actually. So perhaps we need to keep it so that we can do that. I feel like, hmm. Is I, Liquid way... Memories better than Dupe Pot, just the... as a general rule? In For this, this deck? deck? In this deck, yes, I think so. so because... Basically, all of our cards go to the discard pile. The big big benefit right. for the Dupe Pot is, right, like, you can do powers. We don't have any right. powers. There are no powers. I think we, I think we swap Dupe for Liquid, and that also lets us set up our dual wield with Anger if we don't draw them together. Mm -hmm. Which is exciting. So this is a. Do you ever double removal? Well, we could, we could, yeah, we could maybe double removal at two shops. Yeah. Or we could go one and bonus event. Bonus event is spicy because don't you want these bites? <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah, bites, bites would be so good. 
And all of the books are good. I'm going to take another event. Yeah, I'm in. I feel like events for us right now in Act 2 are kind of crazy. Stop. Halt. You Please. have violated the law. Face could be good. I think the gremlin face would be extra bad. I'm not sure if this gets blocked by the souvenir. I don't remember oh, the order you need to get them in, but that would be the big bad if we can't get flex permanent anymore. Good face would be great, of course. Money on question marks is huge. We would get, yeah, because uh, we're about to hit so many question marks. We would get at least 200 or 100 gold just this act alone. Okay, so one fifth of the time we get serpent mask, and then we get like six events with it, and that makes it worth 300 gold. But we're only getting it a fifth of the time, which means expected value is 60 gold. We mm -hmm. could just touch here and get 50 gold, and then we'll never break our clockwork souvenir, and we get our next relic. Yeah, and we're going to go to a shop in the very near future. Dude, I think I'm skipping this mask. For... Yeah, I think so too. Which makes me sad because I, I really, really love the mask event, but it seems too risky for this. It does. It does. Yeah, a lot of good upgrade options here. I think Impervious, Boomerang, and Burning Pact would be the three I'm looking at hardest. Top of my head. Maybe not so much Impervious. Uh, right, because, elite. yeah, how often are they doing 40 damage to us, right? They're not generally not. Like, slavers do 34, Book of Stabbing, I mean... If we get to four times seven, we're already dead. I feel like this sword boomerang is crunk. Let's crunk it. I like it. It Sorry. makes it a much better dual wield target too. Got the book. Book is good. Means we guaranteed get the flex off on the correct target. This is a bad turn one though. Oof. Mm. Ooh, and the big hit too. Yikes. Okay. So ooh, no problem. The dual wield is behind us, which means we get to set up the that do you ever dual wheel drop kick here i think i think we do right because yeah, we we will do. be vuln the next time we see it and then that's a close and we just play all the attacks because we have over calcum no need to uh this is fine this means that we've got good setup from here Ooh, packed right yeah we gotta go further into the drop pile if we draw impervious we'll be a bit sad did not we got this was perfect cut, which is Awesome. Do you want a Liquid Memory to dual wield this anger? No, I would Liquid Memory is Dropkick maybe, which draws a card and gets an energy. Um, but I think we actually are now in a situation where we've got um, Strength with Boomerang and save. Previous next turn. I think we get to save these potions for a future day. Okay, save least... them for a rainy day. Yeah. It is currently raining blades into our face, but surely there are rainier moments ahead of us. We could impervious. Do you are you going to use the uppercut? I'm trying to figure out like if we shuffle without uh, without vulnerable, we might just draw a lot of drop kicks that we can't play. Yeah. Maybe liquid, yeah. liquid memories the uppercut and then play the impervious. That's kind of where I'm leaning. Yeah. I was trying to save this potion with you. I liked that line, I liked but that line until I until I until I realized the gravity of the situation. Oh, we could have done it. Dang it. Oh man, it's okay. Well, it's all good. Ooh. Oh, shuriken with a okay. dual wield anger. Excuse me. With dual wield, um, that's very rocket. spicy. That's super good. So Skipperino, right? This is not a shrug it off moment. I'm learning Twitch chat. I'm learning how to small. I think. My intuition is growing. Did you say skipping? I think skip, right? Yeah, I think so too. If this was upgraded, I'd take it. Right. But not without. Upgraded and preferably on four energy. And yeah, to answer, to answer the question in <laughs> chat, uh, Vice Colon, I've got two separate chroma keys for the two separate uh, face cams on uh, stream right now. Thankfully, OBS is capable. We do another event, right? Not a combat? Yeah, yeah. I want events. Bites. I think our events are crazy. No. Want bites. You're want books. Bite. Want bites, want books. How do we do against uh, Romeo and Juliet? Great, because we don't Pretty, care yeah, about the really money good. stacks. Really good. Um, we need to kill the Guardian, right? Because we're never able to block it. We we have free block next turn with Horncleat, too. Yeah. So we go for yeah. the Shuriken proc rather than the artifact. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Delete this baseball. Baseball's come die. Baseball's over. Baseball ended years ago. This is weird, right? Like, do you uppercut the sentry so you can drop kick strike and play the like anger or something weird? 
Do we wield an inger? Nine, ten. This one further ahead. It's like uppercut strike. That's so sad. If only, if only we could dual wield this drop kick, then we could have really a crazy turn. We are we are minus yeah. the one energy. My 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 guesswork would be that we uppercut sentry here, play drop kick. One seventh of the time we draw anger, and then we can dual wield that, and that's a crazy strong turn. Ooh, yeah, that is good. We also draw flex some of the time. Yep, which would also be huge. Or uh, just play it, I guess. Yeah, just play it, I guess. Close. This is not how I expected this fight to go. I, I feel we misread this one, but this one. But what are you gonna do? This one was always gonna be ugly, I think. Yeah, agreed. Um, let's hit you first, just, just in case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Artifact, maybe. It's this thrilled. is weird. Weird. Do be changing targets this many times. Feels like we definitely did something wrong. Do. Yeah, I was so in on killing baseball. I think I think we have failed to consider how important our debuffs were, maybe. Hmm. And then also failed to consider how much block baseball produces. <laughs> it's just so much. It's too much. It's too many block. We wouldn't have gotten there. We could strike twice. Take a little bit more and be much more likely to kill next turn. I'm, I'm, I'm in. I, I think we, and we need the, we want that strength. Yeah. We want to win here. Yeah, uh. glad, glad we did that. <laughs> we didn't die, Baylor. That was our scariest fight, though. That was though. pretty bad. It was pretty, long shot. pretty painful. We do get the How chance do you feel to about rest Goatsley? up, though. It's... Meh. It's, it is upgraded, so there is that, but it is ultimately kind of meh. It feels like it could definitely be part of the block core that helps us like win, though. And it will definitely make a good difference in champ. We need a few turns in that fight. Dude, well, that was see. such a wake-up call. My nerves were, were Oh yeah, we're, we're, we are, we are, despite how easy it's been so far, we're definitely, and this is, this is really where Small Ladder starts to feel. Because right. the deck is small, it has glaring weaknesses to certain right. encounters. Because we healed on birds. We healed on birds. With three energy. And, but then we just got obliterated by baseball. We need a melter. We need a melter. We need a bludgeon. Yeah. Need okay. A hand. <laughs> we need. Do you think? I, I, no, I like the skip. I really All do. Right. I like the skip. We've only got three slots left. Definitely go into the shop. Yeah, and maybe even getting a rest, right? On, um, what do we want to see here? Red Skull? Red Skull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Red Skull. <laughs> That's... This is Sapphire Key, right? Because this <laughs> yeah, is always yeah, yeah. an uncommon. Always. Oh my god. At times. All right, we got that good money. Is... We got good money. We have... Yo! It's here! <laughs> it's here! It's here! The limit and break is And there's a second win, too, actually. That's kind of cool. Maybe. 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 I don't have that mm -hmm. many... We didn't take the power through this run. The That's limit right. break, you just click it. We got to yeah, click we it. we definitely okay. just click that. Let nothing get in the way. How often do you buy Toolbox? Mm. Once removal, right? How often do we buy... Yeah, versus removal, though? Mm -hmm. Get rid of our last defend. Have only impervious Orichalcum. Question: How often do you buy fire breathing as the answer to those the glaring weakness of the fights that produce some statuses? Chat bringing up an it's idea AOE. with the nunchucks too, which is kind of interesting. Oh yeah. The angers. Oh wow, yeah. The nunchaku is is pretty slick here, isn't it? Violence could be good too, but that's that's leaving us with only one card slot. I don't like that too much. No, me neither. I feel like we just picked up a limit break. We should card remove. We want to get to that core combo. Card remove and buy a strength pot. We are in this deck. We we do have an infinite actually available to us. At this oh yeah. Point. We have dual wheel drop kicks. Dual wheel drop kicks and burning pact to burn down the unnecessary House. stuff. Ah. Yeah. That's remove. Remove. We 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 should remove. We should remove. I think. I think we should remove because we've got the infinite win would have. Oh god. Artifacts are really bad for us, dog. They are. Yes, they are. Fortunately, we're not fighting an Act 2 boss that has any. Yeah. Pray for Shockwave. So do we take a potion or do we save our cash for more removals? Which is pretty valuable. <laughs> it's going to be 100 and... 
25 for the next one. Do we have another removal this act? We this don't, act? right? No, no, we don't. Part of me is um, pretty interested in this swift bot. Mm -hmm. We've got like limit Especially breaks, Shanann. Draw towards yeah. flex while we still have the artifacts. Mm -hmm. I wish we had a true. Well, well, we have burning pack. We beat burning champ pack already. Actually. We have a limit break and a uh, the opportunity to upgrade limit break. I think that our deck just got so strong that we flip flopped to resting. Also. Yes, definitely. Right, I also it. think Swift Potion opens up this elite fight. Maybe, maybe, a maybe. Tri-Slavers could still blow us up. Commander, Saves us from a bad draw, for sure. Yeah. Disturbing. Thank you so much for the five months. Let's go! Ooh, more, removals. more removals! Let's yeah. go! Start taking strikes out of this deck? I... yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. I, if we got it small enough, there would be a consideration for the bash, but we kind of want the bash to get Dropkick online. Is it ever this way? The decisions inspire. Like, it could be better than this way, right? To get two events could be Thwack. Thwack alone is better than this. Okay, let's but, go left. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's go left. There's some incredible event. The Apparitions is a whiff. We'd still take Bites, I think. Still take Bites to add the extra cards and delete that removal. Ye we would still take yeah. it, though, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Commander. Imagine King. 12 cards! 12 lift to 12 lift! Thank you so much for... It says continued support of the months. XCOM project. Two opposites. A second copy of Anger. Oh, I'm glad I went the opposite corner. We could have ended up with double bash here. <laughs> I don't think we want that. Ride, we don't want. Ah, uh, ride. Uh, could be four rides, so we'll look at the There animals. could be. There could be. Yeah. That would be a panic moment. Ooh, That's Brutality is kind of slick. That is slick. We want I would brutality. take that. You think so? Yeah. Honk. I mean, yeah, right? We have spot weakness. Sure. No, no dice. Well. Drive. I would have taken the Brutality or the Spot Weakness, but I think more important was to ah. not take the Ride or the Bash, right? So, All right. We get to do the thing. We have five oh. energy because of the uh, Ancient You're totally Tusa. right. We're going ham we right going now. We are so ham. Smack this avocado, dog. Give it the old bop. And then we get to Impervious at the end, even. How do we make these drop kicks free? Take Madness. Wait, are you just dead? You're just dead. Yes. Dang. Full block. Incredible. Hey, too bad we didn't get any of those events in this act. We took actually a lot of question marks, and they were almost all fights. They were. But that happened. we have the limit break. We have the small deck. The I'm deck is good. pog. It's very good. Could be. I know, right? We have to upgrade it. We need to upgrade it's limit break for champ, right? Yeah. I, I think we skip. I think I think the burning pact will be enough. I believe I, in the burning I pact. I super believe in this champ fight. You have it any totally argument? was four rides. It's any totally argument that isn't limit break to beat champ with? No, it's always this. Yeah. This is, this is our victory. We're going to be so strong against champ. Are you considering just not playing any attacks here? Mm, I think we always play the uppercut. If we do, are we leaving the impervious around? And just go uppercut. Oh, he's gonna let's go down to thirteen. Strike. We take seven. Yeah, let's go. If we go uppercut, bash strike, then we also get shuriken. Yes, we do. Thronk. Lucky he didn't do debuff us on turn one or on turn two, which means um, flex is gonna get benefited here. And I am. Are we doing it? We're doing this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. This also draws towards the flex, which we can now almost force. Almost. Yeah, That's this. our next upgrade, probably. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho. oh, dude. Maybe we skip anger. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, I like it. Because then we can... I mean, there's just no question, right? That is so dead. Poor champ. Wriggles and rides. Uh oh. Time to win. Well, I'm, I'm... I don't know. It's 26 strings. Is, <laughs> is it going to be enough? <laughs> <laughs> we don't need this card. Yeah, that's block. This is like the hardest lesson to learn. You see someone make a thousand strength and you think you need it, but you you don't. I'm serious. I like this brutality a I'm lot. Totally with you on that. It makes yeah. It, the more cards we draw, the closer this gets to like doing infinite things, which might be or how we frankly have to scale against it doesn't heart. even. It doesn't even have to be infinite in most fights. Just to get the limit break one more time faster mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is is close anything in the game, basically. Yeah. Except for Hort, who we might have to actually infinite against. Infinite so plus the, ornamental It's only speeding fan. us up against the, the longer <laughs> fights, though, right? Because we have to draw it and play it. 
True. So it's actually less useful for the hallway fights. That's a, that's a fair point. I still like it. I, I still like it because I, I think in the longer fights yeah. is when we want to hoo 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 to um, yeah. get some value. What, do you ever crown though? Do we ever crown though? Is a good question. I think we do struggle a bit on three energy, but man, pyramid enables the the flex limit breaks consistently. Pyramid enables impervious to hit on the turn it needs to. It enables the. It makes the infinite like way easier because we can hold more cards in our hand. Okay. If there were ever an ironclad to run on three energy, it's this one. Right. Yeah. This 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 is a huge pyramid. It's true. The ability it's true. to to just have the hand full of nine cards and then do the drop kick thing. Well, and there's something to be said for knowing your strengths and your play style. And if there's something I know about you, Baylor. That pyramid, man. It's the pyramid, man. That pyramid. Yeah. Click that. I like it. I'm in. I, I think we can do it. And and you know what it, it fixes, too? The thing about Dropkick that we said was awkward was, what if we get it in the beginning? That's like the worst draw, right? But now it's not. Now it's always energy neutral. Oof, look at this axe. Jesus. Oh fire, God. elite, fire, chest, fire, elite, fire, elite, shop, or, or even another. four elite. elites. Want to take four elites? <laughs> okay, we have to do five combats to get started on that. Ah, that's so bad. <laughs> Where's your faith? Where's, where is your God now? Maybe maybe we start out like this way and then go this way. A little hedging. A little hedging. Something yeah, like I think this. three elites is pretty good. And actually, events are cool here too, right? We like yeah. the events. Fight a boss. I'm into fighting bosses. You ever go to the shop? We have enough for a removal at the shop. We could. Eventually. Would this be a less than 20 card stack? This is Swift Pot. Oh my god, we're so weak. <laughs> we have three energy and starter strikes. How is this deck winning? <laughs> we should we should Swift Pot. <laughs> we should Swift Pot. How is this we... deck winning? <laughs> I love how swingy it is. We're like, we are the best deck in the world, plus... and then we have to fight shapes and we panic. Eight plus this nine is plus nine plus nine. That's closest plus I've seven, ever seen eight. to an That's existential good. ironclad crisis. The iron crisis. Where is your iron god now? I think I actually wanted to play brutality, but made my choice. It lets us full hand here, and we've got to deal with these We're days. So, so we have we have one impervious to deal with the spiker. We made a better <laughs> make it count. We're gonna. Hawk, play out mm. some strikes. Yes. Deflex. Huh. Do you uppercut the spiker? Is that like required? I think we do that next turn. Next turn we can, we'll have uh if we Art of War here, we can go like, <sighs> This is weird, right? Just I think we have to calc like how much damage are we taking total. Oh, that guy. This feels good. I've got a plan. Which is, oh, is it Art of War here? Uh, Impervious uppercut, anger, anger. This just works. Just anger, we just anger. win. We don't even need the uppercut. Oh yeah, we have two thousand strength, right? Yep. This could be a blood for blood. This could be a really good blood for blood, actually, with the uh, brutality. with brutality. Make it zero cost and then dual wield it. Do we or need we that can... extra oomph? That's a good question. I don't think so. My feeling based on the draw that we just had is that what we want is to get flex limit break online yes, sooner. Yes, immediately. And any card that we yeah. draw that isn't those makes us worse at it, right? I think so. Lots of This events. is so fun because in some ways this feels closer to the types of theory crafting conversations that we had closer to Inspire when we were when we were starting. Was like around core combos. The smaller your deck is, the more the core combo needs to be very strong and consistent, right? This is never upgrade all or 999 gold, right? The 999 gold seems like a good way to throw the run. <laughs> right? Here. Runic Pyramid to normality, so no shops yeah. in sight. Yeah, with a plan to play a bunch of zero cost attacks. I like Fight a Boss. Fight a Boss too. I like getting a good rare relic. That sounds great. Same. Same, same. We can just play him, get the strength. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Get him! That makes our dual wield kind of whack. It's all good. We've got crazy power next turn. Like, limit break. Slime crush. This man's appears to be dying. He's he's pretty die.
Very nice. Nice fight. Yeah. <laughs> I think it worse. It gets us closer to something else. There's a hilarious, like, gratitude. impervious dual wield body slam plus play that we can do <laughs> once per fight. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. How much? We can upgrade impervious to 40? Yeah, that would do with 120 damage plus vulnerable. Plus strength. They're doing 60 each. That's a lot That's of 180 damage. damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> I actually think that might be really good. <laughs> It's a ton of damage. But then it's never useful again. Well, you know, it carries our strength, I Sometimes guess. Sometimes we get horn cleat block with it. <laughs> What is this? This is specifically like, this is specifically to solve, say, Nemesis or something. It just wins that fight for us. By yeah, this is right? just like do 200 damage one time. Which then, honestly is the thing we benefit from. It, it makes us better against the next shapes. It's not so great against Giant Head. You know, it is actually relevant against Repto, where yes. it's one more way to kind of go wide. It is. Dude, it's such a weird play, man. It's such a weird play. I, I kind of uh, like it, though. I, I kind of like it. I'm wondering if we want to keep investing in in getting like a dropkick infinite instead. And work work towards that as our way to. That's definitely how we're going to beat awakened one. Very consistently. Why is it, why why is is it upgraded? Going, why yeah? Why is it why is it going to tempt us like that? Right. If it weren't upgraded, we would just have moved on already. But clearly, this is searing blow. We've got three fires left. <laughs> yeah, we can upgrade the hell out of it. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna executive okay, decision. Okay. Okay. Hold okay. off on that. But you know, I I'm gonna think about this a lot. Ooh, strike. strike! Get out of here, Strunky Strike! Down to six. So is falling like the highest variance event in Small Ladder? Oh, definitely, yeah, because that could have chosen like Brutality, Limit Break Plus, Sword Boomerang Plus. Yeah, and then and that's kind of a times. panic. I keep taking these events. I'm in. Oh, that's not very good. Madness Taylor. Madness Uppercut. Madness, Madness Dual Wield is kind of amazing, right? Man, this dual wield is kind of amazing. That? We do have Pyramid. Is that insane? It's two of our deck slots, though. That's so much. We, it have, is. we have the deck space to spare, though. What this does is it allows us to get more utility out of our higher cost things as part of, like, when we're not infinite. Yes. Which will happen. It allows and it makes it to where we can do things like dual wield a zero cost uppercut and then cackle maniacally or dual wield a zero cost drop kick and make make energy from it make energy yeah actually be energy positive this, is this too crazy do you want to play a game Baylor? is this too crazy to work <laughs> i don't i don't actually okay so okay for this to really be worth we would need we would need to be fairly sure that we're seeing that card you know more than once or that we're dual wielding it we're definitely going to see that card more than once <laughs> i think we could do this dude you think I so don't, I'm I'm down to try. I am definitely down to try this. We can even upgrade one, and that would help our uh, energy situation pretty well. I think we should do it. All right, let's do it. I think we should I'm do in. it. I'm in. We're doing it. We are. We, doing we're also it. like actually ahead on removals, which is kind of incredible. That is an uh, unusual thing to have happened. So do you just go ahead and upgrade upper grade one madness? Upper I think, grade. I think we do. Mm -hmm. It ensures like it. that the madnesses can't hit each other, which is a really bad outcome for one. Yeah. 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 So we want, we, we want what? We want to upgrade our Impervious still in the Burning Pact, maybe? Are the things that we're really yes. quite I think, excited to upgrade? I think upgrade. Impervious should be the next one. Burning Pact's yeah. not as important now that we have the Pyramid. Still pretty good. So we want to go with three Elites now. I think we can pull that off. <laughs> yeah. Hey, cheers, Striker Ninja. Thanks for those bits. Glad you're enjoying the, uh, the collab concept. <laughs> Dude, I'm so stoked for this. This is a ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is one of the most ridiculous. A Madness runs. Ironclad. I'm not. I can't. I can count on one hand the number of times that I've done that. Uh oh. Easily, maybe less than one hand. Zero hand. There's no bad outcome here, right? This is just, just an amazing. Throw start. it out. <laughs> yeah. Just... Actually, if it hits the dual, we're said. So so. <laughs> There's no way to. Hmm. But is like it, we just we just. All right, you just throw it out. Just throw it out. And now we do wield this zero cost drop kick. Draw three more cards. And go for the... But the question is, do we do it all this turn? I think so, right? We yes. Just, yes. Even though even though that's waiting energy. We might be able maybe... to get a kill and block for nine here. Yeah. Or even go for true. the one in the middle. It's got less health. We could block more health. But I generally try to attack the ones in the end because of that. You know, they're the only ones that can multi hit, right? Go for the wrong one. Oh, oh my god, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh it's oh still not god. enough. Yes! 
Wait, the madness was the best play. The madness was- We have an N of one as our data store for whether or not this was a smart. And so far, I think it was smart. This was definitely a smart. I like the brutality a lot now that we, like we don't actually get to hold on to that many cards. Really liking brutality. This deck is so funny. This, this deck, deck is, is so funny because it's like, oh, I've got, what do you have for block? Well, I've got one impervious. <laughs> That's not enough. You know what we got? <laughs> What do you mean it's not enough? What kind of deck do you build in Fancy Town? Blood Potion good? None of this, right? None are of those things are mad. common cards? No. Big stinky. Definitely take another upgrade here. Yeah. It's Impervious upgraded? I think so. I don't think we upgrade Brutality. I think we actually like that it doesn't show up in the first hand with only five cards. Or draw with Brutality, too. Nice. Yeah, I don't think we upgrade Brutality. Read on that. Cool. Got it again, dude! No! Oh my god. Mm, unluck. We still... Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we hold it? Oh, it's too late. Yeah. I think we still do this, right? Agreed. Yes. Agreed. Yo. Hmm. Weird turn. Yes. Is it... Start okay. I guarantee you we can kill on turn three. We don't need the weakness on turn yeah. three. Yeah. So just Uppercut and Madness. Don't play that, because... Because both of these are, are good. Do not want to destroy Limit Break. Uh, no, that that seems like the only way to... Okay, draw, but it's okay, because we have an Impervious. We do have an Impervious. Yeah. There it is. Bingo. Let's go, oh, dude. Uh, just play this to draw one more. Agree. And, we get and, and Skippy. It begins. Where are your burns now, Nemesis? Actually healing off that. Eternal Feather is not great. Second Impervious. That's our block strat for the heart. Yeah? That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's 80 block and Take two that cards. Take that upgrade it. Yeah. 19 is a pretty nice number. It's less than 20. I've been doing a lot yeah. of math since to figure this out. And I'm quite certain that the relationship between 19 and 20 is the one that we want. Pretty sure of that as well. Oh my god, this madness is so hot. Did it ever dual wield brutality? <laughs> <laughs> Just draw every card every turn. <laughs> dual wield brutality, play yes. the strike. Oh, dude! Okay, well, then we, we dual wield the uppercut, right? Yes. Do we, I think we hold up. Do we hold them? I think we hold them. We're not going to be weak next turn. We block it with artifacts. Oh, and we have Art of War too. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. We're, we're sitting exactly on this. six here. We want to get maximum slew value. Oh, Centennial Puzzle. No! Forgot about that. Awesome. It's fine. It's all good. What are you going to do? All so good here. Do you limit and then immediately burning pack to strike? Go uppercut, 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 boomerang. We, and we, we have three energy. The uppercuts are all free. I like getting rid of the strike, too, because we don't want Madness to hit it, as an example. Oh, twin strike, too. Okay, this turn is sweet. It's a solid start. Yeah, just like throwing a little bit of damage out there. Yeah. Is this a madness that we just throw out? Oh, now Oh it is. my god. Ooh. It's all we, good. Do we just actually join, just play an Impervious to avoid three? <laughs> no, because we're healing to full anyway. Yeah, heal to full anyway. So yeah. Strike, strike, anger. Or strike, strike, dual wield on the anger, excuse me. Or, well, never mind. We'll do it next turn. Time will come. We'll draw one of those and use that instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's, like, much risk. No. <laughs> you know, no. it's like, what, what are we worried about here? Launch. I'm getting all Ardra. revved up. You want a second pack? burning pack? I don't think I do. Maybe. Maybe. There, we're, you're, we are actually kind of running out of exhaust fodder, awkwardly enough. Well, we, once we... If we get to a point where we've run out of exhaust fodder, we're infinite. Right. Right. So my question is, is how, do we, how do we seal the deal here? We, if we... We don't need to go infinite to beat heart. We just no. need to... We be just need to a lot of strength. Kill it. Oh, yeah, we can... Easily, easily go to like 
500 strength real fast with two burning packs, right? I think we should take it. I think we should take it. And we have another removal coming too. So, so wait, does that make it to where we go right? Yeah, do we go here or do we go here? Because the only concern is if we take this and then we're offered like a Reaper, I mean, that's kind of sad. That would be sad, yes. But maybe we don't need it. No, we don't need a Reaper, no. Yeah. It would be nice though. You're not gonna turn it down. You're not gonna send it back, gonna, right? Yeah. Gonna send it. <laughs> gonna send this it dish is to too delicious. <laughs> I don't want it. Uh, I can't afford this. But I think I think the best thing we could do for the deck is maybe just cut more strengths. Remove here. Remove next acts. Is a solid option. I think we should take this burning pact because of statuses in the heart fight as well. Mm -hmm. I think we should take it. Take it. See, so with me and on I, shop, or do we yeah. go one more relic? I like double shop actually. Yeah, I think I think. We've got a plan. We've got a plan. He is here. Interesting option. Hell, it's Definitely going to cut a strike. We can't add anything until we remove one, right? Right. Them's the rules. So the rules. Take that panacea. And it's specifically what? 150 to do gold more for flexing? removal, though. So we cannot, cannot remove a card. If we, yeah, the the idea with the panacea would be that we upgrade it to be two artifacts, and that's blocking flex not once but twice, giving eight permanent strength, or perhaps blocking a debuff of some kind too. But once the multiplication of the limit break starts going ham, then the effects of that fall off fairly quickly. Yes, I, guess? I think that's true. And with the ancient potion, we, we have an have, ancient pot. We have the ancient pot. I kind of like just leave here, man, mm -hmm. and be able to get one more removal. One that also more. leaves us with enough gold to be able to buy a common relic in case they like offer us Red Skull or something, like you said. Bag of prep, maybe? Bag of prep, probably better than Red Skull right now, yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hard picks. Oh, I think they're really particularly hard, hard because we're both feeling the excitement of like winning, <laughs> maybe? Maybe. Yeah, there's a chance here. Right. These are where madness turns are awkward. I hadn't thought about the madness impervious interaction. That is admittedly I'm awkward. I'm pretty okay with free imperviouses usually. True. That's just stored 40 block for the turn where we want it. I'm going to play it. Fine. Mm. Just picking up a room here. I don't think we play this impervious. I think we deliberately take five and draw more. So, okay. Have we learned from our previous experience with Mochi? Who are we attacking here? We are... Now that we have Imperviouses, we can afford to be... Wait a bit. ...less dead, like afraid of the Guardian, I think. Yeah. I, I like bashing this Exploder. Yeah. Let's just not have to worry about a 30 damage explosion, right? It begins. Do we wait to play the Dropkick? Do we dual... Do we, do we Burning Pack to try to get the Dual Wield? I would Dual Wield maybe Sword Boomerang, although you're gonna... Swartering. ...a bit of an issue. Right. Well, Burning Pact, alright. The Burning Packs are here! They are here. <laughs> I think we burn some cards. Get up. Marmos. It would let us maybe impervious. Oh, but we're already at 14 block. We're so strong. We're so good. We are the Blankest. Free Burning Pact. Cool, and we get to, um, I'll take Frail, because we have Impervious yeah, yeah. Plus. These are 30 block yeah. anyway. Okay, nice. feeling better? We we mostly made it at this point. Oh yeah, we, we have Turnip. How could I forget you? Actually, Turnip is relevant against the heart, because Turnip's of our Impervious stuff. now. Yeah. yeah. We're blocking Vuln and Frail. That's so good. Let's see, 9 damage per... I think we have to go for you now, Mr. Guardian. We'll wield this anger and hit it. Begin the smacking. Because then we want to kill on this turn if possible. We probably can with the limit break, no? Limit break. Six more. This be like, yeah. yeah. We got this. We yeah, have an big, anger. Big, big time. This enemy is very dead. <laughs> it's weird. I want this deck to be even smaller. It's pretty pretty incredible, isn't it? Like, we would s start burning pacting like our bash at this point. Burning pack the twin strike. One. 
that. Don't want that. You don't want an extra 48 damages cycle? <laughs> Hopefully we're not getting to the uh, to the third multi-hit. Are you looking at that pommel strike plus, like kind of side eye? Nah. Not without right. a not without a sundial in this deck. God sundial. Oh my, keys. I had forgotten about these. Keys, keys, keys. Okay, we can do the uh, dual wheel dropkick right here, right now, because we have, uh, again... Man, this um, T-set has been hype. I think this is our, our fight to test out setting the infinite. Yes, yes, this is definitely the fight to go infinite in, for sure. In fact, would we even burning pact the brutality here? Dual wheel the dropkick. I definitely like dual dropkick, uppercut, and hit uh, hit everything on Awakened One here, weakening them. Whoa! Oh, we have five energy. We have five energy. So, so the one suggestion, the one consideration here, is if we Burning Pact Brutality first, then we could also draw into Flex. We could also draw into a Madness, both of which could make this an even more hype setup. And it gets us closer to mm -hmm. setting up that infinite right away. But oh, it loses us some ability to. We still have the four hundred. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We can yep. do that. Do that. Okay, that's fine. Having Impervious in hand is just going to be good. Totally. So we begin the smackening. Ooh. Do we even, do we even bother? I think we hold off on that for now. Throw out a strike just to get it out of the hand? Yeah. Okay. Get a bird? Not really doing anything to awaken one, right? Mm. Yeah, you're right. Realistically, we are like six burning packed plays away from being able to be infinite, right? Less than that. Less. Not not even. Not even. Do we, are we avoiding anger then as part of our infinite? Possibly. <laughs> Probably want to limit break before madnessing. Do we madness with this hand at all? I think we do throw out a madness here. At some point in time, if we're trying to get too cheesy with it, right? We're losing value on it. Right. We, and we want to clear the hand. It's the plus one. Yeah, first. I like that. Or the, I like the that. One first. Oh, I'm supposed to limit break. I actually think this is okay because yeah, this is fine. we're pretty it's close upgraded. to being able to cycle limit. And a strike. Okay, not the greatest. Yeah, that was probably our burning pack target. We can burning pack the bash. Yeah. I like that. We're gonna be down to this uppercut and it's gonna be plenty. Will the strike. <laughs> I don't think so. That's, that ain't it. That ain't it. That can't be right. I know, yeah. now this now this anger is it's Twin Strike it, but anger is it... kills this guy, so I'm strongly considering it. And one anger can't be that bad. It gives us burning pack targets. Right. Where my brain's at. Oh I could have I didn't have to play that. No, nah, we needed to. No, we we didn't need to. <laughs> the strike's I'm just, free. I'm just I'm just playing around, boss. <laughs> we didn't need to. No, we're good though. We have impervious for this turn. Mm. Um, this is also a flex it break. Flex it break, yeah. Flex. We take a little bit more. Not much. I more. am seeing that getting madness on drop kick is incredibly valuable because it yes. lets us play more of our cards, even if we're not going infinite. But I'm still pretty focused on trying to see the infinite setup in this fight because if we can't get the infinite setup in this fight, then we can't reliably set up infinite in any fight. Got him. Right? That's kind of my logic. This is like a sandbox for us in many ways. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I think we go uppercut, drop kick, drop kick. We might even be able to kill it here. With, actually, with boomerang, yes, we have a kill here. And we have if a we want to. next turn. If we want to. Right. Or we can take a little bit of damage, play burning pact, take 10. Gosh. We, mm, we, I think we're, we probably do I just get the sword boomerang, right? Yeah, I think we're just going to kill it next turn. Yeah. We're close to. We need an uppercut is the thing that we're missing right now. Well, maybe we don't care about uppercut. We're just going to have so much strength. We burning pack the strength, try to redraw some stuff. Yeah, like we almost have a kill right now. Actually, we, okay. hold on. We do have a kill, right? In hand? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like I thinking think, about I... what we draw. We actually, these are 60 damage angers. This is 180, uh, 300. Just play dual wield on the anger. We win here. Yeah, yeah. 
I think this has proven to me that it's not so much that we can't set up the infinite, it's just not the most efficient way for us to win no. fights. No. We, we just don't, don't we just don't need it. Yeah. We are every cycle the deck scales like five times, six times its damage. If we happen to get the zero cost drop kick, then yeah, sure. I mean like start going ham, right? But otherwise just playing madness to start getting value feels pretty good. This guy's sand is awkward. Ted is awkward. I think we burning pack the anger? We definitely want both imperviodes. Impervio. Yeah, I like Burning Pact Anger. I like it. I like it. Oh, and then we definitely just play Madness. Er, yeah. Could go bad. Though. Or do you ever uppercut and just just uppercut? Just flex, flex uppercut? Flex uppercut? Yeah. Yeah, I'm done for I kind of I kind of dig it. Dig that. A little bit of block. Make a little block. Do a little love. Get <laughs> down tonight. Is that the soundtrack that's in your mind when you're playing Spire? Yes. Let's you know, I've always thought that it would be cool to have a real-life walk-up song, like they have in baseball, to where every time you walk into a building, there's a song that plays for you. Wouldn't that be amazing? It would be. Are you going to... Oh, are we dual-wielding this drop kick? This, Pro this zero-cost drop kick? Very probably. Honestly, even against Time Eater, it feels pretty good, right? Kill Bash? Is. Kill twin with strike. The, with a zero cost yeah. drop kicks, I'm gonna keep that around for the moment. Yeah, you're right. Madness after dual wield? What else do we want to hit? I'm gonna hit an ink bottle prox. We're wasting a draw if we uh, dual wield here. So maybe we do madness just to make the space. Bosh. So we might even play that this turn, potentially. It seems like a waste. Feels feels waste, yeah. Maybe maybe this is literally just strike and wait. No, this is fine. This is fine. Wrap him around at twelve. Agreed. Probably wanted to Ooh. limit break. Limit brutality. No. Limit uppercut. This was good because we just got the shuriken right there. Uppercut. Nice. Six, seven. That should be all all the damage we take. I think so. Really good fight. This is definitely one of those cases to where. All of the paths lead to Rome. <laughs> you oh, know, yeah. it's like, as long as you don't really bungle the the clock, there's a lot of different ways to get there now. And there will be no bungling. Oh, my God. Yeah, doesn't this get disgusting? Like, the second cycle through? Look at this. Brr. Yes. Don't stop now. Don't stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you later, nerd. Oh. I did a bad. Oh. Hmm. Brutality? Yeah. Impervious? Um, dual wield? We can get it up to like four. Yeah, we can definitely do better here. With a bit of finagling. We've got a we've got a, a all sorts Ooh, nice, nice! Yo, that was clever as hell, dude. We're killing with anything anyway. That'll do. That was real cool how you just <laughs> apparated nine card plays there. No I problem. had not thought of the dual wield brutality. Dual wield brutality, it's man. Sick. It's, it's some good stuff. Two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of this evil? Mm. Ready your blade doing. That's Turn of century. That's more than 20. Yeah. It's more than 20. <laughs> that's more it's too than big. 20. I think that's illegal. <laughs> I am, would like to return 1,877 cards, please. So this is what, a four hit point rest? No, it's a zero hit point rest. Excuse me. All right, we upgraded Boom. Other, yes. other madness? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Do dig it. Yeah, this this is... Is this been two or three? I feel like it's three, right? It's, uh, it doing this? What? This is our Two third attempt. What? That's, uh, we, we had our third ironclad run today. No, second. Second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this was oh, our yeah, Niaz Lament. Yeah, this was our Niaz Lament. You're right. We died in Act 1 the first time against Grimlanius Nobulus, first of his we name. Did, we did. After taking 50 damage to Tri Sentries. This is only number two. And frankly, first attempt. We're just going to forget about the first one. We're just going to forget about it. I'm. Yeah. I'm pretty cool with just strike or move and, and see what happens. Same. I was looking, you know, aggressively towards that middle row, but no relics here really pop out. 
We're going to have a bit of a hard time. I think we do take some damage to the elites because of the two artifact they're going to start with. Oh, God. Yeah. Um. Does that mean that we ever buy a fear potion? No, there's nothing we want to drop. I think we just card remove. I think you're right. All right good luck oh, yeah, turn two burns. Turn two We're burns going to be spooky. Not a bad turn one, though. No, it's not. Oh, God, it would be so nice to be able to dual wield this uppercut. Do you have a burning pack to sword boomerang? I think we have to, yeah. We're not I really playing this in I quite like it. I quite like it here because this is so the, little damage that once we start scaling, bad they're dead. Here too. Yeah. yeah, true. Okay, that's a quality madness, right? We can dual wield. Either we get a free impervious or we have a dual wield targets for... Yeah, stuff. and bash or uppercut is fine, so we probably don't play bash first, right? Because we want we want to increase the chances of it being an attack. Right. Yeah. That's no dice. Ultimately fine. We're gonna play this. I think we want to take the damage on this turn for the draw. Yeah, I think we just pay the upfront price. We can make one of them vulnerable here. Go bash uppercut on. I'm I'm kind of. Usually here, with the kind of damage output that we have, I would go shield and just try to nuke them, right? But I'm actually wondering if we can set ourselves up to destroy Spear next turn before taking 40. Well, we have Horn Cleat and Impervious for free next turn. Okay, so we can kind of afford to set up so on who we if want. We say so maybe that, it is shield. If we say that we can kill Spire Shield in two turns, which I think we can. Then we should do it. We should do it. Yeah, yeah, and that means we take another six damage this turn, but that's okay. I, I, I think you're right. Oh, you're I right. think we yeah, should. we do face the wrong way. But I think it's okay. I think... Oh, gosh. But then that also means if we can't fix up our next turn, we're taking an extra Oh, we can always turn around with the dropkick. True. All right. We're doing this. I think, I think the intuition is right here. I think killing shield is quite good. Impervio... Here's madness to do something. Oh, are we close to ink bottle? Not quite. No, not quite. We play. We that. should. Do we, we play out twin can? Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think we just have to smack them. We madness first. Do we twin strike strike? Well, it still won't even force it to. We have a fifty percent chance to hit a uh, drop kick if we go uh, twin strike strike madness here. That that might actually be worth, huh? That might be worth, because then when we cycle back, we've got our, like, winning dual wield target. Generating energy yes. is pretty crazy. Stuff. Okay. All right. Our, ooh, I think we just dual wield the anger. I think we just dual wield it. Right now? Instead of, we could, mm. The other option is limit break and turn around. Okay. Okay. I'm in. We've got a pretty good chance to draw the right stuff. Yeah, we're going to draw something to, to duplicate with dual wield. Right, because we're cycling right here, too. Dude, spooky fight. Did we win? Yeah. Are yeah, you that's, winning, That's son? a kill, right? 22 and lots? Lots. Lots. We made it. Barely, though. Is this Disney? <laughs> more. This I hope version of Disney is scary. We can just drink this. Uh, yeah, here. God, that would be clutch. I'm certainly glad we took the second burning pact. I'm looking at this and I'm like, yeah, that was good. Hmm. Burning pack to... stuff away and go for Art of War next turn? Or do we cash in as much damage as we can? Oh, well, we need some Voln, huh? Hmm. We don't need the Voln, quite frankly. Right, right. Have... <laughs> yeah, I think we should start drawing cards. <laughs> what is this? What? What is this? <laughs> you just pack the dude anger and dropkick and packed again and try to find all of these angers. Yeah. We mad. And then we just that's twin strike killed it. Feels lethal. Too. Yeah, feels very lethal. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Okay, we get champ some belt. with the champ belt, and 
Oh. We can take the Reaper. We can take the Reaper. We can. We We're can 18. take it. We Listen. should take it. We should definitely we should. take it. We should. And it's a great dual oh wield target, too. So, oh, we could. Yeah. Yeah, and we yeah, have yeah, madness. yeah, 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 yeah. Free yes. Reaper. Freeper. It's the Freeper. It's Reaper. I've always wanted to say the word Freeper. Freeper. <laughs> and I'm glad to have had the chance to do it. <laughs> Play Freeper. I've never thought of this before, but I've always needed it. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. That's so high. That is amazing. <laughs> We're a little bit lower on health than I wanted to be. I don't care. And we block all these effects. Except for the weakness. That's fine. Oh, and we can proc Centennial on this turn, too. Yeah. Do we want to do that with Madness? I'm okay with any of these getting hit by Madness. What about, um... What about Play the Bash? I'm... I'm intrigued. Yeah, we could, we could do that. Our, I would say our best targets for Madness are literally any attack, because we can dual wield them. Mm -hmm. But Reaper is crazy, obviously. Reaper is so good. And Dropkick is kind of actually almost the same. Yes. Because right. of the way that it gives us energy. So much energy. And and so while I would be okay with hitting any of these, the chance to have a, a larger pool of the better cards to hit does seem very tempting. Do you think that the average draw is going to be a better hit? Reaper, Impervious, Limit Break, Uppercut... Pact, Strike, Meringue. Yeah, and we could even sit on it for a little bit, right? We could, that's true. Certainly are able to do that with this deck while we burning packed away some, some gubbins. How do we feel about it now? I... Wow, this is like the same, right? Because <laughs> the limit break is not on the high end. Twin Strike might even end up being Burning Pack We'll target. definitely want to play Limit Break a few times. I'd be okay with that. Right. Twin Strike would be the worst. Yeah. By Impervious far. is fine. Uppercut's great. We've got two Madness. Maybe it's time to not sit on our laurels. And smack it. What's what's smacking it in this case? Uh, uh, playing the Madness. Oh, are, are, you, are you interested in going Twin Strike and then Madness? Well, we do draw a card with Ink Bottle, so it's like... Hmm. Mm. That could work out. That might not work out, though. We could end up madnessing like regular strike. But then we just wait. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. Now we play it. Yeah. Oh, we got the drop kick. Let's go. Okay. Do we sit on it because the dual wield is so strong? I think we have to. I think we do, right? Play brutality here and save the artifact potion for some limit break shenanigans. This means we're whiffing yeah. on a shuriken, but I think that's okay, right? It's okay. Yeah. I like this. I think this was a acceptable. Blocking Vuln, blocking Frail. Have an Impervious. Boat thingy? Have Horn Cleat next turn. Boat thingy. Right. Blocking Frail. That's huge for the uh, 67 hit. This run is so rigged. I am a notorious hacker at Twitch chat. I want you to know that nothing about this is competence. Really? No matter how many thousands really, of hours. Really happy to see multi-hit here. Oh yeah, we're already most of the way blocking. And we can get vulnerable online and be all the way blocking. Yes. Or I mean rather weakness. I don't know how mm -hmm. to word good. Are we still waiting for dual wield? I think we might want to open this with burning pets. Get rid of this wound, look at two more cards. Do like, okay, crazy option, slime burning pack slime burning packs because of how strong the dual wield dropkick is right now the slime doesn't let us look at an extra card that's the one of the cool things about burning pack right is that you don't need any free hand space to play it it gets itself out it exhausts a card and you draw two. So oh, i was looking no at burning overdraw. pack plus i see oh I see. Oh, 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 oh yeah 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 i understand yes i see slime burning pack plus is 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 a thing that we could do okay i like this because i think you're right that playing out the uppercut ultimately is something we want to do i like it Ah! Dust Void! <laughs> I had forgotten that this exists. So easy to forget. But we can we can drop kick and then uppercut. True. To, to redeem. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We've got other dual wield targets too. We'll cycle. It'll, it'll we should, come back. We should do it because we also want to start scaling. If we get too cutesy here, we'll we'll regret it. Do you anger here for a shuriken proc? Kind of like it. Yeah, I think we do. Also, plus draw next turn. Full blocks with an impervious. 
I like just Impervious and then Burning Pack to Strike and letting Art of War start to do things. I'm gonna draw in some stinky statuses. But we're getting closer to accelerating this a lot. And the extra energy Wait, so next turn. Suggestion is Impervious. Impervious, Burning Pact, this, Strike. We draw exactly all three of these. Okay. And we're sitting on this Madness because we really want to, like, try to Madness Reaper, and we can kind of set that up. Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't want to Madness Strike or Slime, certainly. In that case, why don't we not play Strike on this turn and play Slime, right? Well, not, we're not or playing, you're playing strike, we're, we're destroying the Strike. You're burning? Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. And holding limit because it's only one. Yeah. Okay. I'm in. You play this too. Ultimately, we can wiggle like this a bit because of how strong Reaper will be to yes. sustain us in the end game. Wiggle. And yeah, there's our drop kick. We can now dual wield it. We can also start. Yeah. Madnessing stuff. Do you want to like limit? Well, we could drop flex. You want to slime? Because we've got Ink Bottle, and Dropkick's going to make us energy. We can fix up this hand to Madness Reaper. We can do yeah. it, I think. This I, turn. I like Slimed, Twin Strike, Limit Break, then Madness. Okay. We take a lot of beat to death here. Ah. I do think we dual wield the Dropkick before Madness. Oh, yeah, yeah, because then we don't hit Madness on the dual wield either. Yeah, and it pays for itself, and we can clean up the hand. More chances to Burning Pack things away. Cool, that's good. Anger is great. This is pretty rad, dude. Nice. Good with it. Now then, right? Yeah, before the artifact. Nice. I hadn't thought about that, actually. That's that's pretty clutch. It's really important. I think now we're desperately clawing back towards our dual wield. I think we play the boomerang, cap the damage, and just stop here. And yeah, wait. We, we need to we need to dual wield Reaper and fast. Yeah. To, uh, to we do have it. some blood potion. And I can perceive we're already at the strength point to where we're getting to where we could potentially like single Reaper and win the fight. Yes. Got one impervious left. Yeah. So, so we, we might we actually limit be okay. break. Just limit break one more time when we're there, right? Right. Okay. So next turn we're looking at big number. Impervio is here to flex on him. Yes. So we can draw a lot of cards. We got both burning packs. We have lots of energy with these zero cost drop kicks. This is going to be a huge turn for us. Yep. Um, Plan to flex. Do we flex? Plan to draw. So the, the main question is with Maybe zero we cards, don't want to redraw it. Mm. Yeah, with zero cards in the draw pile, it's a question of what do we want to redraw? What do we want to not redraw? Honestly, it may be. I think we do want what to redraw it? that flex. Because we're going to limit break. Speed up. It's Would you break. ever do. Flex, Burning Pact as the opener? No, because we want the drop kicks. Well, the drop ticket doesn't get cycled anyway, Flex right? Whatever we draw with is triggering a shuffle. So it, it doesn't matter after that, because we're just going to play out all of our best stuff, and mm -hmm. we'll have to get it on the next cycle. It's just a question of uh, cycle the flex or not, basically. I think yes. I think yes. I think yes. Seven cards is a lot. I think you're right. I think yes. I am impervious to block beat of death, or we just take a little bit for now. We're not going to block everything. It's only forty block, right? I think we're take. I think we're taking some beat of death. I'm actually even sitting here wondering if we're playing to impervious next turn, right? Like end up doing something like Reaper and Blood Pot this turn. Oh, we'll s yeah, we'll see. It chips comes out here. kind of the same most of the time, yeah. Let's go packed plus on anger or bash. I Two honestly think it's. Left. I honestly think it's Bash. I honestly think it's Bash, because this the next uppercut gets us through uppercut's free. The next uppercut gets us through the two artifacts. And then after that we're ahead forever. Yeah, we we don't need vulnerable two turns from now either. Because yep. we're gonna have sword boomerang and a billion strength. Right. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I think we end up reapering here for a lot of hit points. No dual wield on the Reapers. Oh, crazy. 
I think you're... We, we flex, we limit break, we can g manufacture energy with the drop kicks. And then this is going to heal for... 70,000? Million? That's probably just enough, yeah. Begin the cycling. Oh. We could do it first, actually. We should, right? We should. We should. There's not a good reason not to. No, it's like it's unnecessarily really flexy to not do this. Uh, yeah, that's enough room in hand. Let's go, <laughs> dude. Let's go. Do you keep making energy? No, I think we just, just stop. Stop here, right? I think we just stop. Did. Take yeah, the hit. It's free. Yeah, we definitely didn't need that bash. I forgot we had uppercut for free. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. I, oh my god, I think we did it, Zeke. And they're weakened. First 3 by 15 This is the best you have. I told you to bring your strongest game. All right. <laughs> Full health. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my lordy. It's mole clad. Very strong. Wow. How big can we get here? We flex limit break again? We flex limit can we break get back again. to it? Uh, maybe. Burning pack? I'm hungry. Yeah. 144? Heal it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! The drop kick is too strong! We gotta do it next turn. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes, as it must be. Hungry clad. Nom 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 nom. Whoop. GG, dude. Wow. 19 hey. card, A20 heart kill with Ironclad. We, we felt ahead on removals the whole time. That was so good. That was so... And, and you know why? Empty, Empty cage. cage. Empty it cage. was right. No, no, there was... I, I, I concede. It was correct. But the, the, the key there was having some confidence in the act, too. And it had its scary moments, dude. We almost died. Oh, yeah. The, the, um, the freaking baseball, man. <laughs> baseball almost just baseball. bludgeoned us. That was a home run for the enemy. Almost. Almost. But we lived. G friggin' G. GG, dude. We GG. Commander, what do we do now? I was expecting to do this for like hours. The support of I, I don't member. know. I, I, I too did not expect uh, <laughs> to succeed quite so easily. Um, we could continue that... messing around in Spire. I know you've got your own stream to get to sometimes, but it's it's 4.30 my time. It's 5.30 your time, and I still I don't have stream until 7. So I've got another in this matter nah, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Okay, we should we should definitely keep going then. Yeah, I can get another run in at least. I'll take a break between to do dinner and whatever. Break break sounds good. NC, thank you so much for the two gifted subs. And Striker Ninja, thank you so much for the five, by the way. Ridiculous support here happening for the, the collab A20 art kill bonanza. Commander, of no that was awesome. Mm. The support that of felt good. Council and member. goat cheese. I love goat cheese. You like goat cheese, Teak? Uh, yes, but you'll struggle to find food that I don't like. That's, that's a, just a that's a good answer. I like I yeah. am I am an in general fond of eating. So mm -hmm. I can I can agree with you on that. Same same. Was I saying something about Factorio earlier? I was. So my community game this month. Commander, we've just is received Factorio. the support of another council member. A lot member. of folks uh that was the it just came out into its 1.0 release game uh, about kind of like automation and resource gathering where all of the, the puzzle kind of gameplay comes from solving your own problems. It's it's really eternally tripling over your own shoelaces, the game. That's how I, that's how <laughs> I, I like to think of Factorio. <laughs> my friends from my old job described it as circuit design, but we dis we, we disguised it as a video game. That too, yeah, that too. Definitely. Right, it's like all blueprints and building the big thing. Did you see what Terrence said, by the way? The most impressive part of this is that you finished a run in one and a half hours with two opinions to consider. Seriously, yeah, that was shockingly fast. The first collab run that we ever did together was on my stream, and it was when we had the, oh, the three one. in a row A20. <laughs> yeah. and it was that defect run. It defect was like run. three and a half hours or something That was crazy. so long. It was brutal. Was so long. And then we followed up with some runs that were faster, but that was like, we both had to go take a shower afterwards. Oh, yeah. That was brutal, but so it was I'm, good. I'm doing Bacterio coincidentally up almost exactly one week from right now. So same time, same day of the week. The mod team is going to be joining me for multiplayer. So I'm going to start up a, a fresh, brand new world in Factorio. Uh, invite 
everybody on the mod team to like join into a, a multiplayer game and they are going to just kind of like I guess do their thing would you like to join us and learn how to factorio while Faley is messing with you I've never played. <laughs> yes, I, I'm serious. I've never played Factorio. I own, I've owned it since 2016. Oh, you own it too. Nice. Or whenever it came out, I've owned this game forever. Yeah, Saves I helped my friend like make a server. He he built a he like bootstrapped his own. It's like you can find it on GitHub. There's a whole like <laughs> there's a whole code base for making and running your own server. And I've never played. Nice. So, I would like to learn. You should you should join us then. One one week from today. So, okay. Time slot confirmed. Said you Should wanted some more collabs. I do, I do. I, there's not really a limit. I just have to figure out how to work them all in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's that is the tricky part. <laughs> but you know, it's okay because the cool thing about collabs is that you can do them during your streams, right? So yeah, it's like it's, it's actually easier to work in. It's than like some working of the other stuff. while you're working. Work. What if you can double work? <laughs> yeah, that's what I really want. Double is work. how how can I do more work? You can work? Yeah, double exactly. double your work. That's right. Double work double break. your strength. Double your work. Okay, I propose a super quick break. I have to get more coffee, dog. Sure, and then sure. If you're down, I'm I'm available. I I'll play more Spire. I'll play more whatever. I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm super down. Do you want to you want to try this again on a different class, or do you want to try something I'm, different? I'm good with small again. I've really enjoyed it. I feel like I learned a lot with it. And then there there were some other suggestions too, like taking on one of the other d tough ladders, like Rainbow Ladder at A20 <laughs> or something like that. Um, but I, I'm I'm digging the small. That, my inclination is small. Supporters. But we'll we'll consider it. Sweet. Sounds the amazing. Project. I'll be right back. I will keep the folks entertained while you go on break. Base rune. Thank you so much for the 17 months and for kicking off that hype train. That run wasn't that run insane. That run was insane. Commander. We've just received the support of another council member. And soothe this with the gift sub number 200. Ridiculous. Thank you so much for everything you do for the channel and for that gifted sub. Worm Superior has been playing a modded Factorio server recently. If anybody's looking a way to mix up Factorio, you can recommend Crastorio 2. I think I heard of that mod. Actually, while we're while we're hanging out here, I think it's a great time for a moment of positivity. If you, dearest chat members, have a moment from your recent day or week that made you feel good, happy, excited, or otherwise positive, then I encourage you to share it in chat and spread some of that positivity around. I, I'm i feeling a, a ridiculous high off this crazy iron clatter on what? With a knee. Wait, what? We didn't lose the run where we took 50 damage to sentries. We won that one. That was this run. Oh man, I can't wait to tell Teak when he gets back that we actually won that run. And the one that we lost was... Oh, a slightly different version where we sentries knobbed. But yeah, the, the 50 damage sentries fight. That was this run. That was this run. What? Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Merle hit their highest Spire score ever yesterday. Over 4k. That is a... Ridiculous score, sir. Of course, watching a lot of Among Us streams and having giggles much the entire year. I mean, here's some very good things about Among Us. It seems pretty popular since it landed. Fluctuation EM just refined, refined their mortgage that you save to save you on a monthly payment, as well as total payment over all the years. Nice. Came in, got to visit some old college friends on their birthday, and it was amazing. Some even drove like six hours to be there. Wow. The, uh, the reunition. Eli Dupree was a little Commander, sick for a couple weeks. We've just it seems like they're doing better now. Another council and you're working on writing a factory game of your own. Ooh. Hopefully we get to, uh, we get to see that someday. Like, sorry, I had a crazy amount of work to do before a hard deadline today. Didn't think you'd make it, but you did. Congrats. So this is run and bike yesterday went super well, which is great, since you had a decent bike fall injury a few weeks ago. Oof. That's right, I remember uh remember hearing about that. But sounds like you're feeling better, which is so good. Digi Deity, thank you so much for that prime sub. FBI's Boso Wanted finally started lifting again after more than six months off. 
Really missed the barbell. Commander, yeah, something about just endorsements. The support of another so good. Council member. Austin Fuego, thank you for the gifted sub. You do, uh, do contribute bits or subs during this hype train. You do have a chance to win some special emotes. So thank you, everybody, contributing. <laughs> Cheesy Bob with 100 bits. Jackalow decided to try playing their rogue on WoW again. Since you left Erm, became paralyzed post-stroke, and you're still having fun getting used to mouse binds. Hey, glad to glad to hear that you've uh, come back to the game in a positive way. Put Teak back on the on the camera there. Welcome back, Sir Teak. Austin Fuego, thank you for the 500 bits. Donko. And Sir Commander, we've Go just ahead. received the support of it's another council itself. member. Teak, did you know? Hmm. That run where we took 55 damage to sentries? That was yep. this run. What? <laughs> we won this run. Wait, what happened to the previous run? We also took 55 we, we, damage we, to sentries. We, we, took, we took 31 damage to sentries. <laughs> and then the knob slobbered us with, uh, Sin with 59. Sentries consistently scary in small ladder. So scary. Sentries, I, I question. think, consistently scary on A20. Commander, this is a very I, I'm like just this is not anything to do with fire, but we'll go back. I had this thought while I was while I was taking my break. XCOM do you project. have much musical predilection, Baylor? I'm a, a bit. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan of the electronic genres in okay. particular. Well, then you'll be familiar with the old techno song "Every Time We Touch" by Cascada. Oh, yes, I do know okay, that. Okay, so one. I was whistling this while I was on break. <laughs> And then subconsciously, all of a sudden, I was whistling instead a slightly sped up uh, Don't Fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster Cult. <laughs> they just went right into each other. Wow. Do you think you could mix these two songs? Do you Me? think that every time we touch <laughs> and Don't Fear the Reaper are related to each other in some way I'm, or that we could mix them? I've, I've seen enough mashups of random songs. I feel songs like we could do it. To be confident somebody has already done that. Really? Yeah. I'm going to look. One of my, one of my nerdy friends... Uh, back at the board game shop that we used to play at, had a playlist of like every song in the world mixed with the Ghostbusters theme. <laughs> and he wasn't the one making them. He was just collecting no. them from other people making them. But like Bob Marley mixed with with Ghostbusters theme. Like oh no, Smash Mouth mixed with Ghostbusters theme. Wait, this is the worst <laughs> because I had just finally gotten that. Stupid Ghostbusters the spoof Inspector video Gadget out of my theme head. Mixed with the Ghostbusters theme and no. everything. Now, now I'm only gonna be singing about "I Ain't Afraid of No Sleep." For, <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna Bustin be a tough makes week me for feel me. Good. It's true, Bustin, <laughs> Bustin. Oh man, uh, what were you gonna say about Spire Sentries? Spooky. They're spooky. They're spooky on A20 with the three dazes. They're just mean. They kill. They yeah. kill Watcher a lot, and Watcher doesn't die to anything. The thing that I always said about sentries is that the sentries are the most gimmicky of the Act 1 fights. Mm. Like, there's often a single card solution, yes. a single hello world or feel no pain, but that also means that you kind of have to pay a tax of cards seen before you start taking on elites, right? And part of the difficulty, I think, is we even had moments to where I think we skipped an evolve. Um, that may have been after the sentries, though, admittedly. But that's the kind of card that you take, and it, like, solves sentries, right? But we chose not to take it because we couldn't really fit it. I'm still just in, in awe of all of this. Like, Empty Cage, oh, Madnesses sweet. that we upgraded both of them, that early flex. Would you have taken those Madness? Would you have taken those I, Madness? I don't think I would have, but in retrospect, I love I'm madness. so glad we did. They worked out amazingly mm. with the dual wield. Ironclad is just really hungry. Ironclad loves he, energy, he loves and we didn't jump. give him any. We and so we had to any. find sneaky ways to make it. Gotta cheat. Gotta cheat at the energy game. Mm -hmm. Even when it hit Impervious, it was just like, cool, I can block for free yeah. on the next turn where I need to block, right? Art of War... It, it tried to be. It had relevant. its turns. Yeah. It it did it did a thing. This is such a hot drink. Yeah, I I need good. it, but I will scald my my. <laughs> I I'm looking at it and I know what it represents for my internals. <laughs> okay, Play so you. what what did you come to a decision on what you wanted to play next? Is Ooh. it defect small? It's it's either or defect or watcher. I I think I want to try defects. I'm so scared. Defects. We should do it be, because we we're scared. Be scared. You should be scared. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, everybody asking about uh, Hades. I am excited to try the new Hades. They decided to surprise release it today. After so wild. I streamed Hades last night, and like 10 people asked me, do you know when this game is coming to 1.0 release? And I said, no, there's no official announcement. <laughs> it's probably like a month away. 
It was it was less than twelve hours away, as it turns out. <laughs> Probably a month. <laughs> That's such a good safe answer, <laughs> right? We're about a month away from IPO. We're gonna get there. It's it's gonna do. This is not a modded spire. No, we're totally totally vanilla. Um, the the teak is not part of the spire, just to be clear. <laughs> but <laughs> he's trying his best. Part of the spire. What is that? There was what's the cartoon in the tree? Part of the tree. It's like, is that Adventure Time or something? I have no idea. I don't know. Okay, well, here's that transform if you want to be part of that game. There is the transform here. We could get two claws. What's our layout look like? It's... Ooh, actually. This is a good route. Four upgrades, except for the part where we have to do this. Met meta comment, Baylor. I am genuinely in awe with your ability to mentally transition. Because you're able to do it so fast. I you're like, it's time to play. Basically. I'm in Spire mode. Yeah, I, like, I can't... changing between different types of um, of challenge run, changing yeah. between different like rule sets for myself. Like I, I think of it as shifting gears almost. Yeah. Uh, mentally. It's, it's I, It amuses me. I, I think it's really cool. And, and it's, you know, I, I've come from a bit of a weakness as being super crazy ADHD, but that's too much of a cop out. I don't always want to say like, I can't transition because I'm ADHD, but I've, I'm always really impressed by your like, okay, now it's time for for defect. It always takes me, I have to warm up into it, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so, but okay, but in some ways we don't have to warm up that much because maybe Ironclad to defect is closer than Ironclad to silent. Probably. At least in our act ones. They both have decently strong act one. They got the damage. Most of the time. They've got the damage and, and defect even more so because it has passive damage. I'm. It's gotta be one of the bottom two, right? These, and what these was are our just pathing? Too lukewarm. Pathing kind we of have left -sidey? flexibility. We can go left side to go if we can take the early burning elite, and that's a really tall ask. Um, we can get access to a whole bunch of fires, or we can go like maybe tons of events into an upgrade into three elites. With Hexa, if we can backload those fight challenges, that's so much better. Yeah, big agree. And we back. I like a lot transform here on the right side. I like it because we do have that high optionality in the middle in terms of different directions. You think Defect transforms two strikes? Ironclad liked the two defend. I loved our two defend transform. Although that didn't work out for us, but... But it was a good transform! It was. It was good. It was good. Um, I... I would be tempted by one and one here. I would be tempted by one and one here. Yeah. Because, remember, there's also a bunch of really good common and uncommon block oh, cards. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. That's so slow. <laughs> That's so slow. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we're not going here. That's for sure. Um, are we going to the shop now? Probably. <laughs> yeah. We have to I buy, like, so. a fire pot to survive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we can live, we've got a strong late game. But this is kind of... We've definitely put the horse before the wagon. Yeah, we're at 39, too. We put, Oof. like... What's further than horse before the wagon? We put like the horse before the road. Horse before the road. There's no road yet. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that's lethal. Nice. This card does Forgot the horse at home. Yeah. <laughs> Is it ever like leap? Because we're so desperate for a block card right now. I guess leap is the way to lean in on all of that. Orbage. Orbage. It's a solid block card. Solid blood card or the rip and tear for very good damage. I can't ever see this being beam cell. I can't either because when you're taking beam cell, it's with the plan to take more debuff removing attacks mostly, right? It's like mm -hmm. that's the thing that defect struggles with, and that's we're splitting ourselves in too many directions already, dude. I think this is leap. I think this is leap. I think this saves us like a lot of health in these two fights, which is really important right now. <laughs> we're on 37 somehow. Yeah. When did that happen? All right, fingers crossed. Come on, dual cast. Kill one for me. Thank you. Oh god, it is cart before the horse. Quit <laughs> It's <laughs> not enough coffee. Need more coffee. Okay, leap. Feels good. I'm happy. So, so far, so good. Ooh, ooh, that's really good. 15 hit points and no orbs. Okay, but I think both charge battery and streamline look nice here. Yes, streamline and small is... Uh... Juicy. 
Early. Oh god, we're small deck? <laughs> <laughs> we're small deck still, yes. Transitioning hard. Transition so hard. Yeah, still, still, I was gonna be still like, trying to smallify. Take this aggregate because our deck is going to be 67 Swole. cards. Small Swole deck. We could do no skip oh. instead. We want to like really transition here. No, no, no. <laughs> same, same, same. Wait, this is streamlined then, right? Sure. Don't you think? I think we, so. We, we want some kind of front loaded damage to get through the mid game. Let's see, it was Jawworm first. This is, we know this is not a combat. Oh god, you're using this. I, I, I mostly I just use like the first question mark thing. I, I try not to get too deep into like the correlated randomness. Bits. No, I, I think there's no problem with using it. I just I have I haven't the space in my brain yet for that much. That's oh, this is cool stuff. What is the name of that? That was a forgotten arbiter covariance yeah, a, in Slay the Spire. Yes, yep, yeah, forgotten arbiter blog post. It's very cool. Um, Super yeah, cool. let's go question mark then. I'm in. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Baby. Small, small does have upset with this, but we really gotta get strong here. Yeah, but be... this also is then enough money to get another removal after that elite. I, I mean, I know that we're kind of, you know, there's some trouble here, but I feel like this opens up some really good opportunity. Yes. There's some stuff in there's this store. Some stuff in this shop. Uh, that cons if there was a cool-headed here, I'd be all about this consume. Dude, I wish we could buy this meat on the bone. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe we can. Maybe we can. Is that like, this might be one of those situations to where playing towards optimal small deck results in dying, which is the most suboptimal thing possible, right? That is technically true. What about a Hello World? I do like Hello World a lot, especially with Act 1 Elites coming up. I think with Hello, if we take Hello World, we have to go with three Elites, though, or it's all for naught. Holy crap. It certainly opens up sentries. It's good in all three. I mean, it's good in all three. And it's a source of orbs. Like, with small deck... But is magnetism better than Hello World? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Let me break your brain for a second there. I think it's not worth the extra 100 gold. But they're, they the kind problem, of serve right? a similar purpose. They do. They do. They're both, they're both cards. Defect? I don't know. Hello World is so good. Especially with the turbo... Or, sorry, with the loop and a capacitor. You can tell yes. where my brain is at. It generates um, uh, frost orbs. With, yeah. uh, wait, does, do, does that mean we go consume Hello World card remove? Is that is that? Can we afford all that? Yes. Do yes, it. Do it. Do it, and then maybe we don't even have to go right because we have such good upgrades. Like this deck is very we strong. For the eyes. We do have really good upgrades. Um, consume, incredible loop, incredible get streamline, Unquayab. We might as well fight the elites. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, still go right, right. We're so hoping for a Legavul in here. We're here. Go to this elite. Two events. We still have an easy pull fight. We should take one more easy pull fight. Try to get up another potion. Yeah. Plus, events from here are often doing damage to us. Damage for gold. Yeah. We damage for slime ooze. I get the scrap this, ooze. Right. I can't quit putting my hand in it. Gotta leave this. Yeah. Really. Like Hello ones. World will give you junk, Brain Fist, but the junk is on average better than a Dazed and better than a Strike. And you're not cycling your deck very much. I guess I decided we're not taking a combat. Streamline, consume, zap. Oh, did we lose gold there? Oh, because we had so little to lose. Yeah, we didn't have a, we didn't have a lot of gold and we didn't have a lot of health either. I think so that I think that was I... the right call. Hope so. It's tough to be getting the bottom flip of these, these opportunities, right? It but... is. It is. But I really do believe this is one of those situations where the core deck is getting so close to being so strong that we just kind of need to survive and get some relics online and look at some nice uncommon and rare cards. Mm -hmm. I'm going to upgrade the streamline. That's where I was going to, especially with the regen pot. If we don't get a bit more damage guaranteed online, we'll just die to gremlin. Yeah. Yo, oh. yes, totally. Definitely. Definitely. That was that was a big swing. There he is. Streamline turn one though. And dual cast. Yeah, not bad. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is fight last yeah. five turns. <coughs> Hopefully not. Let's hope not. God. <laughs> it might have even been a play it for the the three turns kind of situation, right? No, this was good. Hey, the orbs go off before. For that last region proc, right? So it. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Is it Zap Loop? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. 
It's snap loop. Next turn it's gonna be capacitor to strike strike. We don't play consume. Get the capacitor out of the Oh yeah, we don't redraw a loop if we play it. Yeah, we should play Zap Loop. Yeah. It's gonna hurt. So we're just trying to streamline, right? Just eat the entire 28 damage. There's no oh, kill. Oh, Hello World is trying to make a ruckus. Hello World could have bailed us out with like a, a go for the eyes here, but it chose not to. You know, if it weren't Gremlin, the recursion was not so bad. Just agree. Hey, Streamline is here though to save us. Good job, Streamline. Oh! <laughs> Okay, that's a thing, I guess, that we have now. Double Hello World. I so wish that Fission were the thing here. Oh, it's so not. <laughs> it's so not. It's so not, but if only... We're still going right. We've got regen. We have 34 hit points. We're going to get a relic. I don't think we take any of this, right? No, I don't think so. I think so. We're very good. I work good at both Legable and, and Sentries. I think you're right. I, I think we go right here, but I'm just... Like, the left is not any really safer. <laughs> you know, though, the left does one thing for us, which is that we don't ever fight Gremlin Knob twice. That's true. But we may not be able to get the region online in time, knowing that some of these events do damage to us, right? Mm -hmm. so we desire a fight. Well, actually good for the later... Smilers. Nice. We needed... Combat relevant. Help. Where is your combat for relevance combat. now? I don't Do we I'd... actually just play? I kind of like Capacitor Leap, and the reason is, well, maybe not Capacitor because the Dazed. I was going to say Hello World is our big answer in the long run anyway. Hello right? World is our big answer in the long run. I think we need to get the Yeah, good job, Lightning Run. I think we need to get somebody into uh, potential Streamline Yo. range. Agree. Is it Streamline Dual Cast? No, we have to play Hello. Ooh. Yeah, this hurts. <laughs> this hurts a lot. We full block Wait, next we... turn, though. We're going to be okay. We still have to play Streamline here, I think. Yes, we have to, we have to play Streamline. Do we... We could YOLO... I, I think we just have to do Streamline Dual Cast and accept that this hurts. You mean Streamline Hello World? Or, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah I agree. Odds, I agree. Are, odds are... It's possible we get a kill, it's just way too unlikely. It's asking for so much, right? A 1 in 9 chance to take 10 less damage this turn for a 100% chance to not have that card on the redraw? That's... That ain't it. Play consume? Oh, this is great, though. Yeah, consume nice. and zap or consume defense. Second lightning are about to do five damage per turn. Ooh, 15. Four hit points. I yeah, it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, we need maximum chance of killing this frontliner. Awesome. Yo, let's go, dude. You're and we so can start good. looping the cold. Yes, we've done it. We've oh, escaped. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. You did it, Goku. Get him. Definitely sketchy, though. I have had too much gaming experience lately to where I can feel myself age in real time. And this is definitely one of those runs <laughs> where I'm, I'm gaining gray hairs and losing years, like, in Vivicolor. Hey, we get an oddly smooth stone. That is... Pretty good, making our leap and everything else better. And Frost Orb. Yes, right? Literally anything that says Frost Orb on it is top priority right now. Literally anything that says Frost Orb on it is top priority now. Yeah, it's like a mantra. Wrongly. All right, we'll lose the gold, right? Are we going to end up getting Ectoplasm? Is this going to be like the no money, smiling mask, ceramic fish run? Such a weird start. Bottles. Work. Okay. Sure. Easy pool fight. Grateful. Very grateful. Oh, God, you're right. It is. So what do we do here? Is this because of cold snap? Is this the time where we push actually the green slime? I think so. I'm thinking so, too. Just after that run where we talked about pushing the gray slime. Yeah. Right? But different with the deck being as it is. Oh, God. Easily Streamline exists. We don't need streamline for this fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, we were allowed to play so safe. Ah, ah. Good job, Hello World. Uh, you cannot handle my leap. Let's optimize Ink Bottle. That's going to be really important. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, that'll help if we get sentries, more mm. orb generation, or more block. Ooh, any, any, honestly, any of these are good. Oh, God, yeah. 
And our boss is, is it Hexa again? Why it do I Hexa. remember Hexa? Yep. yep, we're fighting Hexa. I think we have to upgrade Consume? Maybe Loop. Dude, do we have to take Ball Lightning if we want to win this next Elite fight? Is that the, is that the deal? It would certainly make it a lot easier. I know that that's not ideal for, for Smlatter, mm. but but I would like to see this run get to Act 2. I think I think taking a common card that channels an orb here is pretty Not awesome. bad. I'm yeah. thinking we end up having to rest, because 9 is just not enough health. Yeah, 999. Nine, nine. Agreed. If we knew we were fighting Legavalin, I think Consume could work out well. Yeah. Because we'd like to upgrade Consume and Loop, right? I think right. those are our high priority. Oh, it's this guy again. We did a we did a smart. We got a streamline on turn one. Yes. Bruh. Okay. Cool. Hey, there's a chance that explosive potion ends up being exactly our kill, Super right? Super happy with uh, ball lighting. One zap? What's our next draw? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Panic! It's bad. Um. Mm -hmm. Hmm. No hello world. The good online. news is he doesn't have... get angry when we play powers. Oh Jesus! He might kill us though. So we have to, we have to we have oh oh god we're why are we at thirty not thirty two? So, so we have to do nothing this turn and block next turn is the deal. I think so. Yeah, I think so. And play like a hello world. Pray. Hello, hello world, world leap. Leap, and leap to not die. Loop, leap. Please give me Streamline again. Yes, Streamline is saving us again in this fight. Job, I mean, granted, we had Explosive here too in case this draw was really like abysmal, but... Or Paint might upgrade our Consume for us. Actually, yeah. there's, there's nothing this could hit that I would be upset about. This may be one of those situations. Oh, dude. <laughs> we, we gotta, right? Do we? It's it's such good front load. It's, it just... So, last run, we decided not to take an Immolate. But we did it on Ironclad in a situation to where we thought that we could push enough damage to not need the AoE. We definitely don't do that very well in this case. This ain't the run like that, right? We've got this deck that's going to become so good at scaling up against bosses, but we're just hemorrhaging in hallway fights. All right, I'm sold. Yeah. Okay, not what I wanted, but I'm not unhappy about it. And I think we do need to upgrade one of these two. <laughs> The eight life hex, so let's go. Hey, skill potion helps us do this too. Skill potion will help a lot. Once we get the frost, how do you done, prioritize between the consume and loop here? Uh, oh, consume is going to be one more focus. Possibly, it's going to be two more focus over the long run in this fight. Loop is going to be an extra orb slot that's filled in the front. So potentially another frost orb. Hmm. Consume it is an immediate impact. Loop does not. I feel like there's a math, mathy way to uh, tackle this, right? There is. But Certainly, the feelings? intuitive way is the two cost you want to be better. So we upgrade Hyperbeam. <laughs> <laughs> Just get that online before the next act. Yeah, maybe we're strong enough against Hexa that. Let's see, we'll see if we ended up wanting to. Uh... Hello World's gonna be so good. Ooh. That would turn one. Yeah, it was. Consume. It's full block, idiot. Where are you? <laughs> are you going to rebound anything here? Or is, is this ball, ball lightning? lightning rebound? Ball lightning zap? Hmm. Ball lightning zap? Yeah, like ball lightning zap. Just poosh. You know, I've never forgotten. You were there that day. I was doing some boss swaps, and I defect boss swapped into Pandora's, and it was a sweet start. And I misplayed Hexaghost and lost, because the deck needed to play Darkness, and yeah. I played Streamline. And that was a good reminder that, like, sometimes these fights can come down to a single decision. And a single very reasonable seeming decision, right? Yes. Feels like oh, dual cast. Know. Yeah. Honestly, is it wrong to feel that we can defend here? I don't think Do so. I think, I think we can get away with it. We're we're on a good course damage wise. We have. Like, I just want to be sure that we don't here. die like on double burn, double attack turn. You know. Yeah, yeah we've got consume. Pot, I think we'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Such a turn too. Uh, but I agree with you on a couple buffer hit points for precisely this kind of reason. Um, next turn is no attack, right? So we want a rebounded damage card. Mm. Ball lighting. 
Sweet. Cycle those orbs. Looping Frost now for the double attack turn next turn. And we have Consume Cold Snap to really block, which will then put... Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Blabbering this nerd. We're going to get to keep our potions too, hopefully. Sick. Oh, SPR. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know, it was a sweet turn. A couple of people have asked about my microphone, like shrinking it or cropping it out. What you should understand is that that, this is actually me. Um, yeah, that's, that's part of him. This is this is who I am, and the face is just kind of a marionette situation, so we can't shrink it. Yeah, it's like... It's, a, it's, it's embarrassed. Have you ever seen a deep sea angler fish? Right. <laughs> the the face... <laughs> that's disturbing thought, man. <laughs> like, a glowing oh. tongue comes out, you know? It's like, oh, wow, bioluminescence. You love to see it. You love to see it. Well, Do you still get to take choices. bias cog, even though we're at 18 cards? What if it has to be rainbow? What if it has to be rainbow? What if we need just more orbs? It's a second card a... that says frost on it. You know what rainbow is in small deck? Everything you it's need. It's an answer. It's it's all it's yeah, it's everything you need. It's, it's the like utility package, wave, but better. I mean, this is what uppercut was for us last run, right? Was yeah. like we took the card that said it has block, it has damage, it has scaling. So hard to leave this bias cog in the ground, though, dude. It is. It is. It, it, it's deeply hurtful. Got the focus already, though. Got consume capacitor loop. That's a little bit of a janky way to get there, but it is. No, it's wide and tall. It's wide and tall. It's, it's, wide it's and everything tall. you need, and Taking we get to this. cycle fast. Okay. Okay. I'm in. Wait, are I'm we in. are we all on board the empty cage train again? <laughs> yes. Expensive deck. I'd rather have a snack. We need some turbo, dog. Oh gee. Ooh. What kind of regret the rainbow pick? Man, capacitor and. Frozen Core is one of my favorite, favorite combos. Okay. Automatic block generation. Okay. If there's any class who can get away with not taking energy, it's definitely defect. Yeah. Although, man, it's going to be hard to put in the cards that make that easy. It is going to be hard to removals. put in the cards. We do, we, well, fortunately, we have a smiling mask to help with that. True. We just take a really, really, like, merchant heavy path. Let's see. We, there's no way this beats elites for the Black Star, right? The Let's hyper beam helps, but completely that feels... murdered by slavers. <laughs> Unless we so draw... another thing that I think about defect is that defect is perhaps the class which is most capable of winning without relics, mm -hmm. right? We talk about how much pushing elites is a good idea, and that's generally true. You're you're making your play better. Every relic that you pick up is making you better in some way without having to draw cards or play them, play energy. But look at our deck. I mean, how many cards are we away from a deck which could theoretically beat the heart? Not very many not very many no we've, we've got the the core pieces yeah and that deck wins without relics right so maybe maybe we do take frost here and that just helps us survive for a while while we get mm -hmm. set up through hallways it makes the turn one like capacitor consume draw suddenly pretty good incredible yeah i like, I like it it's not a, one i get to take uh very often. no me neither it's been a while actually it's been a while a while so oh man this is interesting pathing so a question I noticed uh, from Brain Piston Chat, they ask, is it ever is there an ever argument for taking your red key, recalling at the fire, um, early on in the game if you are healthy and you don't have anything that you want to upgrade? Thoughts? Oh, was that you? Were you batting that up? For I'm, him? I'm, 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 queued I'm, up? I'm batting that in your direction. So I, I think the practical answer is that this will almost never happen. I um, totally I, agree. I think that on paper you can define some circumstance to where you're cruising through Act One. You got like a war paint and a whetstone, and it hit all of your new attacks and skills that you picked up, and you are genuinely sure that your deck is strong enough to beat Act One and Act Two, and so you just take the key. I have taken a key in Act Two before. I can't think of a single time where I've taken red key in Act One, because as a general rule, just upgrading a defend even can be worth it because of how much health it will save you in fights. Right. So yeah, I, I think that it is good practical advice to backload your keys most of the time start that way and then figure out how far you can move them forward because in general value now stretches out across the whole run so value, i think practically that will never happen inspire such yeah. a big inspire if you're if you don't have any good upgrades then i'd say either you need to be taking more cards that have good upgrades on them to upgrade yeah um, good call or or consider avoiding the campfire 
if you're thinking about an Act 1 recall, maybe consider getting True. an extra event, getting an extra combat, getting an extra shop. It can all yeah. be a lot better than, uh, like, you know, if you're if you're thinking, if you're truly down to, like, upgrades, yeah. like, maybe, maybe don't go to the fire. That's a good point. If you're so strong that you're sure that you can just crush every fight, you should just be taking the fights. <laughs> That's more cards, more potions, more money, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you make a good point. Okay, this Burning Elite looks very inaccessible. At a glance. I'm thinking we want to be hitting shops as much as we can to leverage this Smiling Mask. Hit one of these two, hit this one, and then, I don't know, upgrade a couple cards. I, I think Elites are going to hurt us a lot. And this yeah. is something that you can get away with more in small, is just don't fight elites at all. <laughs> you don't have yeah. to draft, you know, if, you're, if your Act 1 path has no elites in it, you don't have to draft around Kremlin Knob. And that, right. that can be a thing. Opens it up a lot. Opens it and up. And we get a pretty early merchant here, which is nice. Start getting those removals online. I like this path. Two fights, two question marks, and then we've got some options up above. Yeah. It's good. Ah. One other thing ah. that you were talking about as you, as you leave... <laughs> Help. Goodness. Yes. As you lead into this right, fight, sure. that's a nice draw. Is you'll hear us talk about this is one of the most common things we're talking about when we're picking we up cards. Frost two, we have full block. Is what is our upgrade debt, right? And upgrade we're always looking debt. at our deck to say like, okay, what cards desire an upgrade, what cards need an upgrade, and that's a big part of our drafting decisions. Choosing so we might not take the upgrade needy card if we've got four cards in the deck that need already. Might end up in a situation. This is still fine though. But I chose not to zap because of the frozen core here. Seems pretty reasonable. That out. Yeah, and then that puts us in a position to potentially loop frost. Capacitor, please. Yes, look at this. You know, luckily there's a lot of good stall fights in Act Two. Also, how good frozen core is? It's it's really it's really doing it. Doing it. In oh, I love consume math. I love the weird like curve that consume has to where it gets better and then it gets worse. It's better and worse. Figuring out when you shouldn't play it because it actually reduces your effective value. It's so strange. Wow, the stick is humming now. Yep. How much health did we hemorrhage in the beginning of the fight? Just a couple? Just seven, just maybe? Not even. I don't not even. It's three or four. That's a good sign. It is. Definitely a long fight, though. Oh, that dark orb could be delivered. Another regen potion. Second one of the run. It's pretty good. Lightning plus, steam barrier, sweeping. Skippy, beam. dude. Yeah, we're at 19 cards here. Oh, God. <laughs> we skip everything, we skip basically. Everything. The cost of having to say no to Echo. Oh, but you can go over 20, right? Bias card. Yeah, oh, we can go God. over 20 as long as we remove later. Oh, dude, that kind of hurts. Oh, there's a dollies here, too. There's what? a dollies. Okay, if it weren't small. Do you click on this bias or the core surge? I'm actually wondering if we mirror capacitor. Holy crap. It's too bad it's not upgraded, but. Yeah, it's not upgraded is the problem, and we also can't afford to remove alongside. So I'm wondering if we just maybe remove and try to pick up a, a capacitor for less than 166 gold at some future place. Right, like right. this shop. We should be able to get here. We don't have to Dude, fight I, this elite. I think we remove, but I do. Th I, I really do think that if this weren't small, I, I think we might actually just be buying that capacitor. I like oh, yeah. that play. It's cool to see those moments because in a way you learn more when the paths diverge, right? Sometimes you're making the same pick. In most cases, actually, we're making the same pick we would make in a normal run. But occasionally shops and drafting. I, I like strike remove here. I think we I'm need it. I'm trying to figure out if it's like zap remove because of frozen core or something weird, but I'm going to happily call it a strike remove. And I'm agreeing with you that saving our cash for now is going to be good. Plus, I think zap is still a very relevant part of our damage. Well, the darkness changes that a lot, but you only get to use it once. This fight doesn't scale. I'm going to not channel any lightning. So we can loop. Yeah. Dig it. Dig it. It's got to be rainbow, right? Maybe not. I think so. So we could dual cast to take nothing. Uh, we only take one. No, 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 we don't dual cast. Let's take one here. Next turn, we're hopefully drawing consume, and then we can full block take with that. Take one. I mean, oh, uh, 
Oh, Frozen Cork is the... No, we first. didn't throw the Gunsroom! Damn it. Oh, All dude, right, that's... a ton of damage here. That's Brutal. Bummer Town. Bummer Town. No, ink, no Inky. Stinky Inky. But then, then we're suddenly completely safe. I beat the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker last night. Something oh. that I never beat in my childhood. I'm very pleased. A new game for whatever Wednesday now. I know. I think I'm going to play Super Mario Sunshine. Ooh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then maybe next, Final Fantasy Tactics. I'm told that this is a blind spot for me. Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy Tactics. Specifically Tactics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Final Fantasy is not a blind spot. <laughs> played a lot of Final Fantasy. Fair enough. How many fantasies have you? GG. Hey, tough. I think just tough draw here, right? Definitely emphasizes that the removal was good play. Yeah. Being able to... The consume and the capacitor... St stack slow? Why are you good? <laughs> <laughs> stack is one of my favorite cards. Stack is pretty sweet. It's just neat. It's just neat in its interaction. That's just Did we just get a regen for regen? We just got a regen nice. after the regen. I'm, I'm a little sad about it, but I'm also pretty happy. Right, because then double stack regen. 55 hell. That's so many. Maybe a white noise, but probably not. Uh, uh, we need to get, I think we need to be so picky. Yeah. Right? We're at 18. And think about the kinds of cards that defect can see to where we, we like have to click on it. Like echo form. Although, frankly, I think a lot of the cards that you see that you have to click on are cards that make you better at the long game. And that's not really our trouble right now, is it? True, we're, we're pretty good at the long game. So good at the long game. Maybe what we need is to smooth out the curve. Like, how highly do we... Would we pick up a turbo right now? Would you pick up a turbo? I would seriously consider it, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I'm trying to block. I don't know how well this is going to work. We bottom deck consume again. I'm going to be... There we go. Good. Wind wakey. There's always the VOD. Okay, we take a bit here. Not too bad, though. Six. I'm going to add a plus with the... Honk. Dual cast is so good with Frozen Core. Give me a new orb. Win for us, Lightning Man. Nope. Cannot hurt us. Foul beast. I just had the most lovely moment where I've been playing this game for an audience for 2,400 hours. And I just had a moment where I fully understood why it's joyful to watch. There it is. Do you want it? Yeah. yeah I, I think, think I do, do too. I do. I think it's pretty good, man. It's very good. For energy. I just like zoned out and watched you click on cards in that Sneko fight, and it was delightful. For for a full 10 seconds. Those are really good potions. Out of body. Are those potions good enough to fight an elite? Oh, jeez, man. Yes, because Liquid Memory's Hyper Beam is an instant kill on Slavers. And pretty much the same on Gremlin Leader. Yep. And Focus Pot will help. Uh... On Gremlin and on Book yeah. of Stabbing. Do you upgrade Hyper? Loop over. Cap oh, hmm. Maybe. I think not, because we, we just established that this is at the damage threshold where it instantly kills slavers with the liquid memories. Weakened. Oh, <laughs> that's a good point. Weaken is evil. That's a good point. Weaken is evil. I think okay, we, we upgrade get two it. more upgrades. So we can upgrade both capacitor and loop here. As long as we don't yeah. take too much damage here. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you. We Plus, I really, I want this, this to do its job, which was to make us better at hallway fights, right? And maybe the answer is eventually we're just going to remove it. I am but... definitely going to focus potion right now. Yeah. Is it, is it Hello World 2? It is Hello World 2. Yep. Hello World Full block thanks to Frozen Core being amazing. Look at that. This frozen corner has been nuts. I'm so happy with it. Zip zap compile driver? Ever? Zap and compile? Yeah, because yeah. turbo loop. These are cards. Turbo to get turbo the line down? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and it's draw. This turn feels good. I think we're dual casting this orb. We do lose a frost, but... So much this also block. breaks our loop on Frost, but I think that's okay. That's okay. We might not even play it, quite frankly. 
I wonder if we want to play potions really aggressively. Like, I wonder if next turn we we consume liquid memory consume. Nope. Or we can just, <laughs> just not draw it. draw it. That's also perfectly this acceptable. I'm not to, upset. We get to put a lot of uh, orbs in play here. True. Think and the darkness go... seems relevant, right? We can do leap. Cold snap. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that comes out ahead, doesn't 12 it? Twelve block, twenty-two take two. Yeah. Starting to fall a little behind on the damage. Damage. Metamorphosis. Damage was in. Boy, ahead of us too. Bro, we have to do one hundred and twenty-three damage. Yeah, we're we gonna end up like. Damage. We're gonna like. We're gonna end up closing with double hyper beam, actually. <laughs> Probably. So that's okay, as long as we can get into that, you know, 70-ish range. Okay, we have to block this. And then we're gonna be okay. Are we permitted to ball lightning zap? Ooh. Um, this would be zap and then dual cast. Yeah. We get the yeah. Or back yeah. with the frozen core. Nice. Wow. And this That's so thinking with magnets. Kill, and I think we're going to get there. We are going to uh -huh. get there. Uh -huh. Ooh, and there's turbo in hand even. We just have guaranteed lethal. So. Yeah, we just don't need to do anything. And this lets us keep our liquid memories. Hey, this fight could have been so much worse. It the focus been a lot potion worse. was huge. Consume at bottom of deck is kind of a worst case for us. Yes. And we only lost gonna 10 life or something. It's nothing. Didn't even play the hyperbeam, though. <laughs> Fan is uh, true. Fine. This hyper. Look, it's there as a bluff. Okay. It's, it's, it's just intimidating our enemies. It, it's, it's, slavers didn't spawn because they knew. They knew. They knew. They were. They would have no chance. That's right. Hmm. I don't think we want any of this. Me neither. Okay. It does. It hurts. It I'm hurts. injured bad. This I is agree. not a capacitor, which makes me sad. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Although, be. frankly, in the presence of consume, in the long run, you know, loop is loop is pretty, still great. Sweet. Yeah, loop is still great. Commander, one of our Stunk another strike most here. valued Dunked. Do we want supporters. to do anything else? Says continued support. Thank you so much for the thirteen project. months of that tier one sub. Dude, I don't mind rolling money here. I really don't. Like, we're kind of building ourselves up to having a pretty crazy couple shots. Commander, Commander, fish is putting in work. One of our it is most valued. <laughs> Even supporters. in small deck. Says the double team, support of the XCOM project. Do you ever buy health? 109 for 5 max health? Hmm. I mean, it's on worse. par. I feel like it's cheaper than strawberry. It is cheaper than strawberry. It's just an, incre it's an incremental advantage, which definitely yeah. could help here. It, some... it feels wiggity whack. It feels like we're going to buy our victory not in five extra max HP, but in just the right cards and relics. Yeah, and that ain't it. That ain't it. What about an attack pot for that next elite? That we're I gonna like. take it, right? Yeah, that I like. Okay. Go up, hit the two fires, go right. Boot. <laughs> not today, boot. boot. Yeah, hit two fires. I think upgrade the... I'm actually not sure which is the better one to upgrade first. Loop? With consume? Probably. I think. Because once so the orb slots are full, we're doing good anyway. Who we dunk so hard on champ? Yeah. Hmm. Indeed. It's time. It's time for Hyper yes. Beam to do something. Yes! <laughs> Carry us! In fact, I'm even going to zap just in case we draw it right away. Ooh, streamline. Very smart. Yeah, let's do You go ahead and just play it? Yeah. Right? Hit the when he puts him to 36. No. Uh, yeah. Put you in hyper beam range. Smart. I'm ready to hyper beam at any moment. Let's see. So we probably don't want to invest in the orbs too hard if that's the case, right? This is like leap, ball lightning, and then either hello world or loop. Yeah. Hello world is is fascinating because there's a hypothetical turn to where we draw hollow world gives us hologram and we draw turbo <laughs> yeah, yeah. hyper beam which is like a real thing that could happen right it sure could i like the hello world i think you're right 
start damaging the damage. damage. Second. But we still have to run. Excuse You will die to Hyper Beam enemies. Oh, there's a dual cast. Is a dual Burger? cast. This might end up having to be our attack pot, awkwardly. Yeah, or the memories. Hopefully the attack yeah. pot. Yeah. We have to it probably comes down to what this is. Beam, unfortunately. Yeah. Means we could waste hits on the middle guy. We could. We did. We did. Six but 40. not terrible. It's not enough to KO. So what's average damage on this attack pot, right? More than... It's a meteor. It's a lot. It's yeah, probably it's... killing at least one more. And then that's good enough. Core Surge, actually, is kind of sweet. Griffin Tear is perfect here. Ah, and just close at the end. Is that enough? Oh. Er, not quite. Well, it, it's going to kill one of them. Huh. Dang it. Something we could uh, defend. Same. All right. We got ornamental fan value. Fan Seven damage is not so bad. It let us save the liquid memories, right? Yeah. It's pretty important. We got ink bottle to nine again somehow. Wow, we didn't even think about it this time. It just kind of happened. How do we feel about equilibrium here? I like equilibrium because it lets us retain turbo. Yeah, EQ is pretty sweet. Good with the uh, I'm in. spruce stone too. I'm in. Good. Okay. We can't really bet on pyramid and frankly, we're we're kind of jonesing for Event some energy. Combat, right? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Get a <laughs> oh, it's oh god! <laughs> I'm just gonna click on stuff. Okay, nice clicks. Wow. Probably this too. Yes. Yeah. Especially for the the um, boss. That's so hype. We got a removal and a capacitor. And <laughs> Let's go. A friggin' focus pot. Heck yeah. Just gonna click on stuff. All we have to do is not die to this. Here I go. Click it again. Hey, that's why we kept the liquid memories, right? That is why we kept the liquid memories, but uh, I'm going to leap first because we have ink bottle on nine. Smart. Okay, that's fine. Fine. You, do we, we're holding this focus pot, right? Yeah. yeah we're yeah, just, yeah. we're just streamlining straight towards hyper, hyper bang. That's the hope. Not getting weakened here. Carry us, hyperman. There it is. No reason not to just do the thing, yeah? I I can't imagine any world where we don't. Good job, Hyper Beam. You I mean, have a bottle, reason I guess. to be here. Dead. I'm so glad we had it. Okay, Same. Molten Egg. With 19 cards of the neck, it's relatively unlikely to get value, but what if we took a Cold Snap now that we have double capacitor? Do we? I, I don't know. Generally. You know, in some <laughs> ways, Cold Snap feels better than usual also because we have Ornamental Fan. True. Yeah. So generating frost with attacks also blocks. I think this is a card that is, really, it, really gets underestimated the upgrade value on too. Like yeah. plus three on this is it's it's decent front load at nine, whereas it's it's kind of a, a strike at six. You should listen to this man because he upgraded a strike on floor forty nine or whatever. <laughs> floor forty eight. Hey, look, I won that run, all right. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. That's what I mean. That's legit. That's not facetious. I'm gonna scale to infinity here. I think we have plenty of time in this fight to uh, to get set up. So is the suggestion that we don't need to focus potion? Are we just strong enough? I think we might be. I think we've got a good shot with double capacitor, consume. We just one have to not get totally trolled by the orbs. Orb trolling is possible. Orb trolling is possible. Hello world trolling is also possible if we play it. Ooh. So, um, so. This is probably equilibrium turbo streamline. Yeah. Getting stolen. Hyper beam or rainbow? You can have hyper beam. For now, you just keep it. I, I feel like I like. Do we do we wait until next turn to do this though? You right, play the like, world? I'm I'm down genuinely. You. I feel like the hello world is worth. Oh, there's a consume. Nice, nice. <laughs> Look at equilibrium pulling its weight. Exact block by the way. Okay, it begins. Okay, that's the focus. Old. Plenty of block. We might as well play this. We have no other. I think we should. Reason. Yeah. Other thingy. It's it's gonna genu generally give us something. We play consume one more time and 
We're in the sauce. Strip some artifact, I guess. Yeah, just one more consume, genuinely. Schnop. Do you want to get that rainbow back? Are we going to win with the Dark Orb? Is that how we kill this man's? Um, we can kind of kill him however we want, quite frankly. <laughs> We're going to outblock the second Hyper Beam very easily. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Just channel some more. <laughs> look at this. Look at how easy it is to fill these up. Crazy. I am mad impressed with this Frozen Core. Is Capacitor the thing? Yes. Is Capacitor what you need for yes. Frozen Core? Yes, it is. Have you ever had Inserter Frozen Core? I don't think I have, and I'm very sad about it. That feels like pretty sweet. Get that darker mm, mm. Burn, 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 burn. I've heard this song so many times, and I'm not tired of it. It is a good one. I've, I've actually been loving on the, the Act 2 boss music specifically. It is great. Sometimes when I'm playing Monster Train, I do TikTok with Slay the Spire music on in the background to just maximally twist people's wires. I'm trying to just blend all games into one giant, like, primordial game soup. As you should. Yeah. I'm gonna loop this lightning orb. Cool. Yeah, damage. I'm gonna need the frost orb loops for next turn. Are we rushing towards a dual casted dork? Yeah, we are. Uh, it almost feels like. Is it too risky to play these? It, it is, isn't it? Yeah, but we don't even need it, genuinely, because we can also just, like, do this. Ooh, schmack. Yes, Hyper yeah, Beam. Hyper Beam, <laughs> hyper beam the Hyper Beam, man. Easy peasy. <laughs> I'm know. telling you. I feel good about it still, even though it's been here and there. Okay, Yo. now Fission is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. It, it is wants so good. upgrade, but... With Rainbow, it is so... Yeah, it does want upgrade pretty bad. Wait, we're at 20 cards. Shit. Or, but that's okay, me. we've got more removals. We do have more removals, we have the smiling Did you heck. just curse in front I, of this I did family say heck. friendly stream? I did say heck. My <laughs> god, man. A pirate. A swabby. Yeah. I like this vision, dude. I think we can afford it. We've got the smiler. Got the smiler. We, it, Am we I gonna regret us? that? What is the situation where this destroys us? Um, burning elite with no shots. No key. So then we would have no card picks, no chance for parasite, and we have to get all the way to the next act and get the removal. Yeah. It would still be, like, it's still most of the time that works out. Right. I think we should do it, dude. We did it. It's too good to pass. <laughs> Snekawai, Astrolabe, Fusion Hammer. Well, Fusion Hammer is kind of icky with the vision. <laughs> Bro, is it ever Labe? Maybe. I'm, Go, like, I'm defend, defend, zap, really or, like... loving on this Snekawai with Consume, with Rainbow, with Equilibrium, yeah. with Hyper Beam. Yeah, you're right. This Snekawai is too good. on Sneko here. Shame we, uh, can't take an echo form if we see one. Oh, maybe? It depends on the path. Think so? It depends oh, on the path. Actually, it would have been 27 gold. All right. Burning Elite, please good. be after some of this. Come on, come on. Yes! Oh, let's go! We got it, we got, so it. We got it, we got double shops, let's go. That is huge. It's so important. Why bet on strategy when can luck instead? When can luck instead? Okay. It's a simple uh, game. Defend, defend it's Hello World, game. Streamline. We, the Gambler's Brew is so value here. We'll draw a card off Ink Bottle. Hit the front guy because he's attacking next turn. It's brutal, man. But it's okay. Hyper Meme was supposed... Wait, oh god. That was our Hyper Meme. That was our Hyper oh, Meme. No. That's dire. Our, that Vision our is... Is a weird card when you have Sneko. Yeah, it's definitely It's odd. still actually generally good, but it, it, it does become quite weird. Awful lot of damage they're trying to do to us. Yeah, I don't like that. Can we send this back? Is it just leap stack? Leap defend stack? Call that a turn? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we get another orb. That's actually like yes. a full block or something. That's actually a full block or something. <laughs> It is a full block. more than a full block. Wow. <laughs> Hello World is kind of cool with Sneko because we've got this guaranteed at cost common. Why is Defect's common pool so good? It's ridiculously good. Show this. Just play, play the stuff. Block for a billion. I'm doing that zoning thing again, dude. I'm just watching Go the cards it. fly. It's great. This is the best game to watch. What's up, Betsy? I'm the Lord of Block. 
Eventually. You know what? Screw it. Got him. I think, think Teak would agree we can't take cards when we're at 21. <laughs> no, oh, certainly not, not those, those cards. Ones. Certainly not those ones. Ooh. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Fision. I love how you said Think Teak would agree like I was a distant spirit you looking are, down you are, over your you run. Are, you are watching from <laughs> watching great from afar in the sky. <laughs> blessing this run. So it's it's just removal and run, right? Yes. Question is what removal? What is this? Is it time to kill the zap? I think it is. I'm I'm down to kill this zap. Pinky zap. Be gone. And then maybe next is a basic defend? I could see that. Yeah, I can see that. I just want to make sure that we still have, you know, the damage cards to kill the hallways for a bit. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to remove Streamline yet. That feels weird. I think, I think weird. we have the damage cards to kill the hallways covered. Right, that turn <laughs> was very demonstrative of the thing that we can do. <laughs> so maybe we don't need Streamline. I wish we could take the cool headed, kind of but I don't think barrage. we need it. Barrage it can be quite spicy. Spicy enough? Oh my gosh. I don't think so. The audio from the game is coming through, but it's you know how on Twitch sometimes you get that oh, yeah, that yeah, glitch yeah. to where it gets distorted and weird. But but I like it. It makes me feel alive. So is it streamlined then, or is that just dumb? Do we kill Hello World ever at this point? Kind of like a Hello World still. Same. We don't want to play it in every fight. Like we won't play it against Awakened One certainly. Same. But. I do kind of like the key is we want to remove something because our no, core so is so strong. Like need, Hyper Beam will always be our best front loader. Do we just like leave passport. a card slot open for Echo Form? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We it. don't have to fill it immediately. <laughs> yeah, or for a Parasite. For a Parasite, that's right. Knock on wood. Maybe Defend is bad now. I like, We're doing so much we, with Frost. We have so much guaranteed block. It's like removing that defend. And defend is oh, on, yeah. on average over costed. Perfect. I feel like we can remove both of the unupgraded defends and be Perfect pretty all right with it. Someone is asking, when do we remove the turbo? I don't think we do. I think it's half the time an energy positive card, like here. Mm -hmm. We could even upgrade it. We'd love be, to upgrade it. Yeah, we would love yeah. to upgrade it. Sneko Eye with no boss energy relic sometimes needs a little bit of smoothing. And so it's nice to have a card which can do that. And we've got the extra card draw, like. Vision we don't remove now because you can kind of think of one way to conceptualize Sneko is exchanging energy and card draw. Kind of like exchanging yeah. these mechanics. Card draw becomes energy, right? Because every card that you draw gets a new randomized cost. So the more cards you draw, the more energy you end up generating. Word. Word. You ever think about it that way, Baylor? Yeah. Card draw card draw with Sneko is definitely like energy. energy. It's energy adjacent. Energy we'll give adjacent. it that. All right, we're super playing this uh, fission with since it rolled zero. Hell yeah! Just brap here, right? Brap. We balling first. One, two, three, seven cards. Yeah, we should ball in first. Right. It's pretty sweet, dude. Schmack. Oh, poor and giant we've actually head, outscaled man. him. <laughs> oh, no. So there is... Do they, your, your people know this. Giant head does actually have a cap. Yes. It does end the scaling at some point. 90? Is it 90? 70. Only 70. 70? Easy, easy peasy for this deck. Yeah, we're going to get there, no problem. We are 66 currently. The Frozen Core will get us there this turn, so we're, we're already there. Your people... You mean you people? Is it so con consume math? <laughs> consume math. So here's the way I think of it: we lose eleven, and then we gain three times one, two, three, four, five, six with loop, which is eighteen. So it wins. It wins. That's the fastest way to math that, isn't it? That's pretty slick. Slick McNasty. We made it. We made it. We're here. <laughs> We're here in Victory Town against Giant. So now we just like play Slowly attack. Slowly kill him. <laughs> Win with that claw, dude. We just—that's the real flex. We, get, we have to make sure the ink bottle's on nine, though. Otherwise, we're not a true. pro gamer. 
That's true, and there's no reason not to. But mostly it's about the programmer E points. That's right. That's, that's right. You can keep your priorities straight, I mean. I will damage you five at a time. Slowly. So good. 14 times 5 is exactly 70, right? Yeah. Nice. We have proven that we can scale up our block very effectively. What about our energy? <laughs> what about our second vision? <laughs> no. No. It's too much. It's gratuitous. Yeah, so we, we, we need still to scale need up our damage better, damage. dog. Yeah, we do need the damage to be better. I we think against the heart. That might be a potion situation. I don't need we need to find the blizzard. Blizzard? <laughs> the blizzard? What if it's just an essence of darkness? That's a pretty legit way to get there. Oh, actually, you know what it is? Is we need to upgrade this rainbow. Mm, so we can cycle this orb. Yeah, this is this is one lightning orb and one dark orb. Forever. 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 Yes. When we have I like love it. ten focus. I've I've won the heart fight many a time by playing rainbow like three times. Well and we have Sneko Eye. Multicast is definitely a way that we uh, could scale up pretty well too. What's the celebrity couple name for Sneko and Rainbow? Because really for Echo Form, it's Sneko Form. That we uh, left Streamline in the deck. I'm not happy about uh, Consume here, though. Being so expensive? It's pretty fair. Let's play this. We could get... Oh. Hmm. Interesting, right? Interesting. Do you just Hyper Beam Consume? Hyper Beam Consume. <laughs> just lose an orb slot, kill all the daggers? Yeah. Seems pretty legit. I'd rather, like... Stream, uh, so we can streamline ball leaning. Huh. It's a separate focus potion. Yeah, that's the thing I'm thinking about is maybe this fight demands a potion. Like, Repto is pretty scary. With high, high damage output in the first few turns, and we have to stay ahead of the orbs, and with our random splopping damage, that becomes quite splopping. difficult. Splopping? Right? It's splopping. You wouldn't describe our damage as splopping? <laughs> I don't think I described anything as. Fun. And if not, why not? <laughs> Open your mind. Can't say that term has ever occurred to me before. It's not real. I'm down. I, I think you're right. I I, oh, I'm so I was gonna well, cling gonna onto that turn. potion, but I think you're right. These mans is mad. Mans is mad. We're definitely turboing. It, at least Repto's not attacking. Yeah. Did you make this? The, the AI changes when you kill at least one dagger, right? Because it'll never go past yes. four. She, if, you, if you don't kill one on turn one, she will attack on turn two. Right. Vision coming up. Okay, let's capacitor a rainbow then. We have, to, we have to kill this dagger though. Oh, dude. Does Do we? 10? Capacitor, rainbow, defend plus. We're getting like some decent defend at least. It's not crazy. Let's see, if I go rainbow... Hold snap. We can dual cast the frost orb. Ooh, and then capacitor and get the free one at the end. Yeah, that's kind of kicking. Less likely to kill this guy though, but we're really unlikely to get there anyway. Yeah, we're not getting there. Too much splopping. Splopping. Okay, let's put damage into one of the other ones then. And and do the planned dual cast. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good amount of block. We don't take too. And much. now we're looping dark, which clears out our dagger problem. More Mayhap. than just a dagger problem. But we do have <laughs> Rainbow Fission here, and that's gonna maybe help a bit. Yo, Rainbow Fission is dope! That'll kill this dagger with the Dark Orb, which I'm totally okay with. Right, that one's mad. We should probably Equilibrium first so we get the one more card. Agreed. You now died to Streamline. Consume, if we want to spend cold three snap. on streamline, we probably do. Because we're gonna go consume. Yeah, yeah, because we want to play the consume. Otherwise, I was gonna say cold snap, ball lightning, cold snap. Gets These there. are now seven block frost orbs. So if we streamline here and then cold snap, we have a full block. We even get to retain one energy for next turn. Our I think you got us there, dog. I don't think we need to hit this dagger. We're gonna tank this hit next turn, no problem. <laughs> You did oh God, open you your door. put all these wings in my hand? <laughs> Splop this! Let's go! 
I am so glad that you didn't take my line at playing the Hyper Beam. I would have done it. I think that it's a winnable line, but um, it's very aggressive. Like my it's very aggressive turn. in a deck that has trouble doing damage. But you know what we can do is block. <laughs> really well. <laughs> Repto doesn't scale. If you can block for 100 per turn, which we certainly can, the Repto can never hurt you. That's a stupid consideration, though, right? Oh, uh, we'll just block for 100 every turn. The wounds aren't even a problem. Yeah, wounds, wounds can't hurt me. Orbs are here. Wounds can't hurt me. <laughs> no one can hurt me. It's just us and these orbs now in our palace of cold. Is this, are we like cosplaying as Elsa or whatever? Is this what it's like? Whatever, I'm blocking now. Will you sing for me? <laughs> <laughs> Let it go, Baylor. They can just kill themselves. It's super, such an easy game. That's right. You can't tackle my palace of frost. What are you going to do? Can't get through this. Nice mm. job, lightning orbs. You converted into lightning elemental mode. It would be a great rhyme to use the dark orb on one of these daggers. Ah. Yeah. Got her. You you've died. Cool. That was. Oh, that was uh not too bad. That was awesome. Beta disc is sweet. Dude, it's kind of hard to say no to Compile Driver. We should, but we should. It, it's it is, genuinely it's a good quite good here. Though. Yeah. Genuinely good. Do we have more um, Mer Mercant? Uh, just the Act 4 shot, or one potential random one from one of these two events. Yeah, we have to skip, don't we? I think so. It's sad. We already have our blue key. What's this? Good. It's going to proc. It's damage. That's damage scaling. Imagine if that was the thing that we owned during Reptomancer times. But this is a good time for it, too. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. Here's the thing we talked about last run. Uh, Impervious. So do I keep... Are, is this literally Gambler's Brew? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Like, we're, we're like almost dead on board here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I didn't Not think about it that way now. Much better, but uh, we might be able to bail us out with a Hyper Beam, perhaps. Dude. Yeah, we've got we've got nothing to work with. Just here. just pitch the whole hand. I think so. Every every single card. As much as I want to carry gamblers all the way to the heart, I'd like to carry the living me metallic body of the defect there as well. Okay, this is not great. But it's I. But it is. It's better, better than, than dead. Is better than dead. In rest. Okay. Cool. We need two more keys. We're not even below. Well, we're almost below half. It's not bad. I've had worse days at the office. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I can imagine worse than this. Are you just going to outscale their damage, Baylor? Honestly, plan. we're on about a three-turn clock to be able to produce 100. That really wants a hologram. It does. Sorg. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's happening! Oh! Wait for it. You put cracks in our palace of it. frost. Burp. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Man! The frost palace got wings. The frost palace got wings. Keep. Believe in the card that we've not yet seen. Good enough. Yeah. It's not. It's, it's tempting, though. But the card is coming. We're gonna get the echo form. Hmm. Can we always have a gambler's brew? Is it possible that we could have a gambler's brew every fight? That would be nice. There's a relic that does this. Is. Beam doesn't really save any hit points, does it? Like, just to defend. I mean. <laughs> Not so much this turn. Maybe. Does, ahead. Yeah, it does kill the Splody Boy, which is a big, big thing we would like to do. Splode Star, as we say. Okay, but a, a genuine path is just streamline Splode Star and, like, hold energy. Take, uh, take the full 18 here? Well, 16. No, 18. Yeah, yeah. 18. We play the turbo to also be a card play. We could, but we can't. Ink get to, we can't get to. Oh, for ink bottle. Hmm. Yeah, I'm in. 
We could even draw a card this turn if we wanted to. We shouldn't. At what stage do you just panic? So, uh, so... We do panic. I, we trust dude, maybe it's a streamline? I think I trust in this defense. You do? You I believe? Think, I think I, I believe. I believe. Data disk, so the orbs are good too. Nice. I was I was thinking about how valuable rolling that energy forward was, oh, yeah, but no, you we... believed and then the card draw was perfect. Card oh, draw is so good. Oh, look at that cost line. Oh my god. Look at that block. It, These streamers. You know, maybe didn't even they need to cheat damage. so much. This game is so rigged. Oh so good. The most important thing when watching other people play Slay the Spire is to only remember the good turn. Yes, that way that way the, the bias is firmly entrenched in your brain. Otherwise, you might have to explore more opportunity to see range. That's not that's not good. That's how we do it. That was a great draw. Was all the cold snap zero cost? That's I think so, yeah. I think that we're just like we're kind of a you know what, we're kind of a sorcerer here, and we're just finally fully establishing our elemental affinity. We are a we are a turn turn three kind of build here. <laughs> we are a turn three frost mage. That's right. Okay, but that means we should be able to get effects like slow. Mm. Keep. Tempting, but not good enough. Tempting. Yeah. Rest recall. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hugely important. Yeah. Like, it would it would be the luxury turbo upgrade. Which the good news is, I think that this fight is better than Repto, whatever it is. Yes. Giant, yes, this giant head is easy. ideal, and and even Nemesis is okay. Now oh, this boy. fight, we could win. <laughs> oh God! Or we could I, get smashed. Oh, we could get absolutely smashed here. I feel like one hologram makes this a take. I'm yes, I'm realizing be, how strong hologram is in this deck. Because of hyper beam. That's right. But I, I don't think we I don't think we got enough to take this. I think you're right. Potentially game winning, but definitely. Yeah, maybe maybe we think losing. about it this way. How often do we get out without taking less than twenty damage, right? And then we have to roll into this fight on twenty some. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, so. we, we perfect this fight almost every time. He says taking damage on turn one. <laughs> Listen, it's close enough. Close enough. It's perfect enough. No reason to play this. This is metallicized nemesis. That's so rude. It is, especially when you don't know how to make damage. Our deck can be whatever it wants to be. So it chose to be block. <laughs> it chose to be. Yes, and nothing else. <laughs> you can be whatever you want when you grow up, Defect. It's not a bad life, block life. I think we found the damage. Can you block the heart to death? Sometimes. Body slam exists. Can you hyper beam the heart to death? Definitely. Definitely. Ooh, it can be done. Necco oil is a it's like a gamble. There it is. We should take it. Yeah, we, we, should should, take it we should take it, Baylor. We should take it. We're not going to get a parasite. We can remove at the shop if we want to buy one more card. It's hype. OK, it's but we have to live though. through all these fights. We're okay at oh, these fights. We're so good at this Awakened One fight. Like, yeah, not yeah. even close. We have focus without playing powers. How can you say no? You can't. You yeah. have to say yes. Is it turn one loop? Or do we wait for consume? We just played consume. But we have a equilibrium. <laughs> it's turn, I think it's I turn. I can't see the screen. <laughs> That's fair. Equilibrium, yeah. Yeah, good point. And we have ice cream. We have ice cream. I'm just playing with you, boss. I can see the screen. Well, that's that's good news. It helps. Help! My cards are too expensive. Yeah, this is weird, isn't it? Could be our snack oil. Really, rather save it for later, though. I really, I really think that this is. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's it's like how do we how do we save this life since we don't have pantograph or anything, right? Right. Because there's a world where we dual cast. I'm going to use the explosive bomb this fight. This birds are a bit of a threat. Very true. We're so good at time eater. We don't have to worry about that. Donu Deca could out could be a bit of a threat though. Donu Deca, yeah, unfortunately does damage in the first three turns, which is something we. I'm desire pretty sure that's illegal. Hologram? No, no, we. Uh, no, I can't hologram the zero cost equilibrium because we'll get stuck with all this crap in my hands. Wait, how much is consume? Consume is one. One crap. 
I was gonna say hologram consume dual cast, but we're one energy off from that Dang. line, which would be a pretty sweet line actually. Would be a sweet line. Okay. Yeah, I have to take some damage here. There's some weird timing in this fight, right? Because we eventually want all of loop and capacitor online, but we don't want to do it too aggressively for fear right. of making the times four attacks so scary. Well, if we if we loop, that's an immediate payoff of 12 block versus eight incoming. So that's that's a good starting choice. next turn. Starting next turn. Take two more this turn. Well, plus, you know, all the other stuff we can't play. This is a pretty yikes situation. It is. It's really yikes. I feel like we might have to do it, though. I feel like if we don't start setting up some of these powers, like we, we just won't outscale, right? Right. But that means if we if we loop right now, we're taking what? We're blocking for 12? Yeah, we take a full 23, 24 damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's pretty rough. Next turn, we'll have lots of block. We're looking at 40 incoming plus 60, 60 block damage. I think, we need, I, think, I think we need to loop, dude. I think this is loop. I can't find a better line. I, th I think we both want it to be better, but it's just not it's just going not. to be. Okay. Mm. <laughs> can we kill these cultists? No, but we can do some damage to them. Well, we, we can do some stuff, actually, because we can, if we don't play Capacitor in the beginning, we can do some Orb Cycling shenanigans. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, like a rainbow... Ball lightning, cold snap kind of situation. Yeah, we just want to make sure we have a frost orb in the front when we end it all. Right. So rainbow, cold snap, capacitor ball lightning. We take eight extra damage for playing capacitor, but it's immediately rewarded with a six block frost orb. So I think that's probably fine. Okay. We can't play. And that lets us push some damage too. There, there may be a turn here where we don't play capacitor to play the defend. Actually, it's only a one defend. Ah, I think we want to play it. Definitely this, and then, oh, um, uh, capacitor. Okay. Okay. Or I can cold snap ball eating and then capacitor. But I don't, I don't want to lose the frost in front. Right. This method, it, either way we get it, it's just a question of if we want slots or if we want to evoke, and it feels like we kind of have to evoke some, right? Bit, yeah. Although it's not that much of an increase here, really. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So this is one of our scariest fights, and we said that we'd be willing to use potions. Is this ever we play one of these, like Ball Lightning, and then we Sneko Oil while we still have three energy? If we were going to Sneko Oil, I would have said we should have did it last turn. Right. But, I mean, we can... Obviously, it's better to use it than to die, but I think we're gonna be all right we're gonna take a little if bit we can recover here. from here i'd rather save it for donu deca like yeah. I'm, I'm terrified of donu deca see if i go cold snap ball lightning we don't get a free i'm gonna do this free okay we need the orbs we do these guys aren't gonna fall over and die on their own that's for sure i mean the the getting plays of our letter opener will help 15 life. Void. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I can't play any. I can only play Cold Snap. Oh, dear. Are we dead? Is there a turbo ahead of us? Yes. We're not dead yet. Um, Sneko Oil. <laughs> yeah, we have to now. Jeez, uh -huh. what a brutal draw. Uh huh. Uh huh. This is. Yeah, we're, we're not blocking this. Okay. That was better. There it is. That was definitely better. And we've got, like, probably a kill here. Yes. Turbo, Fission, definitely a kill here. Can we... We can play Consume first. It loses us out on some energy and some draw, but it makes us some space. And it... Rocks the letter opener, oh. too. We can kill this guy with the Streamline. Right. Seems good. And then that means the Fission is Dark Orbing the other one, which is pretty snazzy. We full block easily with a dual cast? Or are we full blocking already? We're not full blocking already. Oh, we're, we're gonna like we're gonna be able to get like a cold snap up if we fission here, and then we'll be filling in oh, orbs yeah, pretty yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And I, I do think that that's the path. More consume, more orbage. Yeah, Dude, I think we made it. Okay. I think 
to get you to the next fight. I'm I'm sad about that. Uh, Both of those potions, potion. brutal. Yeah, but I mean, what what else were we gonna do, right? Like, right. we can't drag the corpse forward into the Donudeka fight. So, tough draws, really. But very very simple fight now that we've uh, eliminated birds. It's a little weird with the consume Simple. math, right? Yeah. Can we get to a point to where we're out blocking even the time score? We're already there. As oh, we so we don't have to play it. anything, really? No, we, we, well, we, yeah. But we have to. I'm not saying that we should just press E a thousand times, but it's good to know right. where we are. I want to do some damage when we can, too. Like right. Use the Star Corp in the second phase. Agree. Oh, it's per. Oh man. Now we like what we like draw into our streamline. Oh, we can save a ton of energy too. Yes. And that's actually kind of hype. Just play streamline whenever you see it, basically. Or is that even enough? That won't be enough. Right. We'll have to eventually do. Oh, but this is weird because then. We, we'll, we'll unlock the second phase too, so we'll just use another. Dark sure, orb, sure. We could just use the dark orb in this phase. Not optimal, but Actually, it was pretty good, right? Because now we now we're able to use the hello world. Yeah. I think that that turn was pretty sick. Time to move on. Time to get going. What lies ahead? Awaken one has no way of knowing. Under my feet, babe. Rust is growing. It's time to move on. Dude, I, I hope... Well, I, and you know, in some ways, as much as I hope it's Time Eater, Time Eater has some high variance in those first couple turns. That's true. Teague's head covers the mana. Certainly <laughs> true. Oh, yeah, you can't see the mana. <laughs> I'll get there. Don't figure it out. Yeah, I think he's gone. Chat, what'd you do? Chat? <laughs> it's gone. You're pointing to nothing, sir. Oh, dang it. You won the fight. The timing. The timing. <laughs> it is Donnie Decker. <clears throat> we got the turn one consume and a okay. cheap leap and a cold snap. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. Feeling really good about this, actually. Either. Dude, I, I I think that this ice cream is going to end up feeling like an, a low-key MVP. Oh, yeah. To smooth out Sneko. So huge. Oh, yeah. Low-key MVP. <laughs> Take two. Fun to say. Take two. Just one energy save sometimes. It's like all the... Oh, my God. The powers are cheap. What is this madness? Begin! Okay. I think we're going to act We just eight. have to... Infinitely scale our block, Baylor. Yeah, we can do that. We've got the power. If we can do that. We can do that. How, are, do we have a way to kill Donu in like I don't know, you know, something reasonable like ten turns? Yeah. <laughs> we can do that. We're fine. Probably. Something reasonable. Be reasonable. Exhausted four cards that turn. Good stuff. I was mega tempted by that streamline. There's three costs. I don't know. I, I think you're right, but I admit my temptation. Letter opener will kill Donu eventually, right? <laughs> Three plated. Plated armor don't reel. <laughs> this is such a slugfest, man. Definitely need the ring, but now we can screw it. Yes. Very good. Where did we get that compile driver? That's a hello world thing? It's a hello world thing, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we didn't need to draft a compile driver. We can just make one for free. I'll grab this streamline. 20 more damage in there. Tinky. Oh, we had a toy ornithopter all this yeah, time? Toy yeah, we did. That means that we would have been at eight. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It does. Good, good. It did a good job. Oh my. Trust are we getting the dual cast? Trust. We are getting the dual Yo! cast. Yo! Okay, but how do we block for 40? With our face. Pretty easily, in fact. There True. We go. 
Okay, now we we just outscale the uh the big boy. As long as we can block for 42, which we can. Look, I'm not going to sit here and call this deck great. But it sure do be big. It sure do be it sure be do exactly 20 cards. <laughs> for now, we're going to get it down to 19, I think. We're going to get there. Are you thinking defend removal? I'm thinking yeah, I think we need Streamline for the Spire Leads. Based on what I just saw? Yeah. Defender removal. I'm not intentionally putting this on 9 every time, by the way. It's some just kind of accidental occasionally. I am super <laughs> impressed by the consistency of the ink bottling. You're like a professional bottler. I am. I, I used to... Had a lot of practice bottling up my feelings. Now I bottle up my cards. <laughs> God. Okay, we dig. Hmm. 13 hit points? Feels rest worthy, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It's a lot of life. Or the hologram upgrade. Tough choice. Yeah. I am sure we're taking damage in the Act 4 Elite fight. Oh, yeah. Yes. Big, big time. Big, big time. <laughs> Dude, we should do it. I think we need to. I think, I think it's actually kind of great. We can't afford the the focus pot no! power pot alongside though. Dang it! What if it's That's what if a, it's echo form potion? Such a boomer. Echo form potion would be way better, right? That's true. Focus. It, it's possible that focus pot power potion is better than runic capacitor, and then and, that allows us to remove the removal. defend. Yeah. And if we remove the defend, then we can be rewarded for our vigilance. Hold on, math time. Calculator. Fifty-seven. Are we gonna use these potions against the elites? 50. Yes! We can afford the barrage as well, as our 20th card if we want it. But don't. <laughs> don't we want that with the runic capacitor? <laughs> it's. It still hits for like 36. Yeah. Okay, I, I think. I think Focus Potion Power Potion is best. I think it's better than runic capacitor. But I the think big so. question is are we spending them in the. Act for elite fight. Uh, we look at the opening draw. Sure. And second question is, is Barrage better than whatever card? I, w I won't bias it by saying the Echo Form, but is it right. better than the card that is offered to us from the Act 4 Elite? Well, there's an Echo Form in this Power Push. I don't need an Echo Form anymore. You make a very good point. We do need a way to kill Spire Shield. Yeah darkness so yeah and and to clarify we only have enough because of ceramic fish giving us nine gold oh my yeah. so we gotta buy the barrage first so we so we have to commit to this barrage we have to commit to the barrage i mean we can remove and then barrage and then buy the you know you know this this we this barrage actually go over 20 this barrage probably does answer the real question that we have to answer which is how do we how do kill we the damage? act for elites how do we damage how do we damage in general yeah okay okay Okay, click it. Ugh. Six gold, thank you, Ceramic Fish. You're good even this morning. Very optimal spend. Oh, yeah, and we have Toy Ornithopter, too, which also makes potions, like, a little bit more exciting. No! Dude, it, it's rough when it's expensive. It's so bad. We can Equilibrium, hold on to it, play it next turn. Yeah. Shoot. Uh, this is sad. It's pretty rough. We're using one I, of I, our potions. But, you know, EQ, Capacitor, Loop, Rainbow is, is like a real turn. Yes. It's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, and we have three focus if I drink the focus spot. I think we have to drink yeah. this potion. This is the time to do it. Rainbow first. Yes, okay. Ornithopter. Raider. Can we put that on layaway? I want this health, but not today. Do we want to, instead of playing Capacitor now, go loop dual cast? We get a Frost Orb from Frozen Core, and this gets looped. Hell yeah, that's dope. And we get a uh, Letter Opener proc, which is actually quite relevant. I think I think that you've, you've got the big money play here. We can always play Capacitor next turn. And maybe we just don't end up playing Consume this time around, you know? That would be really unfortunate. But maybe it's just two walk. 
Zero cost streamline with hologram in hand. That's pretty sweet. That is a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Please play this. Be blocking for 29. bad number. We play the capacitor, we'll make that another 5, and the hologram is another 4, so we block for 38. Take 6. Is this ever hologram equilibrium? Yes. It's like a little awkward, right? But it could let us... Awkward. It's another letter opener proc, which we're not otherwise getting. But it's actually almost as much damage as Streamline is. Right. And it lets us potentially hold Streamline as a way to turn around, as an example. Let's just play Consume next turn. Right. Hopefully. Which we keep pushing off, but I think reasonably so. Also, Hologram Rainbow at zero cost. The Rainbow's a hell of a card. And then we would what? Would we Capacitor now, or would we Cycle? Dude, Defect has some really complex decision surfaces. So this is why much. I call this the hardest class in the game yeah. at a high level. These turns are the reason. Like I'm 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 gonna I'm seriously gonna have to go like outside and shake my brain out, you know, kind of I think we're not playing <laughs> I think we're still not playing consume. I think consume just whiffed. Yeah, yeah. like capacitor cold snap. Ho ho ho, wait, 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 we've got vision on this turn. We we there's 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 more turn than it seems. It's true. We do have fission. Recost. We'd have to play it. It only generates one actual, one actual energy. But it's also cards. All the orbs and losing our dark orb on a turn they have block too. We can like we can. Um, it's awk, but we could, as an example, turbo capacitor fission. And then at least we're drawing a full three cards. We refund the energy cards. and then one. Not sure that it is correct here, but it's at least an option of, of cycling. I wish we, the problem with the doing that is that... The upgrade would have been really, really important here. It would have let us do uh, consume yeah. and turn around with Cold Snap. Yeah. And we never got that. I... Healing capacitor turn around with Cold Snap. Bank one energy. We end up blocking okay. for... Get both of these filled up. We block for... Oh, we're about to proc Ink Bottle on this 25. turn, too. So. This ends up being 38. Oof. So buyer beware. We take like 20 damage, even if it takes. Blocks for how much? 12? Not as much as turning around blocks. This is brutal, man. Yeah, it is. You know, in some ways, we kind of got bit by the Equilibrium because it's blocking our draws. Ooh. We really do want that. Okay, I think this is recoverable, though. I think so. We get the rainbow down. We just need to find and draw vision. Or, uh, pink yeah. team, excuse me. So then maybe we skip Hello World. I the energy is so. too relevant. To, to Let's just clear your hand. Note how we haven't done a lot of damage here. Yes, we do continue to not really know how to do that. Hey, there's vision! We found damage, though. Hell yeah, and that barrage is big! Barrage is huge. Do we play everything in the hand first and then vision? Like we definitely play equilibrium first. Oh, oh, we can go ball lightning, dual cast, and get the full eighty-four here. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, and we barrage first. Mm. It's barrage, already lower, right? Ball lightning, so shield is getting dual cast vision. Yeah, that's sweet. That's a good turn. Almost exactly full here. Uh, Might as well. Nice. Yes. Carry me. This vision has been so good. Yeah, vision's been nuts. It was tough to whiff it on the previous turn, but it ended up being so much better this way. Playing around dual cast. Dark is like... Is that how we outdamage the heart, too? That might be. We, we need a lot. We're very needy. Yes. Power potion echo form. Gonna have to, it's really gonna have to be an echo form <laughs> for this to yeah. work well. Double consume, double capacitor. That that'll win the hard fight for us. We we'll like, and then we're players. able to double play barrage on the way out or whatever, right? Double rainbow, all the way. Whipped on the. <laughs> this uh, should not drop an act four. It shouldn't. This should not drop an act four. 
Oh, okay. the skin. We have 51 health with Ornithopter going into the final fight. I, as long as we get something decent, it could even just be an unupgraded capacitor that could make a big difference here. Yo, the strength is relevant. We took a barrage. We did. That's that's important damage. It's important like a damage. couple fire potions, maybe. Look at this hand, dude. Oh my god. Dude. Wait. Oh, do we we power potion now too, right? Yeah, yeah. We if we get an echo form, we can equilibrium hold on to the consume. Oh. <laughs> so is it? Is I'm it so excited. Or storm. I was is so it excited. Or storm. Uh, we have one, two, three, four powers, four lightning orbs. That's decent damage. Heat sinks could even actually be amazing. Or even on, on like next turn with all the energy we bank. Yeah, yeah, we bank so much energy. Okay. I think heat you wanna sinks. do it? I think so. You wanna I do it? Heat sinks. And and play EQ first here just to block over these plays. Yes. Okay. For sure. Oh, and we good. have strength pot too, which we should play. I mean, it doesn't matter when, but right. before we start attacking. Heat sinks draws a card. Did you know that? <laughs> That is a loop. Where the real big brain plays is is not playing one of these cold snaps. Yeah, you're yeah, right, because yeah, we're yeah, holding the other one anyway. So then is it barrage so we get the full value of draw? Or do we want to hold this energy? Let's see, we're drawing we're drawing exactly seven, right? We're covered? Well, we don't have space. We played EQ. <laughs> How can you remember these things? Got a brain! <laughs> I have the brain. I have brain. <laughs> I'm sitting on it. Brain power acquired. World's saddest vision here. I don't think we play it. I think we dual cast. I think we do dual cast. Do we dual cast twice? <laughs> Maybe. And then cold snap and we get our frost back. We have a loop this turn. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't we think we play hologram. That's really expensive. I, I do think... We want to play this loop. I think it's pretty important. Yes. But I mean, we have the turbo hand, so we can do the both. So we could. It's true. That's a full turn worth of energy. Man, that's a heavy cost. We play fission for two. Dual cast, cold snap, fission. Oh. Kind of slow. Well, not slow. Well, it's, it's kind of low value for fission, but it, it does draw us further. So basically, we have to decide if... Fission's role, like right now, is Fission's role to help us get our powers out sooner, or is Fission's role to give us a bigger burst turn on the second cycle? And that's what it did in the Act 4 Elite fight, and that was actually great, mm. right? That was a full block for a turn with a single card, basically, yes. and a lot of tempo. I, I worry that that may be what we need it to do, especially because if we get up to seven orb slots, it's also damage, How will and that's the thing we're struggling with. 67 next turn. Yeah, not so maybe we right. do. Not very right. not. Not very. Not, not very well. Looping a couple frost orbs gets us part of the way there. This also draws. We're like at twenty four. See what. And draws his card. Mm hmm. Could be. Okay. That's so expensive, dude. Still playing it though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because we need these frost orbs. Oh. Oh, now we pl now we yeah right. Do we rainbow and then fission? We do. We do. Yeah. We, we, we cycle. We go. This is now your job. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll have a looped frost orb next turn. That's fine. I think we should hello world too. Yes, that also draws a card. Hmm. Spice. Capacitor again? Good. We can capacitor. I'm thinking we want to get an orb down, maybe a cold snap. We could even hologram for rainbow. Oh, that's important actually. Although that won't put a frost orb in front, right? It's lightning. Right. Yeah. I need to frost over in front next turn specifically. Yeah. I think we can wait on this capacitor. Okay. And just just go hologram froze. Yeah. And do you ever or play even the hologram leader? consume? And then or... and just that's actually this you know if there ever a time to get the consume down. Yeah. That's we gotta fine. the earlier the better. Long seven. Maybe that's not worth the energy. Let's get rid of this. Hopefully we didn't need that. Static Discharge win. Recursion, hello world, you did a good job today, because we would be very dead. Oh my gosh. Earned your keep. We gotta play this too. Nothing else to be done here. Still alive? Sit tight, defect. 
but I think we're we're into the good territory now. We have at least certainly scaled up our block. Are you going to rebound this rainbow? Oh boy, rainbow. I think we, we probably want to play this capacitor, right? capacitor so that we can play the rainbow next turn. Oh, maybe. Okay, hear me <laughs> out. Slow here. Oh, it's too late. I was going to say, hear me out. Four cards until redraw. We just redraw rainbow at not three cost. Redraw rainbow at not three cost. Smart. Pretty but maybe here we let ourselves get block choked. Oh! Stinky status is... <laughs> oh! Oh, it's hello world zero cost every time. Okay. Okay, whatever we play next draws a card, so... Be it known. It's gonna be rainbow then. Okay. Bo, but rainbow is... Right. I don't think I did that quite right. It's okay. We've, we've gotten the block. Yeah, we have our block. And we are now scaling some damage. So we have a surprisingly long time to, to do all of this damage, but we do have to do it. I think double ball lightning sounds great right about now. We have... It's our phase two. To make, to make a deck like this win, we have to be looping damage orbs on the non-attack turns, and we have to be looping frost on the block yeah. turn. Thank There's you. a lot of shenanigans. So, so then we want to get that... If we could, we'd get the Dark Orb up front. Yeah, if we could. I think we, but, can, we can only get this Frost. We can't actually... Yeah. We have a Recursion and two Ball Lightnings. We had a oh, big attack last turn, all. right? Actually kind of huh? misremembering a bit. We just had a big attack. So the yeah. next turn is a buff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One, one energy short of being able to put this Lightning Orb in front to loot. Okay, but then we should still go Ball Ball. Yeah, for sure. And, and maybe don't EQ. Because just draw. Mm, agreed. And at least we've got a bunch of damage on this turn. 39 damage is real damage, and we're scaling up the Dark Orb. Oopy, dude. Literally play nothing. Literally yeah, play I nothing. Think so. Not even just the claw. Save. Energy is real. Energy is we real. Still get, this is, ice cream means that even on our total whiff turns, we're still getting value. Passing energy. 6 times 15 is scary, though. Yeah, that's a big lad. Barrage does quite a bit of damage. Are we so we have enough energy that we can actually think about playing things like this rebound? Is there something that we want to rebound? We can also proc yeah. ink bottle this turn. Yes. So there's a and, few and things. That lets us redraw the rebounded card, which might be necessary to our survival here. Like like EQ cold snap or EQ rebound cold snap kind of situation. Cold snap is better than equilibrium let's say yes it's two less block actually no it's 15 it's more block it's block for 90 on this turn we have to block for 90 on this turn that is going to be difficult it's a lot of doing that might mean what is what's ahead of us in the draw nothing that really well dual cast blocks do we like have to draw to dual cast let's do some math. or have to draw to rainbow math time <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> Uh, dual cast would definitely be nice, but if we rebound, let's say we rebound the cold snap. So we go rebound, cold snap, cold snap, equilibrium leap. That'll be we're currently blocking 40, 52. Is that five card play, so that's 15 damage. So plus 15 for the cold snap, 14 for the equilibrium, 10 for the leap. And then we generate two more Frost Orbs as well, so another 24. Oh yeah, that's... we're way over. Cool. Sick. We're, way, we're way over where it needs to be. And then that leaves us is with like actually... Rainbow and Dual Cast to play next turn, which is better. Let's see, so 115, and then we're playing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus... It's perfect. 3 times 5, 15. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We need it. We need every bit we can get. I'm wondering if we can like rebound the dual, the the barrage. I don't think so. We're gonna play it. That's for sure. We are gonna play it. Play the. Uh... Can't also play the leap. We'll live we will, here. We will if be we cold snap. Oh, I didn't. I also didn't factor ornamental fan. No one can remember ornamental fan. That's impossible. Let's see, this is fifty 36 plus thirty six. Quite enough. But that's okay, we take a little bit of damage. We're, and we're okay, we have enough health that we we, we gotta play this. Like, we can't yeah. shuffle without it, right? Yeah, and then next turn we get to dual cast this Dark Orb. Mo oh, most dude. of the time. 
And so then we're actually on path to be able to win at some point. Yeah, recursion, dual cast this. Yeah. Or do we recursion the Dark Lord? Oh. Ooh, that's pretty spicy. And then Rainbow? There's a turbo in this hand that actually generates us energy, by the way. I think it's relevant. Yeah, I'm going to play it. I'm, I'm kind of offended by these ball lightnings right now. I know. <laughs> so expensive. What are you doing? Or do we, like, ball lightning, dual cast the dark orb, recursion a lightning orb so we can do more damage? Here, here's here's one big thing. We can thing. actually, we, hold, if we do as much damage as we can, we can kill it before it attacks us again. True. True. We can win in the next three turns, which is probably necessary because the next multi-attack is like a 150 or something. 120, yeah. We, we could maybe yeah. block that, but it's a bit of a stretch. It's it's a lot, and we're not going to scale up our block from here any further. We no longer have vision to play around. It's going to be very draw dependent, even if we filled up with frost orbs. So that I think we should do this recursion thing, man, because the rainbow means... Oh, these are expensive. We have exactly seven to play? Yikes. Okay. And we're not going to have much energy in the next couple turns. I I, I highly recommend, this is my, my intuition is ball lightning, recursion, rainbow, because that sets us up to be able to then quickly play. Ball lightning, recursion, That's enough rainbow. damage to get within two turns of damage cap. You think don't, do, don't dual cast that dark orb? No. I guess, I guess with 13 cards in the draw, that might be silly because the most we'll get is two out of it. I guess the big thing about getting it twice is that that helps us damage cap more turns. Get close if to damage If we can do cap. the full 200 this turn, we should, I think. It's true. Okay. And then some. It's a frost orb. Yeah, we wanted to loop. Definitely lightning, but maybe we can fix. Can we do 79? <laughs> It's the magic number. I mean, we're doing 40 already here, and this does another 40, so yes, yes, we can. But then we have no energy and a void next turn. That's kind of sad. Hmm. Looking they sketchy. Right. We're going to need it to be the big hit, I think. Instead and then have hit. to win the turn after or block. Can we block win. 120? Some, maybe, maybe we have to pivot now sometimes. and live through another round. I don't know what we'd have to... I'm not playing this, this equilibrium. What if we cool headed? That's I think crazy, right? If we cool headed, then the plan is for next turn to be the big hit. We might even still die to the big hit next turn, quite frankly. Yeah, because next turn's big hit is fifty. Hmm. Fifty ish. And we'd be having only like twenty four block on the board. But I just I'm I'm struggling to figure out how we ever win if we just play barrage here, right? That's the thing I'm trying to figure out. We've got three ener two energy going into the next turn. Even with two cold snaps, like, where where do we get? Where do we go? Well, we get, uh, like, 80 damage just from the lightning orbs. True. We're, we're most of the way there. Yeah, that three energy, okay. though. I know. I know that's what makes it so harsh. We ever just not? No, no, we can't. We <laughs> don't ever just not, right? Yeah, because we want to be so. able to win on this. Okay. Is it Barrage and Prey? I, th I think so. I'm not very certain about it, though. <laughs> but I think so. I think so. What's behind us? What is what is our redraw circumstance? Redraw is a void burn, rainbow, mm. two ball lightnings, streamline. Just for fun, is there ever a way for us to block the full 120? Is Next it possible? Turn? Yeah. If we loop this frost orb, that's 24. And we've got another 24, that's 48. If we played two cold snaps, that's another 24. That's 68, 72, plus another like three, 75. You can have more focus too. So um, say another three per orb. But so we only get one card beyond that, so that next card would. Oh, we also have the Hello World making and, thing. And we take three damage per card we play. So ba basically so impossible. Probabilistically, no. We never survive the multi. Right. So we should play towards winning in the next two turns, which is Barrage. Yeah, right. I think you're right. Yes. Honk. Yes. Okay. Double void, dude. Double void. So then we have to cold snap. We have to cold snap because we need to loop lightning because we have to win. Yes, we have to. Is it also cons 
No, we can't consume that Dark Orb. Is that Dark Orb ever happening? I don't think it is. I think it's consume Cold Snap. Wouldn't it, would, oh. I was thinking the other way around, actually. Cold, Cold snap, snap, consume, consume get rid of the backline frost. The dark orb. Cause it could happen if we get rainbow and like Hello World makes a an orb gen. Actually block for enough if we do that. Oh. I think we do. So maybe we have to just cold snap? No, it's consume cold snap. Tell you, man. Easy. Okay. Okay. Every okay. time. Okay. Every time. Every time. Easy peasy. Oh ho, ink bottle. Not a traitor. 136. We can do this. We got this. Easy, easy, easy game. Barrage? Barrage, hollow barrage. Hollow barrage is... is there. <laughs> Strength potion, man. Look at that. <laughs> GG. <Taylor! laughs> we did it twice in a row. We did it twice in a row. This Unbelievable. was so hard. Unbelievable. This was the hardest defect run. That was crazy pants. We were like fully in it for the last 30 minutes, man. That was still under two hours with defects? Yeah. Yeah. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. We, I think, dude, I feel really good about our, our discourse. Like, I, I feel like we, we double went convinced this, by our line. We went into this thinking that we needed to make some big brain plays. Yeah. And it turns out what we needed was actually small brain plays. Like, what we needed was that small brain down plays to 20 and a lot cards. of <laughs> Honestly, though, there were a lot of draws that gave us 150 damage at that point. There, there were, we were, yeah, leaking, yeah. We, we just needed yeah. to win that 50-50 coin flip, and it's no yeah. problem from there. Yeah. God, dude. Whew. Wow. What a hell of a fight, Awesome man. couple of runs. G friggin' G. GG. That was so hard. Uh-huh. Yeah, I wouldn't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need a break. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to like, play. I don't. I'm gonna have to play Forager tonight or something. Forager. Like a game that plays itself. Good stuff. E man. Freaking G, man. How long did we spend staring at that barrage before we finally like, fully convinced not, ourselves that not it was the as only long way. as we spent staring at the last defect heart fight? That's fair. But you know what? I, I'm glad we did spend some time staring because there were a couple, like, just a little bit of math consideration that was really important, right? Mm -hmm. Like, recognizing that there was basically no draw where we ever blocked the 120 damage, that was really key. Gotta if we hadn't thought about that a little bit, then I, I think we could have convinced ourselves to play nothing on that turn to save energy, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah, three energy barrage, that's expensive, right? That it is, so it is. It's a lot to ask. Wow. So, so oh. thrilled with uh, our runs today. Been a truly fantastic mm. stream. I can't believe you've been on for like almost three and a half, four hours now. We still got eight hours to go tonight, bro. Oh, no. We, we never quit. We never quit. We never quit. If you can't that's beat right. them, outwork them. That's right. <laughs> that's the rule. That's that's what they say. Dude, thanks so much for having me on. Dude, I've had such a blast. Thanks for, this was thanks great. for coming. It's been yeah. totally, totally incredible. Thank you, Twitch chat, for having me. I hope you Good had shot. fun. I I enjoyed being in the co-pilot seat to where I had a little bit more space to bounce between checking out chat, thinking about what you were doing, and just like watching you click cards. It was really, it was great. It was awesome. GGSD. I'm supposed to join your stream for Risk of Rain now or something? Oh, <laughs> you're going to come play some multi-Risk of Rain with me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know in the game, but I, I you should. You are more than welcome to play Risk of Rain with me. I would be glad to teach you the ropes. That, sound, that sounds like a fun time sometimes, actually. We should make that happen. Multi, multi risk of rain is fun, and you know what you would like, I think, especially since you haven't played. There's an artifact in Risk of Rain too. You probably you've watched me play just a little bit, so a you might bit. know this. But yeah, yeah. the in Risk of Rain, artifacts are like custom modifiers in Slay the Spire. And there's an artifact in Risk of Rain too called Command that makes it to where instead of getting a random white item, you just get an undifferentiated white item, and you can click on it and choose which one you want. Oh my god! So you're like constructing a deck of items in a way. It gives you perfect control over what you build which is powerful. it's it's fun novel run especially if you're newer to the game it's super fun so cross the streams cool. all right well I'll, I'll get out of your hair thank you for having me thank Thanks you for having me switch chat. so so much for joining it's been a, mm. a wonderful time I, i've seen a lot of comments in chat of the positive variety gg sd by the way and everybody else know what i'm saying matt warbuckle gordian freeman FBI's Most Unwanted. Wasn't that an incredible series of back-to-back -back runs? Two A20 small wins. 
in a row. In about the same time. <laughs> about the same time. Both under two hours. Crazy pants. That's crazy pants. <laughs> but yeah, that's okay. uh, a very successful collab. I, I hope to have you back next week for some Factorio but, madness. Let's plan for it. Let's let's plan for Factorio. I, I know nothing about how to play the game, so you have to teach me. Excellent. Cool. That'll cool. And that'll be teaching many of the members in chat, too, so that's perfect. Cool. All right. Bye, Baylor. Bye, bye chat. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Toodaloo. He's gone. Is gone. GG, everybody. Wow, that went a little bit longer than I thought. We usually end about half an hour from now, but I've heard. I've heard that Hades released today, so I should probably keep streaming. That sounds great, in fact. Good stuff. Yeah, wow. Crazy. I, I didn't think we'd we'd have this level of success when I uh, planned out this segment. I thought we were going to die a lot more, but two brains are better than one. Philly played Hades for the first time earlier on Switch. Nice. So nice. That's awesome. Yeah, we're, we are going to dive on into some Hades here, I think. Do I've only got time for one run, um, but we're going to make it a spicy one because Extreme Measures 4 is here. Boy, am I excited to try it. But before I do any of that, we're taking a break. Thanikin wants to know, do I think that Sneko is worth it in a deck with only one or two cost cards in the deck? What's the tipping point? If we're talking at the end of Act 1, Sneko can be worth it no matter what, pretty much. Because you can you can pivot your deck, pick up two cost, three cost cards, and, and really turn it into a powerhouse. It depends on the specific cards. You know, if you've got cards that scale well with number of cards in hand, like Armaments, like Fiendfire, like... Um, I'm trying to think of another good example. Second Winds. Or cards that are cycling-based, like Rampage. Then uh, the Sneko can work really well with them. And of course, the more card draw you have, the better. So it's, it's possible to have a Sneko Eye that's good, even with a mostly zero or one cost to deck, but... It's a, it's a tough evaluation to make sometimes. How much work did that Hello World do this run, by the way? Even in the heart fight, that those random two random turbos that we needed were very important. Crazy pants. Alrighty. I am gonna take a quick break here, refill my legs, stretch my water, grab a quick snack, and when I return, we're gonna kick it on over to some 1.0 release of Hades and try our first ever 32 heat run. I'll be right back, everybody. Don't go nowhere.
Alrighty, folks, we are back. Switch it up to some Hades. Getting again? Uh oh. I downloaded the update already. Oh, it's only a hundred megabytes. Must have been a uh, hot fix or something. But just one moment and we'll be right on into it here. So uh, folks who have been trying out the update so far today, what do you think? Guess we'll find out for ourselves in just a quick moment here. Cause it's Hades time. Done something horribly wrong. <laughs> there we go. There it is. After three years of development, it's our pleasure to present version 1.0 of Hades. We hope you enjoy experiencing the true ending, along with the last set of new features and improvements we plan. If you're taking a break to recharge and plan what's next, I think that's completely reasonable. They, they should do that. Alright. Let's play here. I'm gonna do some tweaking where we begin. I just got a whole bunch of achievements by the way. It's finally returned. We got new stuff here. New court music. And something new here in the West Hall. Able Deathlike. It's a small utility space near the southwest balcony. Interesting. Does anybody have something new to say? Hypnos does. What's up, Hypnos? Well, how often do you consult these lists you make? If you're spending too much time just making lists, you're not leaving time to get anything done. First thing on the to-do list, make a to-do list. Oh, I love making my lists. I always illustrate the edges. Each one is unique. That way, anyone who gets to review the work, it's a whole experience, you know? But I guess it does take up a lot of time. You'll have to work around the constraints of your responsibilities. You do take breaks, don't you? Before and after each break, maybe that's a time to make sure your own list of priorities is up to date. Wait, my own list of priorities? But you're saying I could just go and make a list for me? Huh. Oh. Whoa. Mind blown. You no work orders. Denied. Update the codex with a handy list of boons for each Olympian. And award gems after defeating vanquishing bosses. Sign me up, contractor. This ought to pay for itself in no time at all. all right. Count on resources you have not yet earned. Got themes. Look the infernal might and unbearable heat. Theme lovely. Theme chthonic. Theme deathly. Cool. Contractor, work approved. The more I know about the boons I'm offered, the better off I'll be. You won't be better off, believe you me. Let's let's get that in the infernal theme. This contract, see what this does. They say this one's the hottest style this side of Elysium. Who are these self-appointed judges? I would like to know. Denied and out with you. I don't feel that much hotter in here. Well, alrighty. Next. But let's let's to the gameplay here. I'm so excited to. Uh, God. See what's changed here. We're gonna reset our mirror. I'd like my darkness back. And reevaluate our darkness, I think. So the mirror of night. If you're starting a new save file in Hades, this will be one of the priority upgrades for you. Or the priority unlocks. A whole bunch of different abilities that you can upgrade to provide different benefits. 
Uh, Shadow Presence is bonus damage for striking foes behind, or Fiery Pleasance is bonus damage to undamaged foes. We're using Shadow Presence. I'm not sure which one of those I want. Restore health when we exit a chamber, or restore health when we collect darkness. Let's try the uh, darkness health restore. Maxed out already. I've been trying stubborn defiance. Restore thirty percent once per chamber. Death defy rather than uh, three times. Go for the uh, the death defiance. Definitely gonna take greater reflex. I don't really like ruthless reflex. Like this way. Missile Blood reduces the move speed and damage of foes with cast in them. Whereas Boiling Blood makes them take more. I like the uh, the Abyssal Blood a lot. Max that out. Casting Regenerating Cast or Multicast? I'm a fan of the Regenerating Cast. Works really well with Abyssal Blood. Start money with gold or gain. Wealth when you clear an underworld region. Let's try the uh, Golden Touch. 15% uh, additional gold, essentially. The Mirror Knight makes it easier. Mirror of Knight is upgrades for your character, basically. That are super, super helpful. Increasing your uh, the boons that you find. Family favorite again. Okay, most, mostly settling on the same here, actually. But swapping out the Dark Regeneration. I think we'll keep... Got our presence as well. Do I want to try out uh, Faded Persuasion? I think I do. Let us reroll the choices at Boon and Well of Charon rather than rerolling what a room is. Is there a chance for words? Hmm. Versus rare boons. And this is chance for duo and legendary boons. Must be on my means. Wow, I can't even afford the last rank. Crazy! I like the Olympian favor in God's Pride. Higher rarity boons are very good. We're not tweaking too much here. Hit the limit. No way. That's up to 40%. Oh. Huh. No way. Alright, I'm ready. Hit one less favor persuasion then. the limit. So they, I think, reduced again the amount of uh, darkness you need to max this out. 40% is ridiculous. Hit the limit. Must be on my means. Okay, we only get two. A little bit limited, but we'll take it. I'm gonna mess with our heat setup as well. I think... If I want to try a uh, 32 heat. I want to try 32 heat, and the weapon I honestly I trust own. most to do that Coronox. is the aspect of Rama, the unique bow aspect. We've got this Please. really rapid fire special attack, um, which applies a debuff. You can see that symbol over his head, which will cause him to take additional damage whenever we fire our piercing shot, which I believe got uh, a bit faster. Yeah, that looks a lot faster. There should also be a new uh, a new aspect for the fist weapon, the hidden aspect, but no we don't have that unlocked yet. Really don't like the aspect of Rama. I've loved it every time I've played it. What's that one do? Spoken Bond. It's chibi arts? Oh my god! Look at those chibi arts! Those are totally new. Oh, I also want to try out the Companion Shady. Deal damage in area and drops a smattering of health, darkness, and gold. Here you go, Shady. Shady, you're all set. Cool, we'll try that, and we'll start with the Chthonic Coin Purse. Giving us uh, $150 reduce okay. to start. Yeah, the faster charge, I think, is going to make the aspect of Rama quite a bit better. It was really obnoxiously slow before. Alright, let's talk heat. Let's talk heat. Can't. I mean, I can't. Can't do that. 
I was told Extreme Measures 4 is a thing. Why can I not do this? You have to unlock it somehow? Not authorized. But we're only able to max it out at 3. Might have to beat Hades once to unlock it? That would make sense. Hmm, that's gonna make it more difficult to get the 32 heat, but we'll see. One, two, three. Yeah. I'm not authorized. Interesting. Requires a contractor upgrade. Very interesting. Alright, so can I even... Can I even make 32 heat happen reasonably? That's 25? Lord. I'm gonna have to play with Forced Overtime 1 to get the 32. Jeez. Doing tight deadline. Can make it happen. Can I can I live? Not deactivating talents. Don't want to do Forced Overtime 2. I'll do Forced Overtime 1. And we'll fight even more enemies. Make prices higher. Oh god. Really hoping for Extreme Measures 4 to help with this. Even at level 1, it's brutal. Like, what would we have to do? We'd have to, like... Play with heightened security and... Approval process, which is brutal. Not playing with tight deadline. We max out... God, I can make the healing like nothing. Yikes. Heightened security is brutal. I don't like heightened security either. Alright, we'll try approval process. This is, th this is 32 heat. This is absolutely savage. I don't think we're going to make it that far. But let's try it. Go wrong. Let's try it. For me. We got Dio. If we can get poison special here, that'll be huge on the uh, on the attacks here. But what do you have for me, Dio? Let's start gifting out uh, nectars. Oh, nicest mate. You must have no shortage of supreme vintage at your disposal, but this one's from me. Uh huh. Why, Zach? How positively thoughtful, man! I mean, I love it. Positively love this stuff, and I am very moved that you would think of me for it. You're welcome. Zag, I heard that Orpheus, he found his missing bride. Why, isn't that the sweetest thing, isn't it, man? I'll drink to that, and I think so should you. Okay, it's common rarity, but it is here. You try rerolling. I think I'm just going to take the Drunken Flourish. Get uh, poison special arrows. These arrows uh, bounce from target to target, which is sweet. For applying poison. More numbskulls. Sitting back and being fairly defensive most of the time. The goal is to avoid hits entirely. These hits do so much damage and we have very little healing. They change the like displays, that's interesting. Don't have the ability to reroll, so we just take the max health that we're offered. Chaos is here. definitely take that over either of those two stinky options. Darkness and gems don't provide a lot of power, but Going in. boons from chaos. Full is out! That's right, D-Stealthy. Hades' full release is here. How exciting. After some consideration and on your recommendation, I expect to make contact with the goddess Nyx again. 
she is quite distant from me now, of course. If you happen to know, did she receive the message well? Good. Well, Master Chaos, she can be a little difficult to read at times, but I got the impression she was quite surprised, even excited to have heard from you again. She said that she would think about how to respond, or whether to respond. I see. Well, she shall find a way if it is warranted. I always did expect the world from her. There were times when I expected her to shine as bright as day, though she is night. When she achieved a certain level of ability, she left, and I could not find her. <laughs> ooh, higher rarity stuff, or ooh, 49 max health, that's also huge. One of these would be awesome. I think the 49 max health is going to be what I want here. Love max health boons. Get an extra reroll, probably worthwhile. I guess I have more into the corner. I'm blocking some of the text. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm deliberately not, uh... Yeah, I can do that. Deliberately out of the uh, interface elements. But I will do a tweak here. Heads up. The, the special on the uh, Rumabo is super nice, in part because since it bounces, you can kind of fire it around corners. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh. What do I want to do there? Healing is pretty hard to come by. You have to be really careful. Tweak. There. Should work a bit better. More stinky darkness, huh? Well, nothing I can do about that. There's crowds really easily because it bounces. For safekeeping. Pomegranate, we can use that. That's actually a really good find. That can be leveling up our uh, poison boon here. Which is huge. Darkness does heal me, which I do appreciate. It's not that good though. It's only a little bit of heal. Fives is seven. Yeah, that's 40% more poison damage from one boon. Very, very happy with that. Pretty happy with uh, Artemis boon here, too. Uh, support fire would be something I'd really love to get. This place. Oh god, what is that? That's right, I, I don't actually remember this very well. It's terrifying. Okay, that wasn't too bad. My boon from Master Chaos. And we have more max health so, now. Hunting vermin near the surface lately, Zacharias. That's practically just like the real thing. It must have been a thrill. It was. Okay, no deadly strike, unfortunately. We can get Artemis's aid or Hunter Dash, or we can reroll these and try again. I don't mind Artemis's aid. I think that's completely reasonable. Beans into maybe taking support fire. This will give us a random boon level up, which could again be on the poison. Take a nectar, so we'll take a nectar. And if it hits the aid, that's all fine too.
So you see the, the two blue hearts the enemies have, they take no damage from the first two hits that we deal to them, but since we have a rapid-fire attack, uh, this heat modifier doesn't hurt us too much with the aspect of Ramast. Yeah, they show you which boon you're losing out on. It is a little bit sad. The big sad. Like that. That's right, we have uh, Boldy. Oh dear god. I'm grateful they're all slow. Yes! Drunken Flourish level up. That's now nine? Eight. Eight is fine. A shop or a boon from Poseidon? I'll take the Poseidon boon. I could see Floodshot being really, really helpful. The Poseidon cast. With for now in, like, Temple of Sticks. Um. Yeah. Playing with Underworld Customs? I can't remember if I left that on or not. Yes, we do have to sacrifice a boon. Okay. Might be a sacrifice. Hopefully you're all too slow! did pick 40% more enemies, so... Uncle Poseidon. How fares your feud against my crusty elder brother <laughs> lately, good? Big Hades, he is disagreeable <laughs> with all of us, not just with you. So don't you take it personal and stick with me. Hey, there's Floodshot, it's low rarity. Ocean's Bounty this early is alright as well. In particular, the darkness increasing means more healing. But let's take a Floodshot. Cast damages foes in an area and knocks them away. Something I need. Well, plus one use of our Chthonic Companion Summon for 56 seems reasonable. Can this, can this properly take us to uh, 6, I guess is the question. Yes, good. We get another use of Summon Boldy here. Which drops some money and darkness and healing. So we'll uh, take advantage of that, I think. Oh god, laser skulls! Thank glad I didn't play with the higher damage traps, that would have really hurt. max health. If we're able to take on an infernal gate without taking damage, deal. I'm in. Aim to use him as healing? Yeah, that, that feels right. Let's see if you're as skillful as you think. So we have to do this without taking any hits. Easier said than done, I know. Oh god, they have the slower as white chariots! Too bad. How fortunate for you. Oof. There we go. 
And a hammer. Yes. We want the uh, bonus projectiles on the special, ideally, but there's a lot of Daedalus hammers. I think the, the hammer boons with the bow are super good. Relentless Volley, our special fires plus four shots. Just what I had in mind. Perfect. There. A sea creature. Cool, we got tons of max health. We have healing with the boulder. I'll probably use a, a boulder here-ish. I'm back, ladies. Ladies. Hey, Boldy. Payback time, Boldy. Stay well back and let the uh, poison do most of our work here for us. So look zoomed out. It feels a little different, doesn't it? Something's different. Something is definitely different. Okay, not too bad. Again, healing is hard to come by, so we have to be really, really picky. Extra gemstones. The vanquishers keep. Vanquishers keep. That's definitely How many different. Times? Whoa. Cool. None other than those in the trusted inner circle of Lord Hades are authorized to enter the intricate chambers connecting the vast regions of the underworld. But the prince decides to barge in anyway. I barge where I please. A gorgeous looking area. Super cool. Alright, we're swapping out our trinket. We don't need the Chthonic coin purse. I kind of like the, um... The Bone Hourglass here, giving us plus eight encounters on the Well of Caron items. You go with Feather Duster to try to heal a little bit. Um, you can go with the Broken Spear Point. Become impervious to damage for a time after taking damage. Protection from Lava is pretty good. Or we could take a take a god boon thingy here to try to force a specific interaction or combo. Not 100% sure what I would want to add to this. More Artemis, I think. I want um, support fire. Let's take uh, Artemis. Might help. And I'll take, I think, a 38 health restore. We go for the Fateful Twist. This might be max health. Take the money. Max health. And then we got a purge, right? Yes. All right, the purging pool. Have to purge a boon here. I think we'll give up flood shots. Don't want to lose Artemis's aid. Next floor. There. Alright, so far, not too bad. Using uh, Olympian's favor. So we did just lose out on uh, one of our gods by getting rid of uh, the shot there. 
But that's alright. That'll have to be okay. Hermes Boon, yes. Yes, Hermes. I heard they nerfed the uh, Dodge Boon on Hermes. Not gonna take Darkness. Even though that would heal me, I, I think we lose out. All aboard. We met Lord Hermes. Life here in the underworld has been much faster paced. Neither much faster people. paced, indeed. This is for you. Yeah, I highly recommend it, uh, Cheesy Bob. I, I love this bow. Hey, boss. I appreciate the tip, but just as a reminder, all my services are paid in full already. No need for special thanks. Though, so, cheers. Thought I'd check in again real quick there, boss. Do you want my witty conversation next time or straight to the boons? Straight to the boons. Oh. Ah, you know what? You can keep talking. Definitely I like your conversation, Lord Hermes. Boons are more than welcome after that. Ha, huh, good. I like these little chats. Take care now, boss. Wouldn't want to silence him. Yeah, greater evasion down to 15%. Side hustle, bonus wealth per chamber is okay, or automatic god gauge charge. Honestly, I'm thinking this is a reroll. We're looking for faster attack rates, or something with survivability to it. What else is there? Yeah, how about 30% faster special? Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Epic rarity too. So many arrows. I am indebted to you for the strength and cunning you have given me. Oh no, very smart. Brutal. Those pillar hitboxes are a little finicky sometimes. Olympus, I don't know what to say except for the thanks. You're welcome. Olympus, I accept this Me message. Support fire. True shot's alright. Definitely don't want to replace our flourish. Actually, wait. Do we? 83% more special damage with 20% crit chance. Is that insane?
We lose that poison entirely, but we have... We fire so fast. I gotta try that. Dionysus won't mind. I think that's gonna be a ton of damage. Welcome Dio back into our lives. Or I don't have a choice, that's right. Can't reroll him. 20% per shot, yeah. Oh no. mixed feelings about it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That hitbox, though. They had a five minute heat goal? I did not see that. Ooh, trippy shot. That'll take. That gives us Festive Fog, which fires a stunning AoE sort of thing. Ooh. And we're offered. Good face here. You're to see. Someone there? Hi. Hey, listen here a moment, Hades kid. Look, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for bringing Orphe back to me again and everything. Eurydice, you're more than welcome, really. You've helped me through the flames of hell time after time. Least I could do is coax old Orpheus out of his private pit of despair the so you and he could set things right between the two of you. Well, you're a real sweetheart, hon. You'll still be seeing Orphe all the time around your house, but now I get to see him too. Nice having something to look forward to, you know? Bet someone out there feels that about you. So, Ambrosia Delight, upgrade the rarity of two random boons. That actually wouldn't be bad. Uh, Palm Porridge upgrades the level of four random boons. That would hit Artemis's Aid, Deadly Flourish, Trippy Shot. Not sure we'd be able to hit anything else, so it just makes everything that we do better. Or upgrade the rarity of our next three boons and try to try to get stronger later. I think I'm gonna take the palm porridge. Just make make what we're doing more effective here. Be shot, really deadly flourish, spot. Artemis's aid. Yeah, we only got three, but I think that was hopefully worth it. Hopefully. Quite as much damage as I wanted. Pretty good though. Now, good question. No idea. Let's see an option too. Great question. Shop or? I mean, we're playing with higher prices, so I'm kind of hesitant to go to shops at the moment. Just keep taking boons. 
This is another new god, too, after all. And it's learning time already. I'm actually feeling pretty good about learning right now. You met Achilles after all, godling. He was quite instrumental in the war of my design. Still, he resisted my attempts to sway his actions. You tell him simply, I admire him. And do Passion Dash. Dying Lament. Or reroll these. That's a reroll. Any other blessings, maybe? Okay, life Affirmation makes max health rewards worth more in the future. Not thrilled with it, but I'll take it. My heart is full. Hades tips for beginners. Um, definitely invest some of your early darkness in getting Death Defiance. That's gonna that's gonna make a, a big difference in your uh, in your runs. And prioritize. Some other time learning, as I'm in a bit of a rush. Prioritizing getting boons whenever you can is a, a good idea. So hopefully, hopelessly generic, but it's pretty good damage output. Now, Good on, sir. Got you. Shoot. Artemis. Nowhere to hide from me. Yeah, that helps a bit. were never meant to fly. Got some heft. Got some heft. GG. Kind of a brutal fight, but we made it through there without using any of our death defiances. Only one more Extreme Measures boss to go. You surpassed my Hydra. I did. You are correct, Father. Hey, it's my keepsakes. I'm thinking we want to switch to maybe Old Spike Collar for the end here. Just a bit more max health means more healing, for one. Which is very important, since we don't get a lot of it. Gotta sell a boon, trippy shot, deadly flourish, or Artemis's aid. We'll sell the aid. The gods won't mind. The gods won't mind. 5%, that's pretty sad. Keep my money. Enough of this place. On to Elysium, area 3. I think our boons will serve us pretty well here. Especially the trippy shot. We will pick up a second um, Daedalus Hammer Boon here. Possibly right away. Ooh, or another Hermes Boon, yeah. Who's first?
Well, it's a giant chariot. One more dash? Really? No, I'm gonna reroll. Actually, Hyper Sprint's pretty good. After we dash, become sturdy and move 100% faster for 0.7 seconds. Wait, that got nerfed. Still pretty good, though. Yeah, I'll take that. Got speed. I'll take that. That epic rarity? I think another pomegranate's pretty good. Got a plus one level to one of our boons. I'm nice and slow here. I totally dodged that one. Nonsense. I should press on. Nonsense. Better blessing. Check the old well. Uh, give me a little bit of healing. Health, sure. This would be 14 health. I'll take that too. 8 health? Oh god, I get like, super nerfed. Okay, we'll take the uh, second Daedalus hammer. We could get a bunch of heal from... Um, What's his face? Patroclus. Uh, we're gonna take the hammer here. We didn't lose any death defiances. Okay, this is more like it. It's also nasty.
Pack deals more damage to distant foes or fires three shots in a spread pattern. I kind of like the triple shot here. Can't reroll these, interestingly. I can see why. Distant is pretty distant. We definitely want to be distant a lot of the time. I'll take the sniper shot. Should work. It's a lot of damage to distant foes. And you can even see the indicator on the uh, the charge up here. That little arrow at the end, that's the the point at which we start doing the bonus damage, looks like. Boon from Poseidon? Okay. Got to take boons. I'm fine with this. We need some practice. You remind me of when I was young. Living in darkness. Learning to fight. To kill. I suppose you're... Oops. I am. I actually mean to do that. The heat fills me with strength. Let's see if it has any effect on you. It's a grown man before I ever felt the chill. You fool. Come on. Yes. Okay. I could have used Sisyphus at some point there. Maybe you should have. Poseidon, this here is for you. Would that my father were as easygoing as yourself. Aha! A show of generosity from my most favored nephew. Your gift is mightily appreciated. I'll just go ahead and add it to the pile. You do that. Olympus, I accept this message. Idle dash, pretty good. Actually, oh, or Poseidon's call even better. Our call makes us impervious. Love it. Okay, we'll probably end up using Death Defiance here. Ooh, Thanatos, though. In the name of Hades. You're back. I thought you made it out. No matter. We can kill more enemies than he does. We'll get max health. I doubt this will take very long at all. No Here's something done, though. Chat.
Yes. Cool, we got there. Make a decent team. Give me the money. Hang on to this one. Thank you. See you. Bye, then. Okay. Shop or nectar? We'll take a shop with this much money. Take a shop with this much money. <laughs> I could fight Charon. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't think I'm gonna do that. 25 darkness, that's such a pathetic heal. That boon got better. Ooh, trippy huh? shot level up. Thanks. Just what I need. Alright, now we take the passion dash. Sure. I'm all worked up. But so if we take this uh, 300 gold, Charon will fight us. It's a really hard fight. Uh, he's got a lot of health, too. We're pretty late in the run, so it wouldn't be too bad. But I don't think so. I'm just gonna take more max health, rather than uh, another Poseidon doing here. Just a little bit more durability will serve me well. Oh dear. Distance targets is pretty good here, actually. That's regenerating. Decided harness the ocean's might. Jam him and jam him. should be doing is the long shots. Maybe. Just so much easier to use these uh, specials, yeah. Much better. 34 max health, good. Oh yeah, sorry, we get bonus max health too. Good times. Healing? Yes. Okay, we're, our health is going up. That's a good sign. Got what? Four charges of Boldy left? Three. Surprise. One here. Look out for load.
It's using the uh, terrain here to block all these shots coming in on me. Working okay. in the River Lethe. Game looks intense. It's it's a pretty... Uh, we're playing on 32 heat here, which is one of the highest reasonable difficulties to play on. So it's super, super tough. But it is a lot more manageable starting out. So I hope. Alright, it's Champions of Elysium time. And I am super not ready for this fight. Maximum heat is like... I want to say 50-something, but... Um, the customizable difficulty creates a situation where the max heat isn't actually reasonable to play on at all. Boons got stronger. Nobody wants to play on mate. on uh, on max heat. It's almost impossible, in fact. Hey, balls of despair. We're mostly using our uh, special here. I would like none of these. Yeah, I'd like none of these. Ooh, five second longer weak duration or more damage to weak foes. Big sweet surrender here. Beautiful. We're not going to try to get the weak down too consistently, but we'll see. But yeah, we've got uh, we've got seven crit shots with 30% bonus speed on the special, so our special is kind of insane at the moment. But it's boss time. Fully expect to lose at least one Death Defiance here. He returns. The monster has returned in a vainglorious attempt to wrest the title champion. Hey, we're going to be careful this time around. They couldn't care less about your title, though. Shouldn't you share it with the Minotaur? He's more than half the reason you've been in. We trouble. focus on Asterius first. You'll not drive a wedge between us, fiend. Asterius and I share a fraternal bond forged from the strongest bronze, nay, adamant. You have caused us both offense, so die. Die. Audience. Oh, the bullets! Attack me if you dare, blackguard. Either way, I shall crush you. Be careful about those chariot bullets. wasn't ready yet. Die! It's alright, we expected to use one.
do that all you want. Just gonna run in a circle? Cause I'm okay with that. Staying behind him is uh, pretty effective because his guns only shoot forward. So after he catches his spear, he'll walk away from you. That's your chance to do some damage. There we go. Oh. Okay, one death defiance. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think we are going to swap out for the broken spear point. Um, here in the final area. Man, those heals are so bad with minus 50% healing. We do have to sell a boon too. Trippy shirt. shot, deadly flourish, or sweet surrender. We'll sell a sweet surrender. Weak afflicted foes. Oh, you can reroll this? <gasps> Dude, you can use rerolls in here. What? That's such a game changer. I had no idea. Oh, that's that's really important. That would have saved my butt uh, last run. Purge another one. Swap two. So that'll protect us from poison, mainly. That's the big one. I'm out of here. Done. Okay. Yeah, it's just that I've, I've usually used uh, Baited Authority or whatever the other one is. Ears are so cool. I'm rich. Ash in pocket. Oh, the Hermes boon is here. We'll take another boon from uh, Artemis. Attack deals more damage and inflicts weak. That's great. We are using our attack. We don't have an attack boon right now. Heartbreak time. And with the uh, the bonus damage to distant foes, I think this will be important in our Hades fight. So. We have to gather resources from these while looking for Cerberus. I'm gonna take the easy stuff. I, I think this is gonna be a game of just getting into the Hades fight with as much Death Defiant stacks as possible. Being really mindful about our health situation. Can reroll well items too with the uh, with this authority. That's pretty sweet, actually. No, 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 no. Stopped. Yeah, I'm terrified of the temple of sticks right now. guys in particular are super mean. It. 
poisoned. terrifying. We're not losing a Death Defiance yet, though. Woo! Don't use Timer on 32 Heat? Absolutely not. I don't. That sounds terrifying. Take the Artemis Spoon. Maybe this will be Support Fire. Keep rocking. Farewell. Oh, yeah, we get summon stacks too. That's right. Should use both remaining ones. Freaking 
Sightings Call is doing good work here, though. Not too bad. Mirage Shot. Your cast fires a second projectile with reduced base damage, and you're not going to let me have it? That's so rude. Critical effects do bonus damage to armor. It could help us with the last little bit of stuff. Let's uh, reroll here. Um, got anything else? There it is. Support fire. After we cast or hit with an attack or special, fire a seeking arrow. That is definitely what I want. That is definitely what I want. As that is going to make even more bullets. Take this. Pleasure doing business. 20% faster attack is nice. Let's use some rerolls here, How too. A different set of choices, then? Greater evasion. 15% dodge chance could keep us alive. But I do like the 20% faster attack. Take faster attack. Because I'm going to be using this a lot against Hades, so having it charge faster is going to be important. I think I did just reroll and then choose the thing that I saw originally, but whatever. So all these arrows that shoot out of my butt now for even more bullets. It's going to help with the deeps. Oh, ow. We're not fighting either of the elite rooms. We're just going to go straight to the Hades fight, take our 66 health heal and our better damage heartbreak strike. 69 to 89%. Yes. Take the heal and take two death defiances into the final area. Oh, I'm going to get out of here. This is not bad. Don't have to worry about extreme measures. Most of the modifiers don't really apply in the Hades fight. I am cautiously the optimistic. Cyprus accepts the prince's foul offering. Thanks, boy. Cerberus distracted. Now's our chance. I can do this. Every blasted time. Hello. It is a testament to the awful might of Demeter that even with the surge of heat created by the pact of punishment you toy with recklessly, this place remains a frozen waste. The pact did make the road here a little more fraught than usual, but yeah. if it couldn't stop me, I can't imagine it could stop Demeter. Forget her and the blasted pact. I'll stop you myself. So fast, you're not actually fast.
Yeah, well, you're stupid. yourself. Oh, I was inside that when it exploded? That was just lucky. Of course the chariot's the thing that hits me first. Still, we, we've barely taken any damage here in phase one. Feeling pretty good. Darkness. Darkness. He didn't say that before, did he? Darkness when he fades? I love the way that looks now. Long distance shots that are uh, a huge amount of our damage. Oh, that was a good dodge. Woo! Almost like I'm good at this. But I know better than that. Everybody. Oh. You go. Go then. Go. Get out of here. Get out. Bye. I told you that I would, Father. And I'm going to. 
goodbye. I'm leaving. For real this time. Wait. Wait, just... If you... If you find her... If you somehow find her... Tell her something for me. Tell her tell I her, said... Hello. Tell her Cerberus is doing very well. What? Wait, I don't think I owe you any favors here. He'll answer me one question and I'll give it some thought. How's that? I know your question, boy. But ask it anyway. Persephone. My mother. Why did she leave? I... Blood and darkness. Your pay for... Language. Hey, Cosmic Paradox. I personally highly recommend the controller for this. There's um, there's a pretty generous uh, lock-on for the ranged stuff um, that I find works really, really well to help with the aiming. So I, I personally think the controller works great. GG. That's our 32 heat win accomplished with the aspect of Rama and our first Hades kill on the 1.0 patch. Let's see what awaits us on the surface. I made it. Beyond the frozen overlook. Await the first glimpse of the sun to your left, and onward through the cold. Sure hope this works, Nix. Awfully chilly out here. Fast as I'm allowed to go. surface, windswept, racked by freezing cold, nonetheless instills within the prince a sense of awe and the sublime, for it is unlike anything that he has seen. This should be the, uh, the, the new ending, Ecotes. It's beautiful. Soft pitter-patter of my feet on the snow. Got a cold and died. Tragic way to lose Zagreus, but really, he should have worn more clothing. Wow, that thing. That's the sun. Is this... Who's there? Um, um? Hello? Hello indeed. I like your farm. Oh, that's gorgeous. You grew all this yourself? Tomatoes, wheat, cabbage. Beautiful. you be wandering all the way out here you're trespassing on private property you know speak up um you must be persephone my name is zagreus and i think i might be your son what how dare get out of here get out or i shall make you out with you oh she did not like that no so then you are her I, I don't care if you hate me, but I'm not leaving until I get some answers. I never even knew you existed. Why did you leave me? You died. You... You died. Those burning feet, they... sputtered out when you were born. But... Now you're standing here before me. How? Goddess of Verdure. I died? What, you mean permanently died? But I'm alive. Oh, gods. You never even knew I existed either. Alive? Sagrius, he... He 
even kept your name. You live. How can this be? You live. You live. Oh, the cruel fates. My son. Mother. In short, I beat him finally, though he did everything he could to prevent our meeting here like this. But there's something he wanted me to tell you in the end. He said to tell you Cerberus is doing very well. Ah, uh, he told you that, did he? That's good. That's good. Though, tell me something, Zagreus. How is it that you found me? To have journeyed all this way, I scarce believe it. Zagreus? I like that they kept familial, um, they drew her with familial resemblance to Zagreus. Uh, like, the hairstyles are similar, and uh, a bit of the facial structure. Uh, oh, it's, Ooh, that face. Guess I'm just a little tired, that's all. Not accustomed to the weather, as I think you call it. Yep, definitely not gonna drop dead or anything. No. No, that isn't it. It's that... You cannot stay here. You can't stay here. Really, you're <laughs> kicking me out? Why? The fates are cruel, Zagreus. You're bound to that place. The same as your father. So they would have us say goodbye. For now. My heart soars knowing you live. But then it breaks that our time together was so brief. That's alright, I'll just beat up Dad again and see you again. No, I can come back. I can come back. Now that I found you, he... Maybe he'll just let me come back. You tell him I demand it. And I demand he also tell me how come he, or for that matter, Nyx, never sent notice that you lived. Olympus is all rife with schemers. But I was so naive to think that they were different. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. I feel awful. I... I have to go. The sticks shall take you then. Oh, Zagreus. Farewell, my son. Won't you come back to me? When you are able, please. Come back. I shall be waiting here. However long it takes. However long then? However long it takes. Can't hold on. Uh, mother, I have to get back there. E G. Finally meets this person we've been searching for the whole time, our mother, Persephone. It's and I'm sure returned. Dad has some words for us about that. Hello? You are late, boy. Have you any idea what time it is? No. Wait, what? I vanquished you in single combat and finally found Mother, and that's all you have to say to me. <laughs> Nonsense. Don't you think I would recall such an event? Need me to refresh your memory? You can't be serious. You're going to pretend as though it never happened. She wants answers, same as I do. She demands you let me pass. Let me go to her again. Silence. This discussion is over. I hardly think this is the time or place to indulge your overwrought imagination. I know where we can continue this discussion then. Um, Dad's being mean to me. Your father fell to you as once his father fell to him. Although you were substantially more merciful. I know it is a bitter victory at best. Though, tell me... What transpired subsequently that you have returned? Did you locate your birth mother? That's the implication, Zuthis, that we need to we need to go back. I did. I she was there. She was where you said she'd be. And more than I imagined, but I had so little time with her. I can't survive up there for very long. Why didn't you tell me I'd just die no matter what? I mean, we've been finding that out the hard way. <laughs> like, over and over again. The entire time we've been playing this game. That when we get up to the top, we die no matter what. You didn't figure it out yourself, Zagreus? Really? Oh, my child. 
I say this seldomly, but I did not know, or I did not wish to believe, that the service would have such an effect on you. But it seems you share your father's fate, after all. My father's fate? But he is smugly waiting for me every single time I make it there, and seems quite healthy by then, all in all. Though, maybe the farther we get from this realm, the worse we get. Because he cast his lot, inheriting the underworld. So I now presume, you are bound to this realm by powers greater even than mine. Tell me something. If you knew that you could only see Persephone for but a moment's time, would you still make the journey to her there? Yes. Yes, I would. I had so many questions left for her. Then go and ask them, child. Steady your resolve and find her there again. And use well what brief time you have with one another whilst you can. As mortals do. That's pretty poetic. I like that. As mortals do. As mortals do. Celebrate those brief moments you have together, because they are fleeting. But that makes them all the more precious. Like all the more worth celebrating. Beast. Always a pleasure. What do you see, bad friends? Not what I meant to do. Oh, my prince, you're... Wait, you're back? I mean, I thought... I heard that... How come you're still here? Oh, ah, yes, I made it pretty far. On that account, you heard correctly, Dusa. But turns out I have unfinished business here, so I should be turning up like this from time to time. Oh, wow. Well, that's great. I mean, I hope it's great. I mean, if you agree, it's great. I also think it's great. If that's okay? That's great. It is. It's both okay and great. <laughs> Hey, Orpheus, you know I once wrested this bottle of Ambrosia from the Champions of Elysium, defeating them two against one, just so I could bring it here to you personally. Oh, that sounds made up. Please, my friend. I feel I am undeserving of such a relentless show of kindness on your part. I shall accept, but you'll relent, won't you? As well as forgive me. Mate, if that is your wish, then it will be my pleasure to oblige. Though may this gift symbolize the strength of our friendship for an eternity to come. I've learned so much from you. Thank you, my friend. Would that I had capacity to take some joy from this. I'm buying the game immediately? Glad to hear it, Zipsipkins. My job as a streamer is accomplished. Yes. Hey, Orpheus. I got myself a liar much like yours. Except I'm absolutely miserable when I try to play. Got any advice? A few thousand years of practice would help. Oh, why, that's splendid, Zagreus. And I can certainly show you a thing or two. First, the proper posture is important. Here. Remember to practice the plucking technique which I taught you, and mind your offhand constantly. And above all, continue practicing. The joyfulness is in the practicing itself. Amen. Thanks for the impromptu lesson, mate. Hail, Prince. Hail. Yes. So do we ever get an answer to what this door is? Not going to open, lad. Been locked for the entire game's development. I found her, sir. My mother, she's... Alive and well, and... Uh, but I just couldn't stay up there for very long. I have to get back to her. You really made it all the way? You must have gotten past your father. That's amazing, lad. But wait, what was she like? What happened to you there? She was... She was great. Nothing like father, more like you a little bit, I guess. Though... Hey, see you later, surface, It just seemed to suck the life right out of me. Even without the wretches of the underworld trying to do me in. Thanks for hanging out. But then you had a little time at least. Sounds like you have unfinished business with her there. You got to her this once. Surely you're able to again, isn't that right? It is. I have to speak with her. Sounds like we gotta go back. We need a... something. Can't get extreme measures for yet. We have to do first. All right, but last and certainly most importantly, we have got a new statue to unveil. 
Let's chat a more batter, boy. Yo, hit me already. A 30 who two heat statue. What kind of pose will Skelly be in this time? Oh no. I have a feeling I know what this is. It's another statue of you, Skelly. Oh. It's amazing. What? You really mean that, pal? Oh yeah, look at that. Got a spear and a shield. Look, I'm sorry I messed up your statues, boyo. Really, when I saw them, I just kind of freaked. But then I figured there's no way he's going to see how they turn out, so I just roll with it, you know? <laughs> you shouldn't have underestimated me, mate. But I shouldn't have said such awful things about your statues. You must have really gone out of your way to get them here. Oh, you better believe it, pal. So how about we call it even? We've been through a lot. Both of us. Really learn from this experience, and now we share a deeper understanding, yeah? We do. We certainly have, mate. And we certainly do. Victory, thy name is Skelly. How did they get the finger bones to look so real? Gotta give I that a good that. admiring. <laughs> GG, well worth it. Well, well worth it. There's more to, uh, more to unlock and more to see in Hades here. We're supposed to beat up our dad again so we can talk to mom more. There's still an unexplained unlock for Extreme Measures 4, and we haven't gotten any indication of how to unlock the hidden aspect for the fist Good weapon. Luck. So there's more to do, but that's all gonna have to wait for another day, because it is 9.30, well past the time I usually stop streaming, and we've been live for almost 10 hours today. So that is where I'm gonna wind things down, but holy heck, it's been an awesome day of stream. Really, really banging collab with Sneaky Teak, who I am gonna throw you all back over to, because I do believe that man is streaming himself, playing some video games. And well, that just needs to be, that just needs to be rewarded. Playing some Risk of Rain 2, I'm gonna throw a raid on over to him and say good night we'll be back t not tomorrow but on sunday not later than noon eastern standard time with uh gosh there's so much i want to do hades I'm, I'm not done with the star renegades thoughts um friggin spelunky 2 is coming to pc soon i might want to play that there's too much to do way too much to do but that'll all have to wait for another day thank you so much everybody for watching it's been a fantastic day and i hope you have a fantastic evening that's all for now and i'll see y'all next time toodaloo